Mr. Baker. La 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 la, Mr. Baker. to see you. I'm out driving in the Makermobile, and who knows what we're going to see today. Whoa! Toki here. Mini make a message. Hello, I'm Dan. Hello, Dan. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr Maker. I'll be there very soon. Dan, so how can I help you today? Can you show me something arty to do with this old sponge? Something arty with this old sponge, eh? Let's have a think. Hmm. Ha hmm. hmm. <laughs> ha! I've just had a great idea. Let's try something. Try using washing up sponges and scouring pads to make the perfect arty padded picture. Let's make it! But first, Dan, we'll need somewhere to make it. <laughs> and we'll also need some things from the doodle drawers. I'll be back soon, Dan. <laughs> A large piece of card and some gloopy PVA glue. Some cotton wool balls. Hmm, we'll need some help finding the next bits we need. I wonder if scraps can help us. Hello? Scraps, are you doing the washing up? <laughs> what a stroke of luck. Can I please have some clean cloths, sponges and scouring pads? <laughs> ah, cloths! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> sponges, brilliant. <laughs> ah, scouring pads! Brilliant. Thank you, Scraps. <laughs> That's everything we need. So then, Dan, you wanted to make something arty with a sponge, didn't you? Yes. Well, how about this? It's a fantastic padded picture of a field made with scouring pads, sponges and washing up cloths. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Great. Let's get making. Now, the first thing we're going to do is bring in our background card. Now we're going to take our washing up cloths and we're going to scrunch, lay out and arrange them to make rolling hills that look a bit like this. Now rip your scouring pads into different shapes. Now these pieces are going to be the dark green fields in our picture. Here we go. Place your scouring pad pieces on top of the cloths and arrange them however you like. You can even build your picture up by putting some on top of each other. Now we're going to take a yellow washing up sponge like this and we're going to tear out a circle shape. There we go. Now I wonder, what's this going to be in our picture do you think Dan? The sun. The sun, that's right. Let's put it into our picture. Now we can also use these yellow sponges to tear out strips like this to make the sun's rays and also the bars on the gate at the bottom of our picture. So I need your help here again, Dan. You take one of these 
And I'll take one of these as well. And let's start tearing. That's great, Dan. We've done really well. Right, you put that last one on the pile. Brilliant, well done. Now we can finish off our sun and build the gate at the bottom of our card. We can even make some hedges by adding whole sponges along the bottom edge of the picture. There, we're nearly finished, but for one last touch, Dan, we're going to add cotton wool balls for sheep and we're going to make their heads and legs out of torn scouring pad pieces. There's a head and some legs. Make as many sheep as you like, then glue everything into place. And there we have it, a perfect padded picture of a fantastic field of sheep. And if you really enjoyed that, there are lots of other ideas you could try too. How about a colourful castle with spongy doors, windows and towers? Or you could even try a beautiful sponge seaside picture with a spongy sea, sand and extra beach detail. Padded pictures, why don't you try making one today? So then, Dan, what do you think? Great. Brilliant. We made it. And now your home is where the art is. High five. <laughs> what a fantastic padded picture. Bye-bye, Dan. <sighs> it's brilliant being out and about in the Makermobile. There's always so much to see and do. And... <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> oh, who could it be? I am a sheep. I am a sheep. I am a circle. I am a triangle. What are the squares making today? Can you guess? Any ideas yet? What could it be? It's an ambulance. Well done, shapes. It's time to get back in the doodle drawers. <laughs> 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 oh, this is a lovely day for a drive out in the Makermobile, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Minute mate time! Hey, it's Minute Mate time! I'm on my way! Here we are. It's Minute Make Time, everyone. And today we're going to make a brilliant balancing button fly. Oh, <laughs> look at it. It's fantastic. And you can balance it wherever you like. Ooh. Oh, now, to make a button fly, you will need some thin card, a glue stick, some scissors, a pen, two buttons and some coloured stickers. Now, do you think it's possible to make this button fly in just one minute? No way! Ooh. Well, I think I can. I will have to be very quick, though. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! 
Are you ready? Great! Let's make it in a minute! Three, two, one! Start the clock! Right, let's get our card and we're going to fold it in half like this all the way down there and then we're going to draw a butterfly shape. So let's draw the wings first of all. That's a big round shape like that and then a slightly smaller round shape there. Now we're going to cut this out but we need to be careful because scissors are... Ah! That's right, round we go. Round we go there as well. All the way round and you can take a bit longer over this than I am. But I'm gonna try and be really quick, because I'm gonna try and make it in a minute. Right, there we go. And if we open that up, we've got a beautiful butterfly shape. Now let's stick on our buttons. There's one there, and one there, and then we can stick on some stickers for decoration. Let's put one orange one there, and an orange one there, and I think one up there as well, and one there, and then we can put some green ones on as well. A green one there, and a green one there, and I've made a beautiful button fly! <laughs> Phew, doesn't time fly? Now let's see if our button fly flies. Here we go, you ready? You ready? Here we go. Hey, <laughs> ta-da! And if you've got more than a minute, you can decorate it and turn it into a beautiful button fly. And there are lots of different button flies you can make. How about this green button fly? with curly paper antennae. Or why not try a fancy shaped button fly with shiny paper details? Button flies, why don't you make one? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Fold a piece of card in half, draw a butterfly wing shape against the fold, carefully cut it out and then unfold it, stick a button on each side like this, Decorate it with stickers, and your button fly is finished! Why don't you make a button fly in a minute? Mustache, everyone! Goodbye! <laughs> oh, I love driving the maker -mobile. Where should we go to next? <laughs> Hello, Mr Maker. Oh, nice to see you. Can you guess what we're making today? What are they going to make? I am orange. I'm light blue. I'm yellow. Everyone, see you soon. Now watch this. Hello, are you ready for a big surprise? <laughs> These mini makers have no idea what's about to happen or what we're going to make. Hello! <laughs> How are you? Are you okay? Yeah. Brilliant. Well, it's great to meet you. Oh, that's strange. <laughs> Oh, did you hear that? Oh dear! I think I've got a frog in my throat. <laughs> a frog in my throat! Do you get it? I've got a frog and it's going ribbit. Hmm, that was funny, wasn't it? Oh well. Don't worry, I've got a big idea. I think we should make a big pond for a big frog. So will you help me? Yeah! Fantastic! All right then, Katrin, Rajab, Abigail, Phoebe and Uze, let's make it! We're going to make a green slimy pond. So what sort of green slimy creature would live in our pond, do you think? Frog. A frog! That's right. So our frog, what's he going to look like, do you think? Green and slimy. Green and slimy, okay, what else? Webbed feet. 
Webbed feet, that's right. Frogs do have webbed feet, don't they? And what else do you think? Big googly eyes. <laughs> Big googly eyes. I think we're ready to make our frog, aren't we? Yeah! <laughs> All right then, everyone. Let's jump up and make a frog. Come on, this way. That's it. I'm making a frog's googly eyes. The frog. Now these balloons will look great as the frog's arms. <laughs> We're painting the lily pads on the flowers. We're about to paint the lily pad. Come on then. <laughs> and we'll need some stepping stones for our pond. Making our big pond is great fun, so why don't you try and make your own one at home? Try making this funny little frog on its own little lily pad. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. To make one, you will need a paper cup, paint and a paintbrush, coloured card and a pencil, scissors and a paper plate, a glue stick, stickers, a pen and white tissue paper. Start by painting the paper cup a bright froggy colour and leave it to dry. Then draw around it onto a piece of coloured card to make two circles and carefully cut them out. Now cut one of the circles in half and the other circle into smaller pieces like this. Then take two of the small pieces and glue them onto a coloured paper plate for froggy feet. Stick the cup on top so it covers the edge of the feet. Now stick the two big halves of the circle onto each side of the cup for legs. Add some stickers for froggy spots. Then scrunch up two tissue paper balls for eyes and stick them on top of the cup. Add black dots for pupils and a big smiley mouth. Your funny little frog is finished and ready to play with. <laughs> <laughs> what a fantastic way to make a frog. But well, I wonder how our big pond's coming along. <laughs> That's it, everyone. Well done, Abigail. Let's make the water. Nearly finished. There we go. Well done, everyone. We made it! Yay! What a perfect pond. Ribbit. 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 Mr. Maker! Time to go! Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Makermobile back in its box.
Nice to see you. I'm out and about in my marvellous Makermobile. And the great thing about my Makermobile is that it can go anywhere. Oh! Toki here. You need make a message. Hello, I'm Kate. Hello, Kate. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr Maker. I'll be there very soon. can I help you today, then? What can we do with these old lids? Well, that is a good question. There are lots of lovely lids in here. But what could we do with them? Let's have a think. Hmm. We could build a lid tower. But make sure you build it somewhere flat. Or we could make a lid hat. But it might be a bit tricky to keep on your head. Or you could even make some lid trousers. But they're quite noisy and not very comfy. Hmm. Oh, sorry about that, Kate. I think I got a little bit carried away there. But don't worry. These lids have just given me a great idea. Let's try something. Use up your leftover lids to make a lovely lid picture. Let's, Let's make, make it. it! But first, Kate, we'll need somewhere to make it. Ooh! <laughs> and we'll also need some things from the doodle drawers. A large sheet of card. A paper plate. Now, where would that be? Scraps will know. Oh, scraps. That cake looks delicious, thank you. <laughs> I'll save that for my tea later. But for now, this paper plate is just what we need. Thanks, scraps. <laughs> And we'll also need some bloopy PVA glue. So then, Kate, we're going to use all of these old lids to make a lovely picture, a little bit like this one here. Fantastic. So, are you ready? Yes. Great. Are you ready? Brilliant. Let's get making. Now, I can't wait to see how this is going to turn out because different lids make different pictures. The first thing we need to do, though, is to get our background card. Now, you can choose whatever colour you like for this, but I think gold will look rather nice. There we go. Now, Kate, you can help me now because we need to get our glue ready. So here's a paper plate. Can you take this gloopy glue and give it a good squeeze in the middle there, please? Yeah, keep going. A bit more. Well done. That's brilliant. Thank you, Kate. Now for the fun part. Can you choose me a lid, please? Which one are you going to go for? Ah, that one. Excellent choice. Now dip it into the glue. That's perfect. Well done. And then I'm going to put it onto the card. Brilliant. Let's choose another one. What do you think then, Kate? Ah, yes, the big yellow one. Right, dip that in as well. That's great. All right, I'll take that from you now. There we go. And then we'll stick it on the card. Fantastic. Right, let's choose one more. What do you think? Ah, yes, the blue one. An excellent choice. <laughs> right, dip it in the glue. That's it. Well done. <laughs> that is gloopy. And I can stick it down. Brilliant. Now keep going until you're happy with your lid picture. And don't forget that you can build your picture up by sticking some of the lids on top of each other, like this. And when the glue is dry, you can hang up or stand up your picture wherever you like. Lid pictures are easy to make and they look great. Here are some other ideas you could try too. This one has got lots of colourful lids arranged in a rectangle pattern. Or what about this brilliant orange flower pattern? 
it's made from different sized lids that are all the same colour. So what do you think of our lid picture then, Kate? I think it's good. We made it! And now your home is where the art is! High five! What a fantastic lid picture! Well done, Kate! Goodbye! <sighs> It's brilliant being out and about in the Makermobile. There's always so much to see and do. And... <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> oh, who could it be? <laughs> I am a shape. I am a shape. I am a circle. I am a triangle. I am a square. I am a rectangle. Hiding in the squares. Can you guess? Any ideas yet? What could it be? It's a castle. Well done, shapes. It's time to get back in the doodle drawers. <laughs> Oh, it's such a brilliant day for a lovely drive out in the Makermobile. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Minute mate time! Hey, it's Minute Mate time! I'm on my way! <laughs> I've arrived! <laughs> It's Minute Mate time, everyone! Yeah! Yeah, that's right. And today we're going to make something. Uh, uh, oh, it's the lovely sound of birdsong. I wonder where that's coming from. Oh, of course, from my cake case creature. Oh, fantastic. Now, to make one of these, you will need some sticky tape, a glue stick, a triangle of coloured paper, a straw, a paper cake case, some scissors, and we'll also need some googly eyes. Now you can find them in an art and craft shop. I'll be back very soon. <laughs> Ooh, I've got them. Right, here are our googly eyes. Now, do you think it's possible to make this cake case creature in just one minute? No way! Oh, well, I think I can. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yes! Are you ready? Great! Let's make it in a minute! Start the cork! Right, let's grab our paper cake case and very carefully make four snips with our scissors. Now, you need to be careful when you use scissors because they are... Yeah! That's right. Now, these flaps are going to help us make the shape of our bird. There we go, it's taking shape already. Now, we need to make some more snips to make the head of the bird. Let's go across there like that. Here we go. And across there like that. There we are. Now let's get some glue and glue on our eyes. Here we go. Let's stick on one googly eye there and another googly eye on there. There we go. Now our bird needs a beak, so let's glue on that as well. There. 
There we go. And now we need to get some sticky tape on our straw, like this. And we've just about got enough time to make our cake case creature. <laughs> And if you've got more than a minute, you can make all sorts of cake case creatures. What about a bird made with a silver cake case? Or this bee made with a yellow cake case and a stripy paper body? Or you could even make a turtle using a green cake case and orange paper. Cake case creatures made in a minute. Why don't you have a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Make four cuts into a cake case like this. Then cut out a head shape from one of the flaps. Stick on googly eyes and a paper beak. Tape the cake case onto a straw and your cake case creature is finished. Why don't you try and make a cake case creature in just a minute? Right, moustache everyone, goodbye! Ah! Oh, I love driving the make mobile Where should we go to next? <laughs> oh. Hello, Mr Maker. Oh, nice to see you. Can you guess what we're making today? What are they going to make? And that blue. Everyone, see you soon. Now watch this. Hello. Are you ready for a big surprise? <laughs> These mini makers have no idea what their surprise is going to be or what we're going to make. Hello. Hey, Mr. Maker. Hello, Mr. Maker. Hello. Oh, it's great to meet you. Now, do you like going to the beach? Yeah. Brilliant. So do I. <laughs> oh, hang on, wait. Do you know, I just had a big idea. I think we should make the seaside come to us. So, will you help me? Yeah. Fantastic! All right then, Daniel, Dominic, Thomas, Sangeeta and Amy, let's make it! Right then everyone, we're going to make the seaside come to us. So what do you think we should make? The sea. The sea, that's a good idea. Now the sea is what colour? Blue. Blue, brilliant. And the sand, what colour's the sand? Yellow. Yellow. So we've got blue and yellow at our seaside. Now what other things do you see at the seaside? Crabs. What colour would the crab be? Orange. <laughs> That's great. But well, do you know what? I think we're ready to make our seaside, don't you? Yeah. All right then, everyone, let's jump up and let's make it. Let's go this way. Come on. I am painting this. <laughs> OK, everyone, it's time to paint our beach hut. It is, isn't it? <laughs> We're making the door here, aren't we? Yes. A nice big red door. So then, how are we getting on with our roof here? We've nearly finished it. I've made a curtain. <laughs> and let's not forget a rubber ring. And we'll need some waves. 
No, not those sorts of waves. We need some waves for our sea. So let's use blue chalk for that. <laughs> I think this is looking rather good, don't you, Sangeeta? We're having great fun making our big beach. So why don't you have a go making your own little bit of the seaside at home? Try making this brilliant mini beach hut. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. To make one, you will need boxes with sliding drawers, a glue stick, cardboard, a ruler, a pen, scissors, paint, and a paintbrush. First, glue all of your boxes together, but make sure the drawers are facing the same way, like this. Next, take the cardboard and draw a triangle-shaped roof, a square for a window, a rectangle for a door, and a circle for a rubber ring and carefully cut them out. Then, glue these shapes to the side of the box that doesn't have the drawers on. When it's all dry, you can paint the beach hut bright seaside colours. What a lovely looking beach hut! And you can keep anything inside the drawers Pencils, crayons, or even seashells. It's very useful. What a wonderful way to make a mini beach hut. Talking of which, I wonder how our seaside's coming along. And now for the sand. And the sea. and a lovely blue sky. One more thing. Oh, well done, everyone. We made it! Yay! <laughs> oh, I do love to be beside the seaside. The smell of the sea, the sound of the waves. Mr Maker, time to go! That's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Makermobile back in its box. Nice to see you again. I've just come out for a drive. There's always so much to see and do when I'm out and about in the Makermobile. Whoa! Toki here. You need to make a message. Hello, I'm Ruby. Hello, Ruby. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr Maker. I'll be right with you. I'm here! Hello, Ruby. Now, how can I help you today? Can you show me how to paint with a sponge? How to paint with a sponge, eh? Now, that's a tricky one. Do you know what, Ruby? Sometimes when I find things tricky, I think that a walk in the fresh air really helps to clear your head. Now, come on, follow me. Oh, no, sorry, Ruby, no ideas yet. 
in fact, all we did was just walk round and round in circles. <laughs> walk round and round in circles. Guess what, Ruby? I've just had a great idea. Let's try something. Try sponge printing to create a super circle picture. It looks fantastic and it's simple to do. Let's make it! But first, we need somewhere to make it. And we'll also need some things from the doodle drawers. I'll be back soon. <laughs> We need lots of objects that are round, of all different sizes. A big piece of paper and some paper plates. And we also need some more sponges. Let's ask Scraps if he can help. Oh, hello, oh. Scraps. Now, we need some sponges. Have you got any? Oh, great, thank you. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that's it. Thank you. Brilliant. <laughs> and we need some bottles of squirty paint. So, Ruby, this is what we're going to make today. It's a circle sponge picture. <laughs> what do you think about that? It's good, isn't it? Yeah. So, are you ready? Yeah. Brilliant. Are you ready? Great. Let's get making. First, we need to get our paint ready. Now, you can use whatever colour you like, but we're going to use purple, green and yellow. Now, Ruby, you can help me here. We need to squirt out this paint onto some paper plates. So, will you help me with that? Yeah. Excellent, thank you. Right, here we go. Now, can you start off by squirting some yellow paint onto here, please? And some green and some purple. Well done, Ruby. Now we're ready to start painting. So, we've got a nice big piece of paper here, but remember first to put down some old paper or newspaper because this can get a little bit messy. <laughs> Right, let's start then. Let's find our first round object. That's the glue stick lid. And we're going to push it into the yellow paint, like that. And then we're going to place it in the middle of our picture. Now I'm going to leave that there and pick up a sponge. And I'm going to dip it into a different colour this time, Ruby. I think the green, like that. And then, holding the glue stick lid with one hand, dab paint around the edge of it to make a circle. Now remember, your round objects are going to get messy, so make sure you ask an adult before using them. And if we take the lid away... Look! The green paint has gone everywhere, Ruby, apart from where the glue stick was. Now let's make a bigger circle in a different colour around the outside using a bigger object like this plastic cup. Now we're going to keep going like this in the same way using bigger and bigger objects each time. And remember to use a different colour each time as well to give you a really colourful effect. There you go, Ruby. A super circle sponge picture. What do you think? Great. Great. I'm glad you enjoyed that. And if you enjoyed that, there are lots of other ideas you could try too. How about printing around half a circle shape? It looks a little bit like a rainbow. You could even make a square pattern by printing around square objects. Super shape pictures, all made with sponges. Well done, Ruby. We made it. And now your home is where the art is. <laughs> well done. What a fantastic circle sponge picture. Bye, Ruby. <sighs> <laughs> I love being out and about in the Makermobile. 
the sun is shining, the birds are tweeting, and... Uh, <laughs> oh, what's that noise? <laughs> now, who do you think's in the doodle drawers? Many squares can you see? One, two, three, four, five. There are five squares. Well done, shapes. It's time to get back in the doodle drawers. <laughs> <laughs> You can see how happy I feel when I'm driving in my Maker 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 Mobile. <laughs> minute Mate time! Hey, it's Minute Mate time! I'm on my way! Here we are. Everyone. Yeah! yeah, and here's what we're going to make today. It's brilliant. Have a look at this. You might be thinking this is just a terrific turtle, but actually it's much, much more because if you open up his lid, it becomes a turtle treasure chest. Perfect for storing all your secret treasures. Now, to make one of these, you will need some coloured paper, some scissors, a glue stick, a pen, a paper bowl, some stickers, and a round cheese box. Now, do you think it's possible to make this turtle treasure chest in just one minute? No way! Well, let's find out. I'm gonna have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Great, let's make it in a minute. Three, two, one. Start the clock. Right, let's get our coloured paper and we're going to fold it in half like that. And then we're going to fold both sides in on each other like this. Right. Now, starting at this open end here, I'm going to cut a rough egg shape like this. Now, you have to be careful when you use scissors because they are... Sure. That's right. Now, let's see what we've got here. We've got one two, three, four, five. Perfect, we've got a spare one. I'll leave that one there. Now let's get some glue on here. We'll put a bit of glue there, 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 and a bit of glue there. Let's get our paper bowl and push this on. These need to stick down like that. Let's get some white stickers and put them on. These are gonna be the eyes of our turtle. Now they also need some black dots on them. There we go. Now we need our cheese box. Let's put some glue on that, then stick the turtle on top. And we've got our turtle treasure chest. <laughs> Phew, I just made it. But if you've got more than a minute, you can add paint, pen and stickers to decorate your turtle. And don't forget that it's perfect for storing all your treasures inside. There, fantastic. And there are lots of other ideas you could try too. 
How about this one? A snail treasure chest with a swirly painted shell and eyes on pipe cleaner stalks. Or you could even try this one. A lovely ladybird with a fun fur shell and a pink tongue. Terrific treasure chests made in a minute. Why don't you have a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Fold the paper in half and fold both sides in like this. Carefully cut an egg shape starting at the open end. Glue five of the egg shapes onto a paper bowl. Add stickers for eyes on one of the egg shapes and add pupils with a pen. Stick everything down onto the top of a cheese box and your turtle treasure chest is finished. Why don't you try and make one in a minute? Good idea, Mr Baker. <laughs> He's really come out of his shell. <laughs> out of his shell. <laughs> I better go. Goodbye, everyone! <laughs> Where shall we go next? Hello, Mr. Maker. Oh, nice to see you. What do you think we're making today? Oh, I'm not sure. Let's take a look. Everyone, see you soon. Now watch this. Shh, it's time for a big surprise. I'm about to surprise these mini makers who are not expecting me. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it's great to meet you. Uh, oh, hold on. What's that I can hear? It's the Ice Cream Man! Oh, oh it's the Ice Cream Man! No! Come back! Oh, oh, I missed him! But don't worry, it's just given me a great idea. I think we should make a big ice cream van. Will you help me? Yeah! Oh, fantastic! All right then, Asma, Amir, Rowan, Lookman and Tyrese, let's make it! And we're going to make a big ice cream van, aren't we? Yeah! <laughs> now, what should it look like? We're going to put ice cream on top of the van. An ice cream on top of the van? Do you think we should? Yeah. This ice cream that's going to go on top of the van, should it be a small ice cream? No. A big one? How big? How big should it be? What about this big? No, this big. How about this big? This big. That big? Really? Yeah. A big ice cream on top of the van sounds like fun. We should definitely do that. <laughs> All right then, I think we're ready to start making our big ice cream van, aren't we? Yeah! <laughs> Come on then, let's make it! Let's start with some wheels. Then paint the ice cream van. And now for the giant ice cream. Don't forget we need some tasty looking ice creams and lollies. We're having great fun making our big ice cream van, so why don't you try making something at home? Try making a brilliant ice cream pencil. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. To make one, you will need some cardboard, a brown pen, a thin sponge, a cup, scissors and glue, craft foam and brown card, and a pencil. First, draw a cone shape onto the piece of cardboard with a brown pen. Next, draw around a cup onto the thin sponge to make a circle. And carefully cut everything out. 
Stick the circle on top of the cone. Then cut up tiny pieces of craft foam or coloured paper and stick them onto your ice cream for toppings. You can even make a flaky chocolate stick using bumpy card. Carefully cut out a thin rectangle and stick it to the back of the ice cream. Add some extra details onto the cone with a brown pen. And now fix a pencil to the back of the ice cream cone with sticky tape. Your ice cream pencil is finished and ready to write with. <laughs> Writing with an ice cream. Why don't you try it? <laughs> oh, hello everyone. What are you putting down there then? Grass. Grass. Great, let me help. <laughs> Just there. Right. Do you think we're finished? Yeah. Ah, great. That way. <laughs> That's it. Keep coming. That's, wait, wait. No, no. Get back the other way. Back the other way. That's it. Back again. Back again. And stop. That's it. Look at that. We finished. Well done, everyone. We made it. Yeah. What a fantastic ice cream van! But you'd better be quick! Mr Maker, time to go! That's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Makermobile back in its box. <laughs> Again, it's great to see you. I'm just out having a drive in the Makermobile. Where do you think we should go today? Whoa! Oh. Toki here. Mimi, make a message. Hello, I'm Jake. Hello, Jake. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr. Maker. I'll be right with you. Must be the place. Hello, Jake. Now, how can I help you today? Can you show me how to paint a clever picture? You want to paint a clever picture, eh? It sounds like we need to find something to paint with. Now, I'm going to look inside my pocket for that. You never know what you're going to find in here. <laughs> <gasps> well, I never. Look, Jake. It's the lesser spotted spotty maker bug. I've never spotted the lesser spotty spotty maker bug before. <laughs> now we have to keep our eye on these creatures, Jake, because they're very, very rare. Yeah. <laughs> Where did it go? Oh, oh, well, never mind. You can't paint with a bug anyway. <laughs> Let's have another look in my pocket. Ah, oh, it's a rubber. That's no use either. A rubber's only good for rubbing out pencil lines. Or is it? Or is it? I've just had a great idea. Let's try something. Try printing paint with a rubber to make a wonderful wall for a crazy creature to hide behind. Let's make it! But first, we need somewhere to make it. Ooh. 
<laughs> and as well as a rubber, we'll need some other things from the doodle drawers. Right, now hold on to this, please. I'll be back soon. <laughs> some coloured paper and paint. Now, we also need a paper plate. I know, let's ask Scraps for help. Uh -huh. Oh, hello, Scraps. Huh? Oh, Scraps, don't move. You've got a leather spotted spotty makeup bug on your head. Right, steady, steady. <laughs> Oh no, sorry Scraps! Oh dear! What I was actually after was a paper plate. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, perfect! Thanks Scraps. Brilliant! And we also need a black pen and a glue stick. So this is what we're going to make today, Jake. It's a wonderful wall with a crazy creature behind it. Are you ready? Yeah. Great. Are you ready? Brilliant. Let's get making. Now, we're going to start with the wall first. So let's put down a strip of coloured paper. And now we're going to make the brick shapes. And you can help me with this bit, Jake. Can you squirt some paint out onto a paper plate for me? There we go. Thank you. Brilliant. And now, if we dip the rubber into the paint, we can print it onto the paper to make brick shapes. You can use whatever colour paper and paint you like. Now, would you like a go, Jake? Yeah. Good, right, it's your turn. Here we go. I'll slide it over to you. Start printing. Just remember to completely cover the page in brick prints and then leave it to dry. Perfect! But we're going to put our wall to one side for now because we're going to draw a crazy creature to hide behind it. You can draw whatever you like, but we're going to do a purple creature with yellow hands, white eyes and orange circle shapes for the antennae. So let's draw all of our crazy creature shapes. And then we need to cut them out. But we need to be careful because scissors are... Sharp! That's right! <laughs> now we can bring in a big piece of background paper that's much bigger than your wall. Then arrange all your pieces. Now let's start first, Jake, with our creature's head. Here it is. And the eyes. Let's put those in. Then the wall goes on top. And when everything is in place, we can start gluing it down. And if I get a black pen, Jake, let's fill in some lines to finish the antennae. And also we can add some black dots in the middle of the white circles to make pupils in the eyes. There, we've finished. And if you really enjoyed that, there are lots of other ideas you could try too. How about an elephant peeking over a wall? Or even a king and queen at the top of their castle? printing pictures. Why don't you try one today? We made it! And now, Jake, your home is where the art is. High five! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Well done. What a fantastic rubber print picture. Bye, Jake. Oh, <sighs> <laughs> lovely. <laughs> it's brilliant being out and about in the Makermobile. There's always so much to see and do. <laughs> What's that noise? Guess who that is? I am a shape. I am a shape. I am a circle. I am a triangle. I am 
What are the circles making today? Can you guess? Any ideas yet? It's a crown! Well done, shapes. It's time to get back in the doodle drawers. <laughs> Oh, it's such a brilliant day for a lovely drive out in the Makermobile. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Minute mate time! Hey, it's minute mate time! I'm on my way! <laughs> We've arrived! Minute mate time, everyone! <laughs> and today we're going to make a pet robot! Look at him, he's fantastic! <laughs> now, to make one of these, you will need some sticky tape, a small box, a pipe cleaner, some tin foil, some coloured stickers, two plastic lids, a glue stick, and a pen. Now, do you think it's possible to make this pet robot? In just one minute? No way! Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yes! <laughs> Are you ready? Great! Let's make it in a minute! Three, two, one! Start the clock! Right, let's get our tin foil and we're going to wrap up our small box a bit like a present. There we go, let's wrap it up. There we go, and push it all to the back like that. There we go. Now we're going to get our pipe cleaner and stick that on there. There we go. These are going to be the arms of the robot. Let's turn him over, and now we can start putting on our stickers. Let's put that one there, and let's put these here. There we go. We've got a red one. Let's put that one there as well. Ooh. And then this green one on as well. Let's get these white stickers. Now these are going to be the eyes, so let's draw on a dot there and a dot there and let's stick them at the top of our robot. Oh, this is going to be close for time. Now we need to get some glue and put them on these lids because these are going to be the robot's feet. Oh, here we go. If I stick these on to the bottom, I've made a pet robot! <laughs> Phew, I made it just in time. But if you've got more than a minute, you can make all sorts of pet robots. How about this one? Made with a different shaped box. It's got a lid nose and a pipe cleaner mouth. Or even this pretty pet robot with wiggly pipe cleaner hair and a heart-shaped sticker. Pet robots, why don't you have a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Wrap a small box in tin foil, stick a pipe cleaner on the back of the robot for arms, add stickers for the robot's details and eyes like this, then stick on plastic lids for feet, and your pet robot is finished! Why don't you try and make one in a minute? I love you, Mr Maker! Oh, I love you too! <laughs> right, everyone, I've got a dash! Goodbye! Bye. <laughs> Where shall we go next? Hello, Mr. Maker. Oh, nice to see you. What do you think we're making today? Oh, I'm not sure. Let's take a look. I'm dark blue. I'm yellow. I am red. I am brown. Blue. 
I am black. I am orange. Well done, everyone. See you soon. Now watch this. Shh. It's time for a big surprise. These mini makers have no idea what their surprise is going to be or what we're going to make. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's great to meet you. Now, do you like exploring? Yes. Yeah. Me too. Oh. <laughs> I like to explore new and exciting places. <laughs> Hello! <gasps> I've got a big idea. I think we should make a really big jungle that we can explore. Will you help me? Yeah! Fantastic! All right then, Amina, Bianca, Hamza, Issa and Samia, let's make it! So then everyone, we're going to make a really big jungle. Now, what should our jungle look like? Loads of grass. Grass? Trees. Trees, Trees as well, that's right. Animals. Animals, that's right. And what sort of animals should we make? A lion. A lion. A tiger. That would be a tiger. A snake. A snake. That sounds like a great idea. Do you think we're ready? Yeah. I think we're ready. Let's make it. We're making a monkey. We're making a giraffe. This is going to be a super snake. We're having great fun making our big jungle. So why don't you try making a small jungle animal at home? Try making a cheeky hanging monkey. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. To make one, you will need a piece of cardboard, a pen, sticky tape, scissors, fun fur, coloured paper, a bottle top, a glue stick and some stickers. Start by drawing a wiggly snake shape on a piece of cardboard. Then carefully cut this out. Next, draw a big circle on the back of some fun fur. And draw two smaller circles on a piece of coloured paper, like this. Now draw one more circle that's even smaller and carefully cut the circles out. Now glue the fun fur circle to the middle of the wiggly snake shape. Then glue on the smaller paper circle with a large paper circle on top like this. Cut the last paper circle in half to make the monkey's ears. Glue them into place behind the fun fur. And then add stickers for the monkey's eyes, nose and mouth. You can add more details with a pen. Make as many monkeys as you like in the same way and you can hook them all together for a great effect. cheeky little monkeys. But how's our big jungle coming along? Oh, fantastic. What are we painting, everyone? The leaves. Lovely. Let me help. Oh, great. You're making the lion. But he needs a tongue, though. So let's stick it on, Hamza. Go on. There you go. Fantastic. Now let's put it in place. Oh, yes. It's really taking shape now. 
Now let's make the jungle for our jungle animals. <laughs> That's it. Bring it in. Bring it in and put it down. <laughs> it's on my foot. <gasps> Ow! We finished! Well done, everyone! We made it! Yay! <laughs> Our jungle is full of amazing animals! Mr. Maker! Time to go! That's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Makermobile back in its box. Lovely to see you. This is my marvellous Makermobile. I've come out for a drive. I wonder what we're going to see today. <laughs> yeah! Toki here. Mini, make a message. Hello, I'm Frankie. Hello, Frankie. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr Maker. I'll be there very soon. <laughs> Frankie, now how can I help you today? What can we do with paint like this? What can we do with paint like this? Let's have a think, shall we? <sighs> oh, oh. <gasps> oh, that was close, but don't worry. I'm not going to squeeze and squirt this paint everywhere. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, dear. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'll just clean you up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I tell you what, though, that paint squirt has just given me a great idea. Let's try something. Try squirting with ready mixed paint to make your very own masterpiece. Priceless. Let's make it! But first, we need somewhere to make it. <laughs> and we'll also need some things from the Draws. I'll be back soon. Some coloured paper. We also need lots of coloured squirty paint. I know, let's ask Scraps for help. Oh, there you are, Scraps. Not Scraps. Scraps! <laughs> Scraps, I need some brightly coloured paint, please. Can you help? Brilliant. Thank you. Go on, off you go. Oh, here he comes. Oh, fantastic. Well done, Scraps. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so here we go then, Frankie. We're nearly ready. But this can get a little bit messy, so it's a good idea to do this outside. And it's best if you put on an apron or some old clothes first. We'll be back soon. Come on. Whoa! Yes, very nice. 
Also remember to put down some old paper or some newspaper. So then, Frankie, this is what we're going to make today. It's a super squirty paint picture. Now you can use whatever colours of paint you like for this, but just remember to use paint from squeezy bottles like this. So we're all ready then. Are you ready, Frankie? Yeah. Great. Are you ready? Brilliant. Let's get making. Now we've got a nice clean piece of paper here. All we need is some paint. So Frankie, you can help me here. Do you want to pick a colour of paint? Which colour should we go for first? Blue. Blue. Brilliant. OK, now I'm going to flip up the lid. And all I'm going to do is aim the paint at the paper and start squirting. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! That's great fun, isn't it? Now, can you pick me another colour? Which colour do you think we should go for next? Green. Great. Good choice. Don't worry if the paint squirts off the edges of your paper. That's why we put the old paper down first. That's good. And I think one more, so that's the pink, isn't it? Here we go. This is great fun. And your picture will look fantastic when it's dry. <laughs> Right then, Frankie, what do you think of our picture? It's very good. Very good, great. Well, I think we should do another one, but this time with a really big piece of paper. We'll also need lots more colours of squirty paint. Because it's time for a big squirt. <laughs> There's only room for one maker in this town. <laughs> Only kidding! The more the merrier. Three, two, one, squirt! <laughs> I think we're finished. Come and have a look, Frankie. What do you think? Very good, Mr. Maker. Well, well done, Frankie. We made it. And now your home is where the art is. High five. <laughs> well done. What a brilliant squirty masterpiece. Bye, Frankie. <sighs> oh, lovely. <laughs> it's brilliant being out and about in the Makermobile. There's always so much to see and do. <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> Oh, guess who that is? I am a shape. I am a shape. I am a circle. I am a triangle. I am a shape. I am a shape. I am a shape. I am a shape. What are the circles making today? Can you guess? Any ideas yet? It's a ladybird. Well done, shapes. It's time to get back in the dangle drawers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is a lovely day for a drive out in the Makermobile, isn't it? Wow! Oh, oh. It is night time! Hey, it's Minute Maid time! I'm on my way! I'm here! Minute Maid time! Yeah! Oh, I 
love being out and about, but the only problem is that I have to hang out my washing wherever the Makermobile takes me. Ugh. There we go, I'll just put this over there. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> just hang that up there. Oh, I'll tell you what, this has given me a great idea for a minute make. We're going to use this clothes peg to make a fantastic peg photo frame. Look at it, it's great and very useful for holding on to your favourite photos. Now to make one of these, you will need a glue stick, some scissors, of course the clothes peg, a pen, a ball of modelling clay and some coloured card. Now do you think it's possible to make this peg photo frame? in just one minute? No way! Well, I think I can. I'm going to have to be very quick, though, but don't worry. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Great! Let's make it in a minute! Three, two, one! Start the clock! Right, let's get some blue card and our scissors and we're going to very carefully cut out a wiggly shape. This is going to be the water at the bottom of our island. Now we need to be careful with scissors because they are... Sharp! That's right, there we go, there's our water. Then we get our modelling clay and we squidge that to make an island. And now we get our peg and we're going to push it upside down into the clay. There we go. Right, now let's get some green card and we're going to draw a leaf shape like this. There we go. And then cut that out too. Now I'm going to go very quick here, but you can take your time when you cut this out. That's it, around there and up there. It's quite fiddly, this, so you might want to ask an adult to help you. There we go, let's go around there. And if I do that and clear that away, I've just got enough time to put on some glue onto there to complete my peg photo frame. I did it! I made it. But if you've got more than a minute, you can add some pen details and little pom-pom coconuts. Fantastic! And there are lots of other ideas you could try too. What about this fantastic flower photo frame with paper petals and leaves? Lovely to hold my picture of Granny Maker. Or even this peg city with two pegs and extra card buildings. Just right for this busy looking businessman. Peg photo frames, why don't you make one? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Carefully cut out a wiggly water shape, squash a ball of modelling clay on top and push in an upside down peg like this. Draw a leaf shape and cut it out. Stick the leaf shape to the front of the peg and your peg photo frame is finished. Why don't you try and make one in a minute? Right, I've got to go, everyone. Goodbye. Ah! I wonder where we're off to next. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Maker. Oh, nice to see you. Look what we're making today. What are they going to make? I am black. Everyone, see you soon. Now watch this. Shh, it's time for a big surprise. <laughs> I'm about to surprise these mini makers who are not expecting me. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Maker! Oh, it's great to meet you. Now, do you like aeroplanes? Yes. Good, because. Oh! <laughs> Mini Makers, this is your captain speaking. I 
I've got a big idea. I think we should make a big plane. Will you help me? Yeah. Fantastic. All right then, Freya, Finley, Sam, Abby and James, let's make it. Now everybody, we're going to make a big plane. Now, what does an aeroplane have on it? A propeller, wings, steering wheel. Now, what can we make these things out of? Cardboard. <laughs> yeah. And what about the steering wheel? What could we make that out of? Paper plate. Would it make a good steering wheel? Have a go. <laughs> <laughs> All right then, everyone. I think we're ready to make our plane, aren't we? Yeah! <laughs> Come on then. Let's make it. I am painting the propeller. Hello, Finley. Now, what are we making here then? The wheel. The wheel. Great. Put plenty of glue on then. Right, should we stick it on then? That's it. Press it down. Let's paint the plane's body blue and red. So, everyone, have you painted the plane? Yeah! You certainly have. It looks great. Well done. <laughs> and now for some fluffy clouds. Well done. <laughs> We're really enjoying making our big plane, so why don't you try to make a small one? Try making an amazing, brightly coloured aeroplane. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. To make one, you will need a piece of cardboard, coloured paper and tissue paper, a pen, a small lid, a pencil, scissors, a clean plastic bottle, a cotton reel, glue, paint and paint brushes, lolly sticks and string. For the plane's wings, draw two big sausage shapes and half a sausage shape onto the cardboard. Next, draw a circle onto the paper by drawing around the plastic lid and carefully cut all the shapes out. Now, cut one of the cardboard sausages in half and tape both of the pieces onto the bottle like this. Then tape the other big cardboard sausage to the bottom of the bottle and stick half a cardboard sausage on top. Turn over the bottle and tape a cotton reel to the other side for the wheels. Cover everything in gloopy glue and stick on torn up tissue paper pieces to decorate your plane. Then leave it to dry. Next, stick the paper circle to the top of the plane for the cockpit. And add some details with different coloured paint. Then take two lolly sticks, paint them and then glue them together to make a cross. Now stick this to the front of the plane for the propeller. Last of all, tape a piece of string on top of the plane so you can hang it up and play with it. <laughs> what a perfect little plane! But I wonder how our big plane is coming along. <laughs> oh, there's a propeller! Who's that? Hello, Finley. You all right? Let's put the propeller on then. Oh, round and round. And... <laughs> now for a blue sky. Caca, <laughs> caca. Hello, I'm a bird. <laughs> Nearly finished. <laughs> there we go. Well done, everyone. We, we made, made it! it! Yeah! This is Captain Maker speaking. Have a nice flight. Mr. Maker! Time to go! Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Makermobile back in its box. Mr. <laughs> 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 
to see you. I'm out driving in the Makermobile, and who knows what we're going to see today. Whoa! Toki here. Mini make a message. Hello, I'm Tiana. Hello, Tiana. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr. Maker. I'm on my way. <laughs> Must be the place. <laughs> Hello, Tiana. Now, how can I help you today? Can we pick a pattern? A pattern? That's a great idea. But what pattern shall we paint? Let's have a think. Ooh. Ooh. Cardboard tube. <laughs> Woo! Sorry about that, but this has just given me a great idea. Let's try something. If you want to have fantastic fun, try printing a pattern with string and a cardboard tube. It's brilliant. Yeah. Let's make it! But first, we'll need somewhere to make it. Ooh. And we'll also need some things from the doodle drawers. I'll be back soon. <laughs> some coloured paper. Some squirty paint and some gloopy PVA glue. <laughs> We also need an old tray. Now, let's have some help to find that. Oh, Scraps, what's that, a banana? Oh, great, thank you. I'll have that for a snack later. But right now, I'm looking for an old tray. Can you help, please? Brilliant. Oh, fantastic. Well done, thank you, Scraps. That's just what I was looking for. <laughs> and we also need some wiggly string. <laughs> so then, Tiana, let's print with a cardboard tube and some wiggly string to make a wiggly pattern like this one here. So, are you ready? Yeah. Brilliant. Are you ready? Fantastic! Let's get making. Now, the first thing we're going to do is completely cover our cardboard tube in gloopy glue. You can help me with this, Diana. Here's some gloopy glue. Now, can you help me cover this tube in glue? Right, where you go. Now, I'm going to leave that there for the moment because it's time to cut a long piece of string. All right. Now, we need to be careful when using scissors because they are... Oh, that's right. Ooh, that was loud. <laughs> Brilliant. Now we can stick our string to our tube in a wiggly pattern. Just like this. And then leave it to dry. 
Let's put that to one side. Now, this can get a little bit messy, so it's a good idea to put down some old paper or some newspaper first. And then we need to find some colourful paint that comes in squeezy, squirty bottles like this. Now, Tiana, you hold on to that for me, please, and give it a good squeeze so we have enough paint to cover the tray when we spread it all out. There we go, that looks pretty good, I think. Well done. Now it's time to bring in a clean piece of paper and we're going to roll our wiggly card tube into the paint. In it goes. There we go, right. And now we're going to roll it onto our paper. Look at that, Tiana. Do you like that? Yeah. Let's do it again then. Right, let's get some more paint. Here it goes. Oh, and there it is. Wonderful wiggliness. So did you enjoy that, Tiana? Yes, Mr Maker. Brilliant. And if you enjoyed that, there are lots of other ideas you could try too. You could use two different colours. Or why not try using glittery paint to make a zigzag pattern? Printing a wiggly string pattern is fantastic fun. We made it, Tiana. And now your home is where the art is. High five. Whoa, <laughs> good one. <laughs> what a fantastic wiggly string pattern. Bye, Tiana. <sighs> it's brilliant being out and about in the Makermobile. There's always so much to see and do. And... <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> oh, who could it be? <laughs> I am a shape. I am a shape. I am a circle. I am a triangle. What are the squares making today? Can you guess? Any ideas yet? It's a house! Well done, shapes! It's time to get back in the doodle drawers! <laughs> See how happy I feel when I'm driving in my maker, 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 maker mobile. <laughs> minute mate time! Hey, it's minute mate time! I'm on my way! <laughs> Here we are. It's Minute Mate time, everyone! Yay! Letter from Mr Maker. Oh, thank you, Mr Postman. I wonder what this could be. Oh, look! It's an envelope card from my friend Robin. It's brilliant. And to make one of these in a minute, you will need, of course, an envelope, a roll of sticky tape and a pen. Now, do you think it's possible to make one of these envelope cards in just one minute? No way! Well, I think I can. I'm going to have to be very quick 
But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Good. Let's make it in a minute! Three, two, one! Drop the cork! Right, we're going to get our envelope and fold it in half like that, and then fold it in half the other way as well, like this. There we go. Fold it down there. And now if we open it up, we're going to pinch this front part here, like that. Give it a little pinch. And if we fold it over, that should give us a beak. It does. Brilliant. Right, let's get our sticky tape roll, put that in the middle, and this is going to give us a nice circle all the way round. And this will be the body of our robin. There we go, all the way round. And now let's draw on some feathers on the top of the head and on the side there as well. Let's give him another wing here. There we go, some feet. There we go, and of course the rest of his beak. And we're gonna do it! And his eyes as well, just about. And I've made an envelope card! <laughs> Phew, I made it! If you've got more than a minute, you could colour it in. And there are lots of other ideas you could try too. How about this one? A lovely penguin envelope card. Or how about an owl envelope card? It's a real hoot. Or you could try this peacock with lots of feathers. Doesn't he look fabulous? <coughs> envelope cards, why don't you have a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Fold an envelope in half and back on itself. Pinch and fold a nose in the flap like this. Draw a circle for the body, add details like wings and a beak, and your envelope card is finished. Why don't you try and make one in a minute? Right, I've got to go, everyone. Goodbye! <laughs> Now, where to next? Hello, Mr. Maker. Oh, nice to see you. Can you guess what we're making today? What are they going to make? I am black. everybody. See you next time. Now watch this. Hello. Are you ready for a big surprise? <laughs> These mini makers have no idea I'm visiting or what we're going to make. Hello. Mr. Maker. <laughs> How are you? Are you okay? Yeah. Well, it's great to meet you. Now, do you like going to the fun fair? Yeah. Me too. Oh, <laughs> roll up, roll up. <laughs> I've got a big idea. I think we can have all the fun of the fair if we make a big coconut shy. Will you help me? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. <Ooh. laughs> hmm. So, Matthew, Eleanor, Lauren, Andy and Alex, let's make it. Well, we're going to make a coconut shy. Now, coconut shy is a great fun. You win a prize if you throw a ball and it knocks a coconut off a pole. So let's start by making our coconut. Now, what does a coconut look like? Brown and it's 
It's hard and it's heavy. Now, what could we make our coconut out of, do you think? You could put tissue paper on, glue it together, and then get one of them, wrap it around there, and then you could make a coconut like that. Great. Now we know how to make our coconuts. We also need to make somewhere to put them. So come on, everyone. Let's go and make it. Come on. Follow me. This way. Let's go. We are making the roof of the coconut shop. Making the back of the coconut shine. Well done. Right, are we finished? Yes! Perfect. Our coconuts are going on these tubes. <laughs> well done. How's our coconut coming along? Well done. Brilliant. A coconut. Well done. Way. Up a bit. What about that? Yeah! <laughs> Thanks for your help. <laughs> We're having great fun making our big coconut shy. So why don't you try making a smaller one to play with at home? Try making a small coconut shy with its own furry coconut friends. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. To make it, you will need a cardboard lid, some cardboard tubes, a pen and a pencil, a ball of modelling clay, scissors, paint and brushes, cake cases, glue, googly eyes, a piece of fun fur, and polystyrene eggs which you can get from an art and craft shop. Take a cardboard lid and the three cardboard tubes. It looks good if they're all different lengths. Next, draw circles around the tubes on top of your cardboard lid like this. Put a piece of modelling clay under the lid and push a hole through each circle with a pencil. Then carefully cut out all the holes. Now paint the lid any colour you like and leave it to dry. Paint the tubes a different colour and leave them to dry. Push the tubes inside the holes on top of your lid. And glue the cake cases to the top of the tubes. Next, take a polystyrene egg and cover it in gloopy glue. Now wrap your egg in fun fur and leave it to dry. Do the same for the other eggs. Stick googly eyes onto each egg and your coconuts are ready to play with. Pop each one into a cake case, then all you need is a ball to throw at them. Ouch! <laughs> What a cute little coconut shy. But I wonder how our big one's coming along. <laughs> Hello, everyone. What are we making? Oh, a fence. <laughs> Fantastic. Ooh. Well done. Nearly finished. There we go. Well done, everyone. We made it. Yeah. Three, two, one, throw! Mr. Maker, time to go! Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Maker Mobile back in its box. <laughs>
lovely to see you. This is my marvellous Makermobile. I've come out for a drive. I wonder what we're going to see today. Whoa! Toki here. Mini, make a message. Hello, I'm Phoebe. Hello, Phoebe. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr Maker. I'll be right with you. This must be the place. <laughs> Hello, Phoebe. So, how can I help you today? Can you show me how to make a really colourful pattern? A colourful pattern, eh? Well, to think up a colourful pattern, we first need to do the colourful pattern dance. <laughs> Wait a minute, I know. Hang on. <laughs> Coloured wool. This is just giving me a great idea. Let's try something. Try making something really colourful by winding brightly coloured wool into a fantastic pattern. Let's make it! But first, we need somewhere to make it. <laughs> and we'll also need some things from the doodle drawers. We'll be back soon, Phoebe. <laughs> Some sticky tape and a glue stick. We also need some card from a cardboard box, and I might need some help finding that. <laughs> oh, Scraps, you must have heard me. Oh, thank you, but this box is a little bit too small, I'm afraid. What I'm really looking for is some cardboard from a big cardboard box. Do you think you'd be able to find that for us? Oh, great. Here you go. That's it. Go on. <laughs> oh, that's more like it. Well done. Thank you, Scraps. That's just what I was looking for. And we also need some more coloured wool. So then, Phoebe, this is what we're going to make today. It's a wonderful woolly pattern. <laughs> Get it? Wonderful. Because it's wonderful and we're going to be winding. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, are you ready? Yeah. Great. Are you ready? Brilliant. Let's get making. Now, the first thing we're going to do is cover our card in glue. Now, you can help me with this, Phoebe. Here's the card. Grab the glue stick and get gluing, because we're going to colour it in with some coloured paper. Thank you, Phoebe. Good job. And now, stick any colour of paper you like on top. Now, when the glue is dry, we can start to cut little shapes of the letter V into the edges of the card. Now, this is a bit tricky, so it's a good idea to ask an adult to help you. Now, make sure that you make these cuts into each edge of the card. You can make as many as you want and put them wherever you like. But be careful, though, because scissors are... Sharp. That's right. OK, we need our wool now, Phoebe. So which colour shall we choose, do you think? Blue, please. Blue. OK, here's some nice blue wool. And we're going to place one end of the wool into one of our cuts here. And then if we turn the card over like that, we can stick it in place with some sticky tape. And now, if we turn the card over again, we can start winding. And the idea is to wind the wool from one V-shape to the next until you build up a pattern. Keep winding around the card until you're happy with how it looks. Now we have to stick it down with some sticky tape. So turn it over and stick the end of the wool down. Now, another colour of wool, please, Phoebe. What do you think? Which colour should we use? Green. Green? OK, then can you pass me the green wool? Wonderful. If you use another colour of wool on top, your pattern will look even better. Yeah. <laughs> Before you start, stick down the end of the new wool. So here we go again. 
we're winding across the card. And the good thing about this idea is that you can wind the wool in whatever pattern you like. <laughs> we're almost finished, Phoebe, but first, we need to put some sticky tape on the back. Can you do that for me? Make sure it's all stuck in place. Well done. <laughs> Brilliant. Let's have a look, shall we? I think we are finished. Well done, that is great. And if you enjoy that, here are some other ideas you could try. This windy pattern is made of thick and thin coloured wool. Or you could even make a star-shaped one using two pieces of square card stuck together like this. Wonderful winding woolly patterns. Why don't you try one today? So then, Phoebe, what do you think? Very good, Mr Maker. We made it! And now your home is where the art is. High five! <laughs> what a fantastic windy wool pattern. Well done, Phoebe. Bye! <sighs> <laughs> I love being out and about in the Makermobile. The sun is shining, the birds are tweeting, and... Uh, <laughs> oh, what's that noise? <laughs> oh, it's the shapes! I am a shape! I am a shape! I am a circle. I am a triangle. I am a square. I am a rectangle. What are the rectangles making today? Can you guess? Any ideas yet? It's a crocodile! Well done, shapes! It's time to get back in the doodle drawers! <laughs> Oh, I love driving the Makermobile. There are always so many interesting things to see. Yeah. Ah. Minute Mate Time! Hey, it's Minute Mate Time! I'm on my way! It's Minute Mate time, everyone! Yeah! And today we're going to make something brilliant. But before we do, I'm going to water my favourite pot plant. Oh no, look at it! Oh dear, that's a bit of a shame. Do you know what I need? I need a plant that doesn't need any watering. Like this torn paper plant. Now you can make one of these in a minute. And you will need some sheets of coloured paper, a small flower pot, a ball of modelling clay, and that's it! Do you think it's possible to make this torn paper plant in just one minute? No way! Well, I think I can. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! Yeah? Are you ready? <laughs> Great! Let's make it in a minute! Three, two, one! Start the clock! Right, we get our ball of modelling clay and we push it into our pot like that, and then put it to one side. Then we get our three pieces of paper and we're going to start tearing strips all the way down like this. 
but we're not going to tear quite to the bottom till about there. That'll be good. And let's tear out another piece here, all the way down. These are going to be the curly leaves on our plant. That's another one down here. Tear that. And one to go, I think. That'll look really nice. A nice leaf here as well. Very wavy and very curly. Now, we fold this round into a tube shape, like that. And we're going to stick it into our pot, like that. In it goes. And if I do a bit of gardening, like this, I've got myself a torn paper plant. Yay! Phew, I made it. But if you've got more than a minute, there are lots of other ideas you could try. How about this one with brightly coloured paper flowers? Or how about making one with paper cake cases for eyes? Or you could even make a really big torn paper plant with lots of leaves and a tropical flower. Torn paper plant, why don't you have a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Push the modelling clay into the bottom of a plant pot. Tear leaves into the green paper, but don't go all the way to the edge. Roll it into a tube shape. Push it into the plant pot and your torn paper plant is finished. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Goodbye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Now, where to next? Hello, Mr. Maker. Oh, nice to see you. Look what we're making today. What are they going to make? <laughs> I am black. I am orange. See you soon. Now watch this. Hello. Are you ready for a big surprise? <laughs> These mini makers have no idea what their surprise is going to be or what we're going to make. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it's great to meet you. Now, do you all like cars? Yeah. Great. Me too. <laughs> that was great fun, and it's given me a big idea. I think we should make a big car. Will you help me? Yeah! Oh, fantastic. All right then, Mirko, Khalil, Nazra, Hamdi and Hamda, Let's make it. Right, we're going to make a big car. What do you find on a car, Mirko? Steering wheel, a gear and brakes and mirrors. Brilliant. Steering wheel, brakes, mirrors. Now, I think we should paint our car a really bright colour. What colour do you think? Purple. Blue. Blue. Yellow. Yellow. Red. Red? So I think we should paint our car Red! Ah, what a good idea. <laughs> Do you know what? I think we're ready to make our car, aren't we? Yeah! <laughs> Come on then, let's make it. We can use boxes to make the shape of our car. There's a lot of things to paint. What are we painting? Well, we're painting some hedges, a terrific tree, and a hill. 
we're having great fun making our big car, so why don't you try making a little one at home? Try making a brilliant little box car. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. To make one, you will need an empty tissue box, coloured paper, black paper, plastic lids, a glue stick, white paper, stickers and a black pen. First, take some coloured paper and wrap it around an empty tissue box. And tape it into place. Now take a black rectangle of paper and fold the edge up like this. Turn the paper over and then fold it back again. Keep going until you reach the end of the paper. If you find this difficult, ask an adult to help you. Now glue this to the end of the box. And stick a white paper rectangle in front of it. Next, glue a long strip of black paper around the bottom edge of the box. Then tape a clear plastic lid onto the front of the box for a windscreen, like this. Now use four round lids for the wheels and stick them on both sides of the car. Add more details using stickers, scrap paper and a black pen. And when you're happy with your car, you can play with it! What a lovely way to make a little car! Why don't you give it a go? <laughs> now, how are we getting on here? Great, great. Good! Would you like some help? Yeah. <laughs> OK. Come on, everybody, let's make the grass. Let's get the tubes up. Come on, onto the car. <laughs> we did it! Hooray! <laughs> Nearly finished. There we go. Well done, everyone. We made it! Yeah! It's a lovely day for a drive. Mr Maker, time to go. That's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Makermobile back in its box. <laughs> Nice to see you. I've hit the road in my brilliant Makermobile and I never quite know where it's going to take me. Whoa! Toki here. We need make a message. Hello, I'm Ben. Hello, Ben. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr Maker. I'll be there very soon. Ben, put it there. Now, how can I help you today? Can you show me how to make a torn paper picture? A torn paper picture? Great idea. I'm really good at tearing. 
I'm great at tearing open presents on my birthday. I'm even quite good at... tearing my trousers when I'm dancing. <laughs> anyway, Ben, do you know what the easiest thing in the world to tear is? No. I'll tell you, it's this stuff, tissue paper, and it's just given me a great idea. Let's try something. Try making this terrific torn tissue picture. Colourful, creative and very easy to do. Let's make it! But first, Ben, we need somewhere to make it. <laughs> and we also need some things from the doodle drawers. I'll be back soon. A large piece of card. Hmm, now the next one is a bit tricky. I wonder if Scraps can help. <laughs> Scraps! <laughs> we need a jug of water. Can you help? <laughs> oh, well done! <laughs> Thanks, Scraps. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to walk with this very carefully. <laughs> and we also need lots of coloured tissue paper and some gloopy PVA glue. <laughs> So then, Ben, this is what we're going to make today. It's a tremendous torn tissue picture. Great. Great. Well, I'm glad that you're pleased. Does that mean you're ready? Yes. Fantastic. Are you ready? Great. Let's get making. Now, the first thing we need is our tissue paper. You can use whatever colour tissue paper you like, but it's a good idea to use similar looking colours together. Maybe some pinks and purples together. Or you could use greens and blues. When you've chosen your tissue paper, start tearing. You can tear whatever shapes you like. Oh, it's a good one. We've got lots of tremendous torn tissue paper pieces here. And now we need to make a very special mixture that's made up of half gloopy glue and half water. Here we go, Ben. Grab this brush. Give that mixture a good stir, please. Well done, Ben. Now our mixture is ready. It's time to bring in a clean sheet of card or paper and ask you to spread a thin layer of our special mixture all the way across the card. That's it. Make sure you cover the whole thing. Great gluing, Ben. That's it. Well done. I'm going to move this over here now because it's time to stick our ripped tissue paper pieces into the glue. We can put them wherever we want. There, that looks good. Now, what should we go for next? A purple one. Here we go. Let's stick it on. Now, carry on sticking down your ripped up pieces of paper. When you're happy with your picture, brush another thin layer of the gloopy glue mixture on top and then leave it to dry. <laughs> and there we have it, a tremendous torn tissue picture. And if you enjoyed that, there are lots of other ideas you could try too. How about a lovely green, yellow and blue picture? Or you could try sticking the strips the other way. Or how about crisscrossing your strips to make a different pattern? Torn tissue pictures. Why don't you try making one today? So what do you think of our picture then, Ben? Great. Great. Well, I think you're great. We made it. And now, Ben, your home is where the art is. High five. <laughs> what a terrific torn tissue picture. Well done, Ben. Bye. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> it's brilliant being out and about in the Makermobile. There's always so much to see and do. <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs>
I know who that is. I am a shape. I am a shape. I am a circle. Triangles. Can you see what it is? Any ideas? It's a flamingo. Well done, Shapes. It's time to get back in the doodle drawers. <laughs> I love driving in the Makermobile. There are so many interesting things to see. <laughs> Minute mate time! Hey, it's Minute Mate time! I'm on my way! <laughs> I've arrived! <laughs> It's Minute Mate time, everyone! Yay! <laughs> and today we're going to make something that's extremely brilliant. <laughs> no, it's not my breakfast, but it is excellent. <laughs> Get it? Excellent! Because it's an egg box. No? Would you like to see inside, though? Yeah! <laughs> Let's have a look. Hey! It's the yolk folk! They're brilliant, and they live inside an egg box. Smashing, aren't they? <laughs> to make one of these, you will need a pencil, some chopped up pieces of wool, and we'll also need some googly eyes and air drying clay. Now, you can find these things in an art and craft shop. I'll be back very soon. <laughs> Here is our air drying clay and, of course, our googly eyes. Now, do you think it's possible to make one of these yolk folk in just one minute? No! Way! Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! <laughs> Are you ready? Great! Let's make it in a minute! Start the clock! Right, we're going to get our ball of air drying clay and we're going to roll it into an egg shape, like this. There we go, let's make it all eggy. There we go, like that. I think that's looking quite good. There. That looks like an egg. And now we need to get our googly eyes and we're just going to push them into the clay. One there and one there as well. There's the two googly eyes. Now our little friend here needs some hair, so we're going to bunch all the wool together and I'm going to grab the pencil, push the hair in, and then push the pencil into the clay like that, and we get some hair. Look, he's got spiky hair just like me. Now, I'm going to use this pencil again to make a mouth in the front, and we have got one of our yolk foe! Yeah! Phew, I made it! If you've got more than a minute, you could paint it, like this one here. And there are all sorts of yolk folk that you could try. How about this pink one with yellow wool hair? Or even this green one with a plastic lid for a hat? 
You could even make a whole family of egg box living yolk folk. They're great, aren't they? We are cracking! Oh, yolk folk. Why don't you try and make some? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Roll some air drying clay into an egg shape. Add two googly eyes. And add some wool for hair using a pencil to push it in. Use your pencil to make a mouth. And your yolk person is finished. Why don't you try and make some yolk folk? They're smashing. Right, I've got to go, everyone. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> I love driving the Makermobile. Where should we go to next? Hello, Mr. Maker. Oh, hello. Nice to see you. What do you think we're making today? Oh, I'm not sure. Let's take a look. Everybody. See you next time. Now watch this. Hello. Are you ready for a big surprise? These mini makers have no idea what their surprise is going to be or what I'm going to do. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, it's great to meet you. Now, I've got a big idea. But I need a team of five builders. Where am I going to find a team of five builders? Me! Well, you? Will you help me? Yeah! Brilliant! Now, I think we should build a big cardboard city. So, Maria, Aya, Joshua, Alina and Mackay, let's make it! Yeah! Are you excited about making our cardboard city? Yeah! <laughs> Fantastic. Now, if we were going to make a city, what sort of things should we have in it? Houses. Houses. That's good. What else? Cars. Roads. Brilliant ideas. Now, what sort of buildings do you think we should make? Do you think we should make very small buildings? No, this kind of thing. That's all? Yeah. <laughs> they could be even taller, couldn't they? They could be even this tall. Yeah. yeah. Do you think we should do it? Yeah. Let's make it then, all right, everybody? Grab a paintbrush and let's go. The decorations for our building. We're painting the windows. It's time to paint the clock. So let's paint it. What colour do you think we should paint the clock? Orange. Good idea. Let's get painting then. Come on. Tubes and boxes and coloured paper make brilliant buildings. It's great fun building our big city, so why don't you have a go making your own small one at home? Try making a brightly coloured cardboard city. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. To make one, you will need some thick card, boxes and tubes, a glue stick, card circles, scissors, paintbrushes, paint, and a black pen. Take a piece of thick card and arrange your boxes, pots, and tubes however you like. When you're happy with where they are, glue them down. Hmm. 
Next, take some card circles and carefully cut slits up to the middle of each piece of card. Bend the card around to make a cone. And then tape it into place. You can make as many cones as you like in the same way. Place your cones onto the tubes to make pointy roofs. Now paint your cardboard city using whatever colours you like. When you've painted your buildings, you can add all sorts of things. You could even paint a clock face and draw on some details with a black pen. Add windows, doors and whatever you want. Your cardboard city is finished. It's ready to play with and you can keep anything you like inside it. Oh, what a perfect way to make a small city. But I wonder how our big city's coming along. Oh, yes. Now, where should we put that? Hmm. <laughs> Just one more window. <laughs> there we go. Well done, builders. We made it. Oh, just in time. <laughs> Yay! Fantastic. What a wonderful day we've had in the city. Mr Maker, time to go! Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Makermobile back in its box. to see you. I'm out driving in the Makermobile, and who knows what we're going to see today. Whoa! Toki here. We need make a message. Hello, I'm Eva. Hello, Eva. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr Maker. I'll be right with you. Hello, Eva. Now, how can I help you today? What can we make with this? Oh, a paper plate. Oh, I don't know. What can we make with this? Wait a minute. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> I've just had a great idea. Let's try something. Get behind the wheel of this colourful car picture complete with a paper plate steering wheel. <laughs> Let's, Let's make, make it. it! But first, we need somewhere to make it. And we'll also need some things from the doodle drawers. Wait here, Eva. I'll be back soon. Some card. Now, we also need four lolly sticks. But we need some help to find them. I know, let's call Scraps! Uh -huh. ah. 
Oh, hello, Scraps. Now, we need four lolly sticks. Can you help, please? <laughs> Brilliant, thank you. <laughs> well done, Scraps. Look at that. Four lolly sticks. Thank you. <laughs> Did you hear that? A ruler, a sharp pencil, a ball of modelling clay, and a glue stick. And we also need some colourful bottle tops and some craft foam. So, Eva, this is what we're going to make today. A fantastic driving picture. So, are you ready, Eva? Yeah. Great. Are you ready? Brilliant. Let's get making. Now, the first thing we're going to do is bring in a big piece of card. Here we go. Now, you can use whatever colour you like, but we're going to use silver. Now, I'm going to turn this over, and with a pencil, Eva, I'm going to draw a big curve. Now, we need to cut this out, but we've got to be careful, because scissors are... Sharp! Yeah. This will be the car's dashboard. Now, we're going to put this to one side for the moment because it's time to turn our paper plate <laughs> into a steering wheel like this. Now, to do this, we're going to turn our paper plate upside down, Eva, and draw a cross on the back of it like this. I'm going to use a ruler for this. We're going to make a hole here, here, here and here. Now, to make these holes, put a ball of modelling clay underneath and carefully push a sharp pencil through the plate. Now, this is a bit tricky, so you might want to ask an adult to help you. Do the same to make three more holes. And carefully cut out the four sections of the plate, like this to make your steering wheel. Now we'll put that to one side for the moment and we're going to bring in a nice big piece of paper for our background. We're going to stick on our dashboard onto this background paper. Now, will you help me with this, Eva? Thank you. Glue away. Brilliant. Well done, Eva. Thank you. That was great help. Now, I'm going to glue on the dashboard. I'm going to put a bit of glue here because this is where our steering wheel is going to go. And these lolly sticks are going to be the windscreen wipers. <laughs> we can arrange and glue down all of our coloured bottle tops and craft foam pieces to make the buttons on our dashboard and steering wheel. <laughs> so will you help me with this, Eva? Brilliant. Can you put some glue on that for me? There we go. Oh, it's quite sticky, isn't it? Now we can put this in the middle there. There we go. And I think actually I'll choose this bottle top now. And I'll put some glue on the edge round like that. There we go. Put that in the middle and stick down lots of other bottle tops and craft foam pieces to finish off your driving picture. You could even turn your paper plate into the wheel of a super spacecraft with glittery bottle tops and printed paper planets. We made it! And now, Eva, your home is where the art is! High five! <laughs> well done! Brilliant! What a colourful car picture! Good job, Eva! Bye! <sighs> <laughs> Lovely! <laughs> It's brilliant being out and about in the Makermobile. There's always so much to see and do. <laughs> What's that noise? Oh, guess who that is? I am the shape. I am the shape. I am a circle. I am a triangle. I am a square. I am a rectangle.
how many circles can you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine circles. Well done, shapes. It's time to get back in the doodle drawers. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful day for a relaxing drive in the Makermobile. <laughs> Minute Mate Time! Hey, it's Minute Mate Time! I'm on my way! Here we are. Oh, it's Minute Make Time! And today we're going to make something really wobbly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's right, we're going to make one of these. It's a wobbly pen head. Look, it's brilliant. And if you pick your pen up, it really wobbles. Now, to make one of these, you will need a glue stick, a pipe cleaner, two pom-poms, that's one large and one small, and, of course, a pen. Oh, we'll also need some googly eyes. Now, you can find these in an art and craft shop. I'll be back very soon. <laughs> Are our googly eyes. Now, do you think it's possible to make this wobbly pen head in just one minute? No way! Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! <laughs> are you ready? Brilliant! Let's make it in a minute! Three, two, one! Start the clock! Right, let's get our pipe cleaner and the large pom-pom and we're going to push the pom-pom onto the pipe cleaner like that. Now, it's quite fiddly, so you might want to ask an adult to help you. Let's get the small pom-pom now and put on plenty of glue. This is going to be the nose, so let's stick it in the middle. Right, now let's get a googly eye, some glue on there. There we go, and put that first googly eye on. There we go, and now the other googly eye on that side there. Great, it's looking very good. Now we need to get our pen and turn it upside down and start wrapping this pipe cleaner round and round and round and round it goes. And then on the end of your pen, we've got a wobbly pen head. Yeah! <laughs> Phew, I made it. But if you've got more than a minute, you can make all sorts of wobbly pen heads. You could do this. How about a blue one with curly pipe cleaner hair? Or this one with pom-pom hair. Or even this one with wild woolly hair and a sticker for a mouth. Wobbly pen heads made in a minute. Why don't you have a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Push a pom-pom onto a pipe cleaner. Glue on a smaller pom-pom to make a nose. And two googly eyes. Wind your wobbly head around a pen, and your wobbly pen head is finished! Why don't you try and make one in a minute? Moustache, everyone! Goodbye! Bye. Now, where to next? Hello, Mr Maker! Oh, nice to see you! Can you guess what we're making today? What are they going to make? I am grey. I am pink. And dark blue. I'm light blue. 
I am black. I am purple. Everybody, see you soon. Now watch this. Hello, are you ready for a big surprise? <laughs> I'm about to surprise these mini makers. They have no idea what's going to happen. Hello, everyone. There's Mr. Maker. Hello, Mr. Maker. Hello, it's great to meet you. Now, do you like to party? Yeah. Great. I do too! Mini Disco! <laughs> do you know what? I think we need to invite more people to this party! Yeah! Great! So let's make some really big chew people! Will you help me? Yeah! Fantastic! OK then, Allah, Khalid, Olivia, Gabriella and Faisan. Let's make it! Now everybody, we're going to make our tube people. What do we need to put on our tube people? Hair. Hair, that's a good idea. Now, what sort of hair could they have? Spiky! Apart from hair, what else should our tube people have? Mouth and teeth. And teeth! <laughs> hello, I am a tube person. Hello, hello. Is that good? Yeah! Oh, well, we'll use that then. Well done. Well, I think we know what our two people are going to look like. Let's get making. Come on, yeah. everyone. <laughs> That's it this way. Woohoo! I'm doing the nose. I'm doing the eyes. So then, what are you making here then, Faisal? I'm making the mouth. The mouth, Allah? I'm making the nose. The nose? And what about you, Khalid? Pocket. The pocket. Great. Well, keep going, everyone. Well done. Gabriella's made lips. And Anna's made some eyes. These big tubes will make great bodies. <laughs> Mr. Maker! Oh, sorry. Right. And here you go. That's it. <laughs> We're having great fun making our big chew people, so why don't you have a go making some smaller ones? Try making a terrific tube friend. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. To make one, you will need half a kitchen roll, coloured paper, a glue stick, pieces of wool, some small lids, coloured sticky dots and a pen. Take the kitchen roll, then wrap your coloured paper around the tube and glue it in place to make clothes. Make sure you leave some space at the top for your tube person's face. Take the wool and tape it to both sides of the tube for hair. Like this. Now make a hat by gluing the two small lids together. Then stick the lid hat to the tube. Decorate your tube person with coloured stickers and white stickers for eyes. Then you can add some pupils with a black pen. And maybe some eyelashes and a smiley mouth. You can make as many chew people as you like. In as many different designs as you like. The more you make, the more you can play with. Oh, that is a great idea. But I wonder how our big chew people are coming along. <laughs> oh yes, looking good. <laughs> Nearly finished? <laughs> Brilliant! Well done, everyone! We, we made it! it!
It's party time! Now that was a fun party, wasn't it? Mr Maker! Time to go! Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Makermobile back in its box. Again, it's great to see you. I'm just out having a drive in the Makermobile. Where do you think we should go today? Whoa! Oh. Toki here. We need make a message. Hello, I'm Harry. Hello, Harry. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr. Maker. I'll be there very soon. I've arrived! <laughs> Hello, Harry. So, how can I help you today? Can you show me how to make a rip paper picture? Oh, that's a good idea. I like ripping. It's great fun and really easy, too. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Actually, sometimes it's quite hard to rip things. What we need is something thinner. Ah, yes, that'll do. Let's have a look now. Ha-ha! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> <laughs> and these pieces of ripped paper have just given me a great idea. Let's try something. Try making this lovely layered picture made by ripping colourful shapes from paper. <laughs> Let's, Let's make it. it! But first, we'll need somewhere to make it. <laughs> and we'll also need some things from the doodle drawers. I'll be back soon, Harry. Some coloured paper. We also need another very special type of paper. I wonder if scraps can help. <laughs> Where is scraps? Scraps? Scra mm. I think he might be in the shower. <laughs> scraps, scraps, come on! We need your help! <laughs> scraps, sorry to bother you, but could you find us some tracing paper, please? Thank you. <laughs> now, tracing paper is very thin paper that you can see through. <laughs> oh, great! Well done, Scraps! <laughs> Thank you! And we'll also need a glue stick. So, Harry, this is what we're going to make today. It's a lovely layered picture of some ducks on a pretty pond. So what do you think? It's really good, Mr Maker. It's good. Brilliant. So does that mean you're ready? Yeah. Great. Are you ready? Brilliant. Let's get making. Now, the first thing we're going to make is the water in our picture. So we'll need a blue piece of paper for this and we're going to tear out two long wavy strips. Take the paper and tear off a thick wavy piece for one edge and a thinner wavy piece for the other edge like this. Next, rip out some green leaf shapes. Actually, you can help me with this, Harry. Ooh. 
Now let's rip out some ducks from yellow paper. This can be a bit fiddly, so you might need an adult to help you. Look, two ducks. Now we're going to put our two ducks to the side just for the moment and bring in the blue piece of paper for our sky. Now, do you remember those long wavy blue strips that we ripped out earlier for the water? Well, we need the larger one back in. Here it is. And we're going to line it up on our background paper like this, making sure that the straight edges and the corners match. Now we can add in a duck and some green leaves. Here's a little duck. And three green leaves, I think. Now I'm just tucking these behind the blue strip. And when you're happy with where everything is, you can glue it all down. Next, add some glue around the edge of your tracing paper. There we go. Now we can stick this onto our picture. Then we're going to bring back in the remaining long blue wavy strip and place it at the bottom like this. There, perfect. We can also add in another duck and some green leaves. And when you're happy with where everything is, you can glue it down again. There, all finished. And can you see how the different layers of paper and tracing paper make the background look like it's a long way away? It's a very clever effect. And if you really enjoyed that, there are lots of other ideas you could try too. How about these torn paper cows on ripped rolling hills under a bright yellow sun? Or what about this marvellous monkey swinging from the trees in this fabulous forest? Layered pictures, all made with a little bit of sticking and a lot of ripping. <laughs> Why don't you try one today? So then, Harry, what do you think of our picture? It's really good. Brilliant! We made it. And now your home is where the art is. High five. <laughs> well done. What a fantastic ripping picture, Harry. Bye-bye. <sighs> I love being out and about in the Makermobile. The sun is shining, the birds are tweeting, and... Uh... Ooh, what's that noise? Now, who do you think's in the doodle drawers? What are the rectangles making today? Can you guess? I wonder what it could be. It's a xylophone. Well done, shapes. It's time to get back in the doodle drawers. <laughs> Oh, what a lovely day for a countryside drive in the Makermobile. Wow. <laughs> oh. Minute mate time! Hey, it's Minute Mate time! I'm on my way! <laughs> We've arrived! It's Minute Mate time, everyone! Yay! And today we're going to make something brilliant! It's... What's that? What, what is it? it? Oh, no! It's a fly! Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's back 
back again. <sighs> Don't worry, I was only joking. It's not a real fly, it's my pet fly. Look at this, it's fantastic. It's really good for playing tricks on people or just hanging around in your room. And now to make one of these, you will need a glue stick, a pipe cleaner, a piece of elastic, some tracing paper, a lolly stick, and we'll also need some googly eyes. Now you can find these in an art and craft shop. I'll be back very soon. <laughs> I've got them. <laughs> right. Yes, here are our googly eyes. Now, do you think it's possible to make this pet fly in just one minute? No way! Well, I think I can. I'm going to have to be very quick, though. But don't worry. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Great. Let's make it in a minute. Stop the clock! Right, let's get our piece of elastic and our pipe cleaner and we're just going to wrap it around the end like this and then we need our lolly stick. There we go and we're going to wrap the pipe cleaner around the lolly stick to make the fly's body. There we go, like that. And then we just slide it off and we've got the start of our fly. Fantastic. Right, now I'm just going to open this up here in the middle like that and then if we get our paper we can fold it in half, our tracing paper, like this, and then tear out a lumpy shape. Now this is going to be the wings of our fly. Now we can push those in the middle there and then squidge it down. That's good, like that. And then we need to get our googly eyes and stick those on. Let's put one on that side there, and then one on this side here. I've just about got enough time to do it. I've made a pet fly! <laughs> wow, doesn't time fly when you're having fun? And if you've got more than a minute, you can make all sorts of pet flies and bugs. Look at this! A dragonfly with a gold pipe cleaner body and green wings. Or even this, a tropical bug made with beads and a curly pipe cleaner for its antennae. Pet bugs made in a minute. Why don't you have a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Tie a piece of elastic around the pipe cleaner. Wrap the pipe cleaner around a lolly stick. Tear off some tracing paper wings. Push the wings into the fly's body. Add two googly eyes and your pet fly is finished. Why don't you try and make one? in a minute. Right, everyone, it's time for me to buzz off. Goodbye. Bye. I wonder where we're off to next. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Maker. Oh, nice to see you. Can you guess what we're making today? I don't know. Let's find out. I am brown. I am orange. I am green. I am pink. I am peach. And dark blue. I am purple. Everybody. See you next time. Now watch this. Hello. Are you ready for a big surprise? I'm going to surprise these mini makers who have no idea I'm on my way or what we're going to make. Hello. Mr. 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 <laughs> it's great to meet you. How are you? Are you okay? Yeah. Now we're going to make something that's really cool. Here's a clue. See if you can guess what it is. 
quack, quack. <laughs> Any guesses? Penguin. Oh, penguin. Penguins, that's right. I think we should make some big penguins on a big icy picture. Will you help me? Yeah! Fantastic. OK, then, Rico, Anna Carla, Kiam, Amrita and Rua, let's make it. Now, everybody, we're going to make some big penguins on a big icy picture. Is there anything good on the table that we could use to make our ice? What do you think? Um, the sheet of fabric. Do you think this will work, everyone? Yeah. You think it will? Well, that's fantastic. So we've got the ice. Now, we're going to make a big penguin, aren't we? Yeah. Now, what sort of things would be on a penguin's face? Yeah. What's that? A beak. A beak. Stick it on. Try it on for size. What else does a penguin you can need? Use this for your eyes. eyes. The penguin eyes. Plastic eggs for the penguin eyes. Brilliant. Well done, everyone. Shall we make it? Yeah! Come on, then. Let's go. Now, what will this blue paint be? I think that will be the sea. We're making fish. OK, everyone, we're going to turn our card into a very colourful iceberg. So grab some brightly coloured chalk and start to rub it all the way along the edge. Does that sound like a good plan? Yeah! Great! I'll leave you to it then. Now let's make an icy pool. Ooh. We're having great fun making our big penguins, so why don't you have a go making your own little one? Try making a wobbly penguin. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. To make one, you will need a plastic egg like one of these, some modelling clay, gloopy PVA glue, a brush, black card and tissue paper, paint, a pencil, scissors, a black pen, a glue stick, and a piece of orange card. Take an egg-shaped plastic container that comes in two halves. Open it up and push a ball of modelling clay into one half of it, and then close the container. Next, cover your egg with a layer of gloopy PVA glue. Then stick on some small pieces of black tissue paper and leave it to dry. Once it's dry, paint on the penguin's face with white paint, like this. And when that's dry, take a piece of black card and draw two pointy wing shapes. Now carefully cut them out and glue one to each side of the penguin. Then, take a pen and draw two eyes. Last of all, stick on a triangle of orange card to make a beak. Your penguin is finished and ready to wobble. What a perfect little penguin. But I wonder how our big penguins are coming along. I think these eyes look great, don't you? Nearly finished? There we go! Well done, everyone! We made it! Yeah! Now that's what I call a cool picture. Mr Maker, time to go! That's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Makermobile back in its box. <laughs>
Lovely to see you. This is my marvellous Makermobile, and I've come out for a drive. I wonder what we're going to see today. Whoa! Cocky here. Minnie, make a message. Hello, I'm Patrick. Hello, Patrick. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr Maker. I'll be right with you. Must be the place. <laughs> Hello, Patrick. Now, how can I help you today? Can you show me how to paint a nice nature picture? A nice nature picture, eh? Well, let's have a think. <coughs> this calls for a quick nature walk. Right, follow me. Come on. <laughs> oh, look! A lovely leaf! Look at that, Petri, look at that! And this has given me a great idea! Let's try something! Get back to nature and try making this lovely leaf picture! It looks fantastic! Let's, Let's make, make it. it! But first, we need somewhere to make it! <laughs> and as well as lovely leaves, we'll need some other things from the doodle drawers. Right, hold on to that, Patrick. I'll be back soon. A sheet of green card and a plate. Now we also need to find a sponge. I know, let's ask Scraps for help. Oh, hello, Scraps. Now, I need a sponge, please. Can you help? <laughs> Brilliant, thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm ready, Scraps. <laughs> Very funny. I just need one sponge, please. That's it. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, what a catch, eh? And we also need some coloured squirty paint. So, Patrick, this is what we're going to make today. It's a lovely leaf picture. What do you think about that? Nice. Nice, good. I'm glad you're pleased. Now, are you ready? Yes. Good. Are you ready? Great. Let's get making. And actually, Patrick, you can help me here. Here's a plate. Can you squirt a blob of each of these coloured paints on there, please? Squirt away. That's it. Perfect. Well done, Patrick. Now, our paint is ready, but before we start, it's a good idea to put down some newspaper or old paper, as this can get a little bit messy. Then bring in a piece of coloured card. And now we need a leaf, Patrick. Oh, thanks. These leaves will work well because they have wiggly edges. And I'm going to dab a mixture of the different coloured paints, like this all the way around our leaf. Then, if we carefully peel away the leaf, we see that the shape of the leaf is left behind on the card. It's clever, isn't it? Yeah. Now, would you like a go at this, Patrick? Yes. Excellent, OK, right. I'm going to slide this over to you. That's it. If you want to pick a leaf, any leaf, that's it, and pop it down on the page. OK, then, right, pick up your sponge and start dabbing around the leaf. Lift it up, and we've got a fantastic leaf print. Well done, Patrick. Now we're going to keep moving our leaf around the page until our picture is complete. Now, don't worry if you think that the leaf is hanging over the edge. It doesn't matter. In fact, it really adds to the effect. When you've covered your paper or card in lots of leaf prints, you've made a lovely leaf picture. And if you really enjoyed that, there are lots of other ideas you could try too. How about using lots of blue paint and different shaped leaves? 
or why not try using orange and yellow paint and spiky shaped leaves? We made it! And now, Patrick, your home is where the art is! High five! Yay! What a fantastic leaf picture! Well done, Patrick! Goodbye! <sighs> It's brilliant being out and about in the Makermobile. There's always so much to see and do. And... <laughs> What's that noise? Oh, who could it be? I am a shape. I am a shape. I am a circle. I am a triangle. I am a square. I am a rectangle. in the circles. Can you guess? Have you spotted it? It's a caterpillar! Well done, shapes! It's time to get back in the doodle drawers! <laughs> Oh, it's such a brilliant day for a lovely drive out in the Makermobile. Ah! Oh. Minute mate time! Hey, it's Minute Mate time! I'm on my way! <laughs> Here we are. Minute mate time, everyone! Yay! Ooh, and all that exercise has made me feel a little bit peckish. I think I might have a bite to eat. <laughs> ah, that's better. <laughs> now I'm ready for a minute make. And guess what? I'm going to make something using these leftover picnic things. <laughs> it's a cup puppet, or you could say... A cuppet! Yeah! <laughs> now, to make one of these, we'll need a paper plate, two paper cups, some sticky tape, a glue stick, a pom-pom, and we'll also need some googly eyes. Now, you can find those in an art and craft shop. I'll be back very soon! <laughs> Them. Right, here they are. Our googly eyes. Now, do you think it's possible to make this cup it in just one minute? No way! Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Great! Let's make it in a minute! The clock. Right, let's get our paper plate and fold it in half so it looks like a mouth. There we go. And now we need our cups and our googly eyes and we're going to glue them inside. Here we go. Let's get plenty of glue on there and put that eye in. There's one that's done. Now let's get another googly eye, put plenty of glue on there and put that one in as well. Fantastic. Now we need to get some sticky tape and we're going to stick these two cups together like that. We're going to stick them at the front there and we're also going to stick them at the back as well. Let's stick them together. Ooh, 
Now we need to get our glue stick again and put plenty of glue on the top here. There we go. And then put our cups on top. Now we need this to dry like this. So you need to do a little dance. <laughs> and when they've dried, we can just put in our pom-pom for a nose and I've made a cup it. Yeah! Phew, I've made it. And you can make all sorts of cuppets. Ooh, <laughs> look at this one. It's got long paper eyelashes and tissue paper strips for hair. Oh, you could try this one with curly paper hair and a paper tongue. Mm. Oh, you could try this one. It's got paper teeth and wiggly pipe cleaner hair. Fantastic cuppets. Why don't you have a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Fold a paper plate in half. Glue googly eyes inside two paper cups. Tape the cups together like this. Glue the cups onto the plate. Push in a pom-pom nose. And your cuppet is finished. Why don't you try and make one in a minute? Right, I've got to dash. Goodbye, Mr Maker. Bye-bye. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Where shall we go next? Hello, Mr Maker. Oh, nice to see you. What do you think we're making today? Oh, I'm not sure. Let's take a look. I am pink. I am orange. I'm light blue. For a big surprise! Let's meet some more mini makers who don't know I'm on my way or what we're going to make. Hello! 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 Hello, are you okay? Yeah! Well, it's great to meet you. Now, I've got a big idea. Would you like to hear it? Yeah! Fantastic, all right, get ready. Countdown to brilliant big ideas starting in three, two, one, lift off. Let's make a brilliant big space rocket. Will you help me? Yeah! Fantastic. All right then, Tasia, Jessica, Micah, Harry, and Shakaya, let's make it. Right then, we're going to make a space rocket, aren't we? Yeah. Now, what should our rocket look like, do you think? It should be blue. And what should we use to colour our rocket? Do you think we should Pink. use... Should we see what colours we've got here? What have we got? We've got... We've got this. We've got yeah. orange. Grey. I mean, we should orange. make it like the wings are red. Yeah. The top roof is yellow and the, the body is blue. That sounds like a good plan, doesn't it? Now, rockets. Where do they fly to? And what is in the sky? In space? Stop. Now, stars, if we were going to make stars, is there, is there anything twinkly that we could use? We could this. Oh, what's that? Glitter. Glitter. All right, then, everyone, I think we're ready to start making our rocket, aren't we? Yeah! Let's make it! Lead the way, Jessica. Let's go. I'm painting the smoke that's coming out of the bottom of the rocket. And Jessica's painting the windows. We are making our stars all glittery. This way! Well, this way. No, this way! Hang on. I'm coming! This tube will make a great rocket. Hello? Where are you? Where, 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 where do you want it? Yellow's <laughs> my favourite colour. Is it? Yeah. Well, we're painting the wings 
the best colour for you then, aren't we, really? We're having great fun making our big rocket, so how about you try making a smaller one? Try making a brilliant mini space rocket. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. To make one, you will need an empty tube, paint and a brush, card, scissors, glue, stickers, and a black pen. Take an empty tube and paint it with two colours of paint. Like this. Then take a circle of card and carefully make a cut up to the middle of it. Bend it around to make a cone and stick it in place with sticky tape. Now stick the cone onto the tube. Take some more card and cut out two triangle shapes like this. And stick these to the sides of your tube. Now stick on another circle of card to make a window. And add some coloured stickers for decoration. Finally, you can finish everything off with a black pen. And your mini space rocket is ready for takeoff. Look at it! It's out of this world! What a super space rocket! And talking of which, how's our big rocket coming along? <laughs> well, very good. These paper plates look fantastic. That's it, Harry. Stick it on. Brilliant. Have we got any more? We need one round here. And to top it off, my best umbrella. <laughs> and don't forget the sky. This is going to make great smoke. Nearly finished. There we go. Well done, everyone. We made it. Yeah. Ready, everyone? Three, two, one, lift off! Mr. Maker, time to go! That's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Makermobile back in its box. <laughs> Nice to see you again. I've just come out for a drive. There's always so much to see and do when I'm out and about in the Makermobile. Whoa! Toki here. Pinny, make a message. Hello, I'm Oliver. And I'm William. Hi, William. Hi, Oliver. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr Maker. I'll be there very soon. And Oliver, how can I help you today? We would like to make something with funny-looking hair. Right, too. 
funny looking hair like me? I haven't got funny looking hair, have I? <laughs> really? What, this spiky hairstyle? It could be funnier, you know. <laughs> now this is funny, and it's making me think. Oh yes, I've got a great idea. Let's try something. Try making a character with hilarious hair by printing with a twig. Let's make it! But first, we need somewhere to make it. <laughs> and we'll also need some things from the doodle drawers. <laughs> some paper and some paint. <laughs> A glue stick and a plate. Oh, and of course, we'll also need some twigs. I know, I'll call Scraps. <laughs> oh, hello, Scraps. Now, a bit of a tricky one today. I'm looking for some twigs. Mm, yes, do you think you can find us some? <laughs> Good, go on then. Oh, so good, you know. <laughs> oh, great. Well done, Scraps. <laughs> Thank you. So, William and Oliver, you wanted to make something with funny hair. How about this? This crazy character with lots of spiky hair, a little bit like... Yours truly. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you ready? Yes. yes. Great. Are you ready? Brilliant. Let's get making. So, let's draw around a paper plate. Yeah. Like this one here. There we go. Now, this will give us a circle shape. Here we go. There we go. There's a circle shape. Now, we're going to draw the body shape. We can do this on a different piece of coloured paper. And this time, we're going to draw around just half of the plate, like this. Now, that gives us half a circle shape. There we go. We also need to draw some eyes and a mouth. We can do that on white paper. When you're drawing eyes, it's a good idea to draw around something that's round, like a glue stick. There we go, that'll be perfect. Now, let's draw a big smiley smile like this. We're going to cut all of our shapes out, but we need to be careful because scissors are... Yeah! That's right, you've done this before, haven't you? Right. And then I can add some black dots in the middle of our white circles to make pupils in the eyes. Now we can put all of our pieces in place to see what our picture's going to look like. So let's just put on the body first. And then I think the face on top of that. Next, we need to glue everything down. So can you help me, boys? Yes. Great. OK, then. Let's get gluing. Our picture is nearly finished, but it's missing something. Now, what could that be? What could that be? Eh? That's right. Hair. Now, to make the hair, we will need some paint. And we also need a twig. There we go. And what we're going to do is just push the twig into the paint, like, like that. So. And then like that. we push the twig onto the picture. Yeah. And, and it prints hair like that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do another one. Here we go. There. Two strands of hair. That looks good. Now, would you like to have a go, boys? Yeah. Can we do lots? Great hair printing. Well done, Oliver. There, it's all finished. A terrific twig hair painting picture. And there are lots of other ideas you could try too. How about this one with purple hair and a pink paper tongue? Or how about painting the hair with more than one colour and making some nice white teeth? Or you could even print lots of twigs to make hedgehog prickles like this one. They've all got very funny hair indeed. Now, Spike, do you like your new twig print spikes? Oh, well, yes, Mr. Baker. Brilliant. And what do you think, boys? Great. 
<laughs> we made it! And now your home is where the art is! Hooray! <laughs> what a fantastic twig painting! Well done, Oliver and William! Goodbye! <sighs> <laughs> Lovely! <laughs> It's brilliant being out and about in the Makermobile. There's always so much to see and do. <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> Guess who that is? I am a shape. I am a shape. circles can you see? One, two, three, four, five. There are five circles. Well done, shapes. It's time to get back in the doodle drawers. Oh, it's such a brilliant day for a lovely drive out in the Makermobile. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Minute mate time! Hey, it's minute mate time! I'm on my way! <laughs> Here we are. It's Minute Make Time, everyone! Yeah! And today we're going to do something that will make you really dotty. <laughs> we're going to make one of these. A polka dot pot. Now, to make one of these, you will need some wrapping paper, a glue stick, an old cardboard pot, some felt tip pens, and some white and coloured sticky dots. Now, do you think it's possible to make this polka dot pot in just one minute? No way! Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yes! <laughs> Are you ready? Great! Let's make it in a minute! Three, two, one! Start the clock! Right, let's get our white sticky dots and our three pens and we're going to scribble all over them. That's it, like that. We hold the pens together and just scribble across. This is great fun. There we go. And now we get our wrapping paper and start putting these stickers on. Let's put one there. Oh, it's a bit fiddly, this, but it's great fun. There we go. There we go, one there. And maybe one over there as well. Right, now let's get some of these ones as well. These are slightly smaller. We've got yellow and orange stickers here and then maybe some smaller ones as well. There we go, let's get one of those on there. And there, right, now we need to get some glue on our cardboard pot. Let's put some on there and then we can wrap our wrapping paper all the way around the pot like that. And if we get one more sticker, we can use it to stick it at the back like that, and we've got a polka dot pot! Yeah! Woo, I just made it. And polka dot pots are very useful for keeping all your arty things inside, like this. And you can make all sorts of polka dot pots. How about this one? With pink, orange and purple spots. Or even this one, with a dark blue background and brightly coloured spots. Or what about trying this one with glittery spots? 
polka dot pots. Why don't you have a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Scribble onto sticky dots with felt tip pens. Stick lots of dots onto the wrapping paper. Stick the wrapping paper around your pot. Add one more sticky dot to hold it in place. And your polka dot pot is finished. Why don't you put yourself on the spot and make a polka dot pot? <laughs> in just a minute, though. Right, I've got to go, everyone. Goodbye. Bye -bye. <laughs> Oh, I love driving the Makermobile. Where should we go to next? <laughs> Hello, Mr Maker. Oh, nice to see you. Look what we're making today. What are they going to make? I am purple. I'm yellow. I am black. I am orange. I am red. It's a super. Well done, everybody. See you next time. Now watch this. Are you ready for a big surprise? These mini makers have absolutely no idea I'm coming to visit or what we're going to make. Hello! <laughs> Hello! Hello! Oh, it's great to meet you. Now, do you all like animals? Yeah! Me too! <laughs> <laughs> I've got a big idea. I think we should make a big farmyard. Will you help me? Yeah! Fantastic! All right then, Darcy, Ethan, Cameron, Alex and Mia, let's make it. Now, we're going to make our farmyard, aren't we? Now, what should be in our farmyard, do you think? Sheets and horses. That's a good idea. What else? Cows. Cows? Chickens. Ooh. Chickens, pigs? The rooster. The rooster. <laughs> now, all of our animals need to live somewhere, don't they? Where can they live on the farm? In the barn. Now, what can we make the barn out of? I like that idea. Cardboard. Cardboard. Brilliant. OK, I think we're ready to make our farmyard, aren't we? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> all right, then, everyone. Let's make it. We're painting our pig. We're painting a bush. OK, then, Mia, if you stick on the pig's nose, then, Alex, you can stick on the cow's eyes. That's it. Very good, Mr Piggy. Mia, can you make me a piggy face, please? Very good. One piggy. Two piggies. One piggy. Two piggies. Right, Alex, make me a cow face, please. No. <laughs> and now for our fields. That's it, Cameron. You put yours there, and I think I'll put mine here. <laughs> We're having great fun making our big farmyard, so why don't you have all the fun of the farm at home? Try making a fantastic little cow. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. To make one, you will need paper, a small box, a pen, a glue stick, scissors, plastic lids, stickers and googly eyes. For the cow's body, colour in or paint a big piece of paper and a small rectangle of paper with black blobs like this. Now, wrap the box in the black and white paper and glue it into place. If you find this tricky, ask an adult to help you. Next, take the rectangle of black and white paper and fold it at one end. 
glue this to the cow's body. Next, take a thin strip of paper, fold it and stick this to the other side of the box to make a tail. Now draw a nose on some pink paper and two horns on some white paper. Then carefully cut them out. Stick your horns and your nose to your cow. And then stick on four lids for feet. Stick two black stickers on the nose for nostrils. And last of all, add two googly eyes. Your brilliant little cow is finished! You could even try making lots of different animals. Like this pig, made with pink paper. Or even a sheep, made from cotton wool balls. Fantastic farm animals that are perfect for playing with. What a brilliant way to make a little farm animal. But I wonder how our big farmyard's coming along. Oh, hello farmers. Hello. <laughs> Nearly finished. <laughs> there we go. Well done, everyone. We made it! Yay! <laughs> oh, what a lot of fun we've had on the farm today. Mr Maker, time to go! That's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Makermobile back in its box. Nice to see you. I've hit the road in my brilliant Makermobile, and I never quite know where it's going to take me. <laughs> Whoa! Toki here. Mimi, make a message. Hello, I'm Heidi. Hello, Heidi. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr Maker. I'll be there very soon. Heidi, put it there. Now, how can I help you today? Can we make something that moves? You'd like to make something that moves and maybe wiggles and wobbles? Yes. Like a wobbly jelly? Yes. <gasps> jelly. Oh, jelly. <sighs> oh, I love jelly. Oh, jelly. Mr. <laughs> Sorry about that, Heidi. And that has just given me a great idea. Let's try something. Try making a fantastic fishy picture that doesn't just move, <laughs> it wobbles. <laughs> Let's make it! But first, we'll need somewhere to make it. Ooh. <laughs> 
And we'll also need some things from the Doodle Draws. Wait here, Heidi. I'll be right back. Three small paper rectangles and some stickers. A black pen. And we'll also need some round things to draw around. Let's call for some help. <laughs> Scraps! Mm -hmm. We need some round things. Can you help? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Fantastic! Look! A large sticky tape roll and a small sticky tape roll. Perfect. Thanks, Scraps. And we also need a glue stick. And lots of lovely coloured paper. So then, Heidi, this is what we're going to make today. It's a wonderful wobbly picture, complete with wobbly fish. <laughs> Fantastic. So then, Heidi, are you ready? Yeah. Brilliant. Are you ready? Great. Let's get making. Now, the first thing we're going to make is the sand. Now, we're going to use yellow paper for this, but you can use whatever colour you like. Just tear out a nice big curved shape. So now we can make some seaweed. Will you help me, Heidi? Yeah. Brilliant. Let's make some seaweed. <laughs> then to make the fish, draw a big circle with a felt tip pen. Now it's a good idea here to draw around something that's round, like a sticky tape roll. <laughs> Now, you'll see that I've left a little gap here at the side. Now, this is where we draw the fish's lips. And we can also draw on the fish's fins and tail. <laughs> and if you want to make your fish smaller, just draw around smaller objects, like a smaller sticky tape roll. You can draw as many fish as you like, then carefully cut them out. Next, stick white stickers onto all your fish for eyes. There. Now we can add black dots with a pen for pupils. And we have three fantastic fish. Now let's put them to one side for the moment. And we're going to glue down our sand and seaweed from earlier. Can you put a nice blob of glue on there, please, Heidi? That's it. Brilliant. Well done. There's our first piece of seaweed. Stick all your seaweed pieces down and stick your sand on top like this. Great. Now, take a small rectangle of blue paper and curl it around your finger to make it springy. and we're going to stick it into our picture where we want our fish to go. Then do the same with the other two pieces of card. And now we can glue on our fish. You can help again, Heidi. Can you put some glue here for me, please? And when you're finished, you can give your picture a wobble. <laughs> Fantastic fishy fun. And if you really enjoyed that, there are lots of other ideas you could try too. How about some colourful wobbly butterflies that look like they're fluttering around? Or you could even try making some paper balloons floating amongst torn paper clouds. Wobbly pictures, why don't you try one today? So what do you think then, Heidi? Really good, Mr Maker. Brilliant! We made it. And now, Heidi, your home is where the art is. High five! What a fantastic fishy picture. Well done, Heidi. Goodbye. <sighs> <laughs> Lovely. <laughs>
It's brilliant being out and about in the Makermobile. There's always so much to see and do. <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> oh, I know. Do you? I am a shape. I am a shape. I am a circle. I am a triangle. Shapes, it's time to get back in the doodle drawers. <laughs> <laughs> you can see how happy I feel when I'm driving in my maker, 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 maker mobile. <laughs> Minute mate time! Hey, it's minute mate time! I'm on my way! <laughs> Here we are. It's Minute Mate time, everyone! Yeah! And today we're going to make something that's really delicious. Just take a look at this. Yeah, that's right. It looks good enough to eat. But don't, because it's a crazy cupcake. Now, to make one of these, you will need some sticky tape, some tin foil, some tissue paper, a paper cake case, and a special painty mixture that's made up of half PVA gloopy glue and half white paint. Now, do you think it's possible to make this crazy cupcake in just one minute? No way! Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? <laughs> Great. Let's make it in a minute. Three, two, one. Start the clock. Right, let's get our tin foil and scrunch it into a small ball like this. And then we're going to rub it here so it gets a flat bottom like that. Now, let's get some tissue paper. Let's start with the orange and we're going to wrap it up a bit like a present. There we go. Let's get some sticky tape to stick that on. Now let's get another piece like this. There we go. Let's wrap it up. And another bit of sticky tape to hold it all in place. And one more piece of tissue paper, I think. That's it. That'll be nice. Let's wrap it up. There we go. Perfect. Now let's bring in our paper cake case. And we're going to just dip our cake into the gloopy mixture and then stick it into our cake case and then all we need to do is scrunch up this red piece of tissue paper because this is the cherry on the top. I've made it! Yay! <laughs> and if you've got more than a minute, you can cook up all kinds of crazy cakes. How about this one with brown painty icing and silver beads? Or this one with yellow painty icing and multicoloured paper sprinkles? Crazy cupcakes, why don't you have a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Scrunch tin foil into a small ball. Wrap it in layers of colored tissue paper. 
Dip it into a gloopy paint mixture. Add a scrunched up tissue paper cherry. And your crazy cupcake is finished. Why don't you try and make one in a minute? Right, I've got to go, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs> I love driving the Makermobile. Where should we go to next? Hello, Mr Maker. Oh, hello. Nice to see you. What do you think we're making today? Oh, I'm not sure. Let's take a look. I am orange. I am purple. Everybody. See you next time. Now watch this. Hello. Are you ready for a big surprise? <laughs> These mini makers don't know I'm coming to visit them or what we're going to make. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How are you? You OK? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant to meet you. I have got a great surprise for you today. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Yee-haw! Mini Line Dance Disco! <laughs> Yee-haw! <Ooh. laughs> I've got a big idea. I think today we should make the Wild Wild West. Will you help me? Brilliant! All right then, race Rochelle, Isabel, Sam and Charlie. Let's make it! So, do you like making things? Yeah. Well, do you know what? We're going to make a big Wild West. So, what should we put in it? Uh, a big hey. sun. A sunshine. A, a sun? A cactus. Oh. A cactus. And what colour is it, Sam? It's green like this. Yeah. What will be on the floor in the Wild Wild sand. West? Sand. Oh. You could, you could put that for sand. It could be the sand. <laughs> All right then, everyone. I think we're ready to make our wonderful Wild West, aren't we? Yeah! <laughs> All right then, off we go. Come on, race. That's it. This way, everybody. We're making some flowers. <laughs> I'm making a wheel. I'm making a barrel. We're painting some rocks. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> We're having great fun here, so why don't you try making something small from the Wild West? <laughs> try making a funny foam cactus. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. To make one, you will need craft foam, a pen, scissors, a glue stick, googly eyes and a pencil. Start by drawing a cactus shape on the craft foam. You can draw any shape cactus you like. Then carefully cut it out. Now cut cactus spikes from different coloured craft foam. And glue them onto your cactus. Then stick on googly eyes. And draw on some dots. And a smiley mouth. Finally, take a pencil and stick it to the back of your cactus with sticky tape. 
Your funny foam cactus is finished and ready to write with. Oh, what a cute little cactus. But I wonder how our big world west is coming along. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> this is our sand. And our sky. Oh, Charlie, quick, come and help. It's so heavy. Uh, it's... Oh, maybe not. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. <laughs> oh, very good. Nearly finished. <laughs> there we go. Well done, everyone. We made it! <laughs> so long, partners. Mr. Maker, time to go. Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Makermobile back in its box. Fantastic to see you. I'm out driving in the Makermobile, and who knows what we're going to see today? Whoa! Toki here. Mimi, make a message. Hello, I'm Ailish. Hello, Ailish. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr. Maker. I'll be right with you. Oh, Ailish, so how can I help you today? Can we make a space picture? A space picture, eh? Oh, I've always wanted to go into space. <sighs> OK, then, Captain Ailish, start the countdown! Three, two, one, lift off! Here we go! <laughs> hey, Ailish, I've just had a great idea. Let's try something. Try using water and a sponge to make a crazy space picture with a rocket blasting into a multicoloured galaxy. Let's make it! But first, we need somewhere to make it. <laughs> and we'll also need some things from the doodle drawers. I'll be back soon. Some paper, some card, and a paintbrush. Some brightly coloured squirty paint. A glue stick and some circle shaped stickers. Ah, we also need some water and a sponge. Let's ask for some help. Scraps! Mm -hmm. We need some water and a sponge. Do you think you can help us? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Scraps, well done! Look at that, some water and a sponge. Brilliant! Right, I'm going to be really careful with this. 
Save in Eilish. This is what we're going to make today. It's a super space picture, complete with a rocket blasting off into a multicoloured galaxy. So, are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Great, let's get making. Now, the first thing we're going to do is make a very special watery paint mixture. And that's made up of half paint and half water. Now, we need to give this a good stir. Here we go, then. Can you grab a brush, Ailish, and get stirring? Well done. Now, you can make a watery paint mixture for every colour you want to use. It's up to you which ones you choose. Well done, good job. Now we've got lots of colours of watery paint. So it's time to bring in some plain paper or card and wet it with a wet sponge. <laughs> now with a paintbrush, splodge the painty mixture onto the paper. It's a great effect. And look how the painty mixture soaks into the paper. Remember to use lots of nice bright colours and then leave it to dry. There, all dry and very colourful. Now it's time to make our rocket. So draw around your thumb onto some coloured card to make a pointy rocket shape. Now do the same onto some yellow card to make the rocket's flame trail. And carefully cut out both pieces. Then add some finishing touches with different coloured circle-shaped stickers. In fact, you can help here, Eilish. If I move these over here, can you please stick on the windows for our rocket? Well done, Eilish. It looks like our rocket is ready. So let's stick it onto our multicoloured space background. You can help again here. And can you put some glue on the back, please? Thank you. Well done. The flame trail goes on first. And then the rocket on top. Fantastic! Look at that, Ailish. We finished! And if you really enjoyed that, there are lots of other space pictures that you could try too. This one's got lots of twinkling stars around a paper moon. Or you could even do a super space picture with lots of different coloured paper planets. So then, Ailish, what do you think of our space picture? Good. Brilliant! We made it. And now your home is where the art is. High five! <laughs> what a fantastic space picture. Well done, Ailish. Bye! <sighs> <sighs> I love being out and about in the Makermobile. The sun is shining, the birds are tweeting, and... Uh... <laughs> Ooh, what's that noise? <laughs> Oh, I know who that is. <laughs> I am a shape. I am a shape. I am a circle. I am a triangle. I am a rectangle. I am a shape. I am a shape. I am a shape. I am a shape. What are the rectangles making today? Can you guess? Any ideas yet? It's a cow! Well done, shapes. It's time to get back in the doodle drawers. 
Oh, this is a lovely day for a drive out in the Makermobile, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Minute mate time! Hey, it's Minute Mate time! I'm on my way! Here we are. Everyone. Yay! <laughs> and today we're going to make something using pasta. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that type of pasta. This type of dried pasta. It's called spaghetti, and we're going to use it to make this pasta creature. It's a little hedgehog, and its spikes are made out of spaghetti. Now, to make a pasta creature, you will need some dried pieces of pasta. Now, you can use whatever types of pasta you like, but today we're going to use little broken up pieces of spaghetti. We're also going to use a little pom-pom, and we will need some googly eyes and some air drying clay. Now, you can find these things in an art and craft shop. I'll be back very soon. <laughs> I've got them. Right. Here is our air drying clay and our googly eyes. Now, do you think it's possible to make this pasta creature in just one minute? No <laughs> Well, I think I can. I'll have to be very quick, though. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Great. Let's make it in a minute. Start the cork! Right, we get our ball of air drying clay and then pinch a nose at the front to make a snout. There we go. And then get the pom pom and squidge it on the front as well. Then get our two googly eyes and push those into the clay. Let's put one there and then one there. And now we need to get our pieces of dried spaghetti. These are going to make the spikes. We just stick them in everywhere around a little hedgehog. Now, it's a bit fiddly, this, <laughs> but it's lots of fun. And you can take a bit more time over this if you're doing this at home. Well, I've got to be quick. Right, another bit there. <laughs> and another bit around there. I think I can get one round the front there. There we go. Another one round the front there. Another spike. Oh, I hope I'm going to do this. Come on, spike. You need a few more spikes. I think one more in there should be enough. And we have a pasta creature! Yeah! yeah, that did deserve a big cheer, didn't it? It was quite fiddly. But if you've got more than a minute, you could paint yours like this one here. Very nice indeed. And if you've got even more time, you could make a different creature using a different type of pasta. How about this macaroni monster, which is painted orange? Or what about a spotty octopus with a pasta bow tie? Or you could even make a longer creature, like a crocodile, with bumpy pasta shapes. There you go, Mr Crocodile. We made it in a minute. Nice and snappy, Mr Maker. Yeah. That's right. Pasta creatures, why don't you try and make one? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Pinch a point into a ball of air drying clay. Add a pom-pom nose and two googly eyes. Push in some pieces of dried spaghetti for the spikes. And your pasta creature is finished. Why don't you try and make one in a minute? Right, I've got to go, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Now, where to next? Hello, Mr. Maker. Oh, nice to see you. What do you think we're making today? Oh, I'm not sure. Let's take a look. I am orange. I 
am purple. I am red. I am dark blue. I am green. It's a alarm clock. Well done, everybody. See you next time. Now watch this. Hello. Are you ready for a big surprise? These mini makers have no idea I'm coming to help them make something. Hello. <laughs> oh, it's great to meet you. Does anyone know my name? <laughs> what is it? This is me. That's right. Are you OK? Yeah. Brilliant. Well, it's great to meet you. Now, Mini Makers, I've got a challenge for you. Oh, <laughs> look at me. I'm Farmer Maker. And I've got a farmer's hat, my farmer's boots, but something's missing. My tractor. So will you help me build one? Yeah! All right then, Fatima, Hibbo, Mubarak, Amin and Noor, let's make it. Now, we're going to make a big tractor. Now, what should our tractor look like? Big. Big. Now, what colour shall we paint it? Red. Red? That's a good idea. Green! <laughs> a green tractor. Oh, what colour have we forgotten here on the table? Blue. Blue. Shall we paint our tractor blue? Yeah. Brilliant. Well, I think we're ready to make our big tractor, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Let's make it. <laughs> Great painting, everyone. Now, what are we doing? Amin, what are you painting over there? Painting the hay. The hay. So the hay is yellow. And what's over there? Noor, what are you painting red? The trailer. The trailer. Fantastic. And of course, the tractor is... Blue. Blue. <laughs> We're having great fun making our big tractor, so why don't you try making a smaller one at home? Try making a terrific tractor and trailer. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. <laughs> to make one, you will need small boxes, a glue stick, a pencil, a clean empty tub, paints and brushes, scraps of paper, some stickers and lots of lids. First, glue your boxes together, like this. Then push in a pencil to make an exhaust pipe. Now take an empty tub for the trailer, then paint this and the tractor with a mixture of half paint and half gloopy glue, which helps it to stick. Next, collect together some lids and glue them on both sides of the tractor and trailer for wheels. Then, to make the windows, stick on some square stickers. Don't worry if you haven't got any stickers, because you can always glue on pieces of paper. Take the rest of your lids and stick them down to make extra details, like the middle of the wheels, or how about headlights? You could even add more details using pieces of card. Now just tape the trailer to the back of the tractor with sticky tape. And your terrific tractor is finished and ready to play with. <laughs> <laughs> what a fun idea. Why don't you give it a go? And what are you up to, Mini Makers? <laughs> The fields! Great, let me help. Right, that's it. Lay them all out. Right, we've got to put the smoke in the right place. Where shall we put it? There! Oh, brilliant! <laughs> there we go. Well done, everyone. We made it! Yay! That's a tremendous tractor. Mr. Maker, time to go.
That's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Make-A-Mobile back in its box. <laughs> Nice to see you. I'm out and about in my marvellous Make-A-Mobile. And the great thing about my Make-A-Mobile is that it can go anywhere. Whoa! Toki here. You need make a message. Hello, I'm Gowrie. Hello, Gowrie. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr Maker. I'll be right with you. Gowrie, so how can I help you today? Can you show me how to make a city picture? <laughs> a city picture is a great idea. I know. Let's set ourselves a challenge. Let's say that we'll make our picture from the first thing that we find in my special suitcase from the Make-A-Mobile. Does that sound like a good plan? OK. All right, wait here. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, here we go. Now we're going to make our picture using... A mouldy, stinky turnip! <laughs> oh, oh no, that smells awful! Smell that! Oh no! This won't do. Let's try again. Let's make our picture using... A kitchen sponge! That's much better! And it gives me a great idea! Let's try something! Try making this super city scene by painting onto paper with different sponges. It's a sponge print city. Let's make it, but first we'll need somewhere to make it. And we'll need some things from the doodle drawers. Lots of coloured paper and a glue stick. Now, we also need some cleaning sponges and we'll need some help to find them. Let's call Scraps. <laughs> oh, hello, Scraps. Now, have you seen any cleaning sponges in there? <laughs> Great, can we have some, please? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Scraps! <laughs> That's enough. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect, well done. Some paper plates. And we also need lots of lovely coloured paint. So, Gowrie, this is what we're going to make today. It's a super sponge print city. It looks fantastic! So, are you ready? Great! Are you ready? Brilliant! Let's get making. And we're going to start by squirting out our paint onto paper plates. Now, Gary, you can help me with this. Here we go. There we go. Let's put those down. And now, let's get squirting! Well done, Gary. Now we're going to dip the different sponges into the paint and print them onto the sheets of paper, making different looks and patterns. 
Let's use this sponge here, I think. And we're going to print orange paint onto purple paper. Look, the prints look like bricks. <laughs> well, let's do some more sponge printing. That's it, and twist. Go for it, Gary. You can print as many shapes and colours as you like. And when your prints are dry, cut out all the different shapes you need for your city picture. Now that's a large curved hill shape for the city to sit on, some tall buildings and some chimneys with smoke coming out of the top. Now you can also cut out some rectangle or square shapes for the windows as well. But we need to be careful though because scissors are... Sharp! That's right! You've done this before, haven't you? Now we can arrange our city however we like. So let's get started, Gowrie. Let's put the hill at the bottom. Now, which building should we go for first? That one. Good choice, good choice. Put all your buildings in place. Add some coloured paper windows like this and glue everything down. Super! It's a sponge print city. And if you really enjoyed that, there are lots of other ideas you could try too. How about a sponge print castle with fluffy printed clouds? Or you could even try some terrific sponge print trees on top of a flowery hill. Well, Gary, what do you think? It looks good. It looks good. Great, I'm glad you're pleased. We made it. And now, Gary, your home is where the art is. Yay! Hey, high five. Whoa, <laughs> what a brilliant sponge print city. Well done, Gowrie. Bye. <sighs> it's brilliant being out and about in the Makermobile. There's always so much to see and do. And... <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> oh, who could it be? <laughs> I am a shape. I am a circle. I am a triangle. I am a square. I am a rectangle. What are the triangles making today? Can you guess? Any ideas yet? It's a budgie! Well done, shapes! It's time to get back in the doodle drawers! <laughs> You can see how happy I feel when I'm driving in my maker, 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 maker mobile. <laughs> minute mate time! Hey, it's minute mate time! I'm on my way! <laughs> We've arrived! <laughs> It's Minute Mate time, everyone! Yay! And here's what we're going to make today. A brilliant Minute Mask. <laughs> it's a fabulous frog. Ribbit. <laughs> now, to make one of these, you will need some sticky tape, a glue stick, some scissors, some green tissue paper, a paper plate, 
some stickers, and a lolly stick. Oh, we'll also need some googly eyes, and you can get those from an art and craft shop. Well, I'll be back very soon. I've got them. In here are our googly eyes. Now, do you think it's possible to make this minute mask in just one minute? Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Great. Let's make it in a minute. Three, two, one. Start the clock. Right, let's get our plate and our scissors, and we're going to very carefully cut the shape of our frog. Be careful when you're using scissors, because they are... That's right, we're cutting the shape of our frog's face. I'm going to turn it over and get some sticky tape and stick on our lolly stick. There we go, let's turn that over now. And then let's put on lots of glue. There we go, there's glue there and glue there. And then we can scrunch up the tissue paper into balls. There we go, and stick that first one on there. And now this tissue paper into a ball as well and stick it on there. They're the frog's eyes. Now let's get our googly eyes and glue those on. There's one and another googly eye and glue that on. There's the second one. And now we just need to put on some stickers as well for the frog's nose. And if I can do this last one, I have made a minute mask. Phew, I made it. And there are lots of other ideas you could try too. <laughs> How about this orange funny face mask with fun fur bushy eyebrows? Ooh, or this sparkly one with long paper eyelashes and lots of shiny sequins. Or you could even do a three-eyed alien face mask with a spotty wobbly face. <laughs> Magnificent minute masks. Why don't you try and make one? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Cut a paper plate like this. Turn it over and tape a lolly stick on the back. Glue on some scrunched up tissue paper balls. Add some googly eyes and stickers for a nose. And your Minute Mask is finished! Why don't you try and make one? Right, I better dash everybody. Goodbye! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you never know what's going to happen when you're in the Maker-mobile. <laughs> Hello, Mr Maker. Oh, nice to see you. Look what we're making today. Let's find out, shall we? I am brown. I'm yellow. I am purple. I am pink. Everybody. See you soon. Now watch this. Hello. Are you ready for a big surprise? These mini makers have absolutely no idea what's going to happen next or what we're going to make. Hello. This is Hello. Oh, it's great to meet you. I... Oh. Oh, excuse me. Better take this. Hello. Hello, Granny Maker. Oh, it's Granny Maker. How are you? Not good. My cat is stuck up a tree. Not tiddled. <laughs> Don't worry, Granny. I've got a big idea. Right, Mini Makers, this is an emergency. I think we should make a big fire engine. Will you help me? Yeah! Brilliant. Granny, we're on our way. Don't worry. Tiddles has come down now. 
Oh, I was really looking forward to making that fire engine. So shall we make it anyway? Yeah! Fantastic! All right then, to Mario, Jessica, Janice, Amna and Ryan, let's make it! Well, today we're going to make a big fire engine. Yeah, yeah! Now what should our fire engine look like? Red. Red! Should we paint it red? Yeah! Let's hear what, have a look on the table and see if we can use some things. What do you think? Hold some things up and, and tell me what you've got. Paint. Oh, and what's that, Janice? A ball, a plastic one. And then what can we make out of that, do you think? Um, the top of the siren. That would be good, the top of the siren. What noise does the siren make? <coughs> I think we're ready to make our fire engine, aren't we? Yeah! <laughs> Let's make it! Let's make our sirens. Finished. And we've got to paint our fire engine. <laughs> Don't forget the headlights, Mini Makers. <laughs> Bring it in, everyone. That's it. Keep coming. That's it. Brilliant. We're having great fun making our big fire engine. So why don't you try making a small one at home? Try making this fantastic fire engine. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. To make one, you will need two small boxes, some glue, shiny paper, lots of lids, paint and a paintbrush, stickers, a pen and a lollipop stick. Start by gluing two small boxes together, like this. Then paint the boxes with a painty mixture that's half gloopy glue and half paint. Glue on two blue lids for the fire engine's flashing lights. And four black lids for the wheels. That's two on each side of the fire engine. Now cut out some rectangles of shiny paper and stick them down. You can use foil for this if you like. You could also use different shaped stickers to decorate the fire engine. But again, don't forget to do both sides. Next, use a black pen to add lots of detail. And last of all, draw some lines on a lolly stick and glue it on for a ladder. Your fantastic fire engine is finished and ready to play with. What a fun way to make a small fire engine. But how's our big one coming along? Oh, that's it, Janice. Right, bring in the tyre. Ah, yes. This is really good fun, isn't it? <laughs> this is our road. <laughs> Nearly finished. <laughs> well done, everyone. We made it. Now that is a fabulous fire engine. Mr. Maker, time to go. That's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Makermobile back in its box. <laughs>
nice to see you. I'm out and about in my marvellous Makermobile. And the great thing about my Makermobile is that it can go anywhere. Whoa! Toki here. Mimi, make a message. Hello, I'm Mimi. Hello, Mimi. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr Maker. I'll be right with you. This must be the place. <laughs> Hello, Mimi. How can I help you today? Can you show me how to make something with wool? Actually, I think I've got some leftover wool that we can use. Now, where did I leave that? Hmm. Oh, I know. Here it is. <laughs> this is my old scarf. I always keep it handy just in case I'm feeling a bit cold. <laughs> oh, dear. But look, it's falling apart. Don't worry, though, Mimi. That's just given me a great idea. Let's try something. Try making a wiggly wool pitcher made from an old scarf or jumper that you don't want anymore. <coughs> Let's make it! But first, Mimi, we need somewhere to make it. <laughs> and we'll also need some things from the doodle drawers. Right. Hold on to this, please, Mimi. I'll be back soon. <laughs> some gloopy PVA glue and a flower pot. <laughs> a piece of card. <laughs> and we also need some felt. Let's ask Scraps if he can help. <laughs> Scraps! We need some felt. Can you have a look at the drawers, please? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You can't see any felt. That's because it's on top of your head. Come here, you. <laughs> this is perfect. Well done. Thanks, Scraps. That's just what I'm looking for. So then, Mimi, we're nearly ready, but we also need some googly eyes. Now, you can find these in an art and craft shop. I'll be back in uh, four seconds. One, two, three, four. I'm back. Here we are. Here are our googly eyes. Excuse me. Brilliant. So this is what we're going to make today, Mimi. It's a wonderful wiggly wool picture of a sheep in a field. Yeah. Fantastic. So then, are you ready, Mimi? Yes. Yeah. Brilliant. Are you ready? Great. Let's get making. Now, the first thing we're going to do is bring in a piece of card for our background. We're going to stick on some blue felt to our card using gloopy glue. Now you'll need some green felt for your grass and some scissors. But we must be careful because scissors are... Sharp! That's right, they are. Cut some wiggly edges to make grassy hills. Now we're ready to stick down our green grass. Can you help me glue it, Mimi? Well done. Right, let's glue this piece on first. And stick the other piece on top, like this. Now we need to cut out our sheep's face and legs. Carefully cut out two rectangle shapes for the legs and a circle shape with ears for the face from a different colour of felt. Now it's time to wiggle our wool. Now, if, like me, you want to use an old woolly scarf for this picture, perhaps one you've just grown out of, always remember to ask permission from an adult first. So, very carefully, make a snip into the edge of it here, like this. And this will help you pull out your wiggly wool. Here it comes. If you haven't got an old scarf, you can use any old woolly clothes. And when you've pulled out lots of wiggly wool, you can start to wrap it around a large flower pot. We must be careful not to wrap it too tight. Cut the end off the wool. Now we can put these to one side 
is we're going to put a big splodge of gloopy glue in the middle of our pitcher where we want our sheep to go. Now we can push our rectangle shapes into the glue first. Then we carefully slide the wool off the pot and onto the pitcher. And push it into the glue. We can stick on the sheep's face now. So can you put some gloopy glue on there, please, Mimi? Here's the face. Now, our sheep needs eyes, so... Here are our googly eyes. Now, can you put some gloopy glue on these? Oh, well done. There we go. Two googly eyes. And you can even add a circle of yellow felt. There we go. Can you put some gloopy glue on that as well, please, Mimi? Well done. And this will be our son. Fantastic! I think we'll call her Barbara. <laughs> oh, I like your hair too, Barbara. And if you really enjoy that, there are lots of other ideas you could try too. How about a lovely lion in the jungle with a wiggly wool mane and woolly whiskers? Or even a mermaid with wavy woolly hair, a woolly fish and wiggly seaweed. Wiggly wool pictures. Why don't you try one today? We made it. And now your home is where the art is. High five. What a wonderful wiggly picture. Well done, Mimi. Bye. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> it's brilliant being out and about in the Makermobile. There's always so much to see and do. <laughs> What's that noise? Oh, I know who that is. <laughs> I am a sheep. I am a sheep. I am a circle. I am a triangle. I am a shape. I am a shape. I am a shape. I am a shape. What are the rectangles making today? Can you guess? Any ideas yet? What could it be? It's a snake! Well done, shapes! It's time to get back in the doodle drawers! <laughs> Oh, this is a lovely day for a drive out in the Makermobile, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Minute mate time! Hey, it's Minute Mate time! I'm on my way! <laughs> Here I am! Minute mate time, everyone! Yeah! And today we're going to make something brilliant to wear on your head. Oh, no, it's not a woolly hat. It's one of these. Oh, that's better. It's a hilarious hat hairband. Great, isn't it? Now, to make one of these, you will need a pair of scissors, a glue stick, a black pen, some card, a plastic hairband, and a piece of ribbon. Now, do you think it's possible to make one of these in just one minute? No way! Oh, well, I think I can. Now, I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! <laughs> Are you ready? 
Great! Let's make it in a minute. Three, two, one. Start the clock. Right, the first thing we've got to do is draw a hat shape. Now we do that by drawing a rectangle, a small thin one, and then a larger rectangle on top of that. Now I'm going to cut that shape out, but I've got to be careful because scissors are sharp. That's right. Down there, and I'm going to go as quick as I can. And of course, when you do this, you can be a bit more careful. There we go, across there, and then down that side, and then just a little bit over there as well. Right, move those bits to the side. Now, I need to put on some glue here at the side there and there, like that. And then we get our bit of ribbon. Now, I'm going to put this on top by sticking it at the side there and at the side there. That should be perfect. There we go. Now, if I turn it over... We've got a great hat shape. I just need a plastic hairband, put some glue on there, and if I stick it on, we've got ourselves a hat hairband. Yay! Yeah! And if you've got more than a minute, you can make all sorts of hat hairbands. Oh, how about this one with feathers and a sparkly jewel? Oh, or this one. It's a round hat with its own fantastic flower. Or you could even do this pointy clown hat hairband with a pipe cleaner trim and pom-poms. Hat hairbands made in a minute. Why don't you have a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Take a piece of card, draw a hat shape and cut it out. Stick a piece of ribbon on the hat above the brim to make a band. Glue the hat to the headband, and your hat headband is finished! Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Bye! <laughs> oh, this is fun! Where should we go to next? Hello, Mr Maker! Oh, hello! <laughs> look what we're making today! Let's take a look! I'm green. I'm yellow. I am brown. Everybody. Now watch this. <laughs> Guess what? It's time for a big surprise. <laughs> and these mini makers have no idea what their surprise is going to be or what I'm going to do. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are Hello. you? You OK? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's great to meet you. Now, would you like to hear a story? Yeah. yeah. Great. Once upon a time, Mr Maker and all his friends built a beautiful big castle. <laughs> and they all lived happily ever after, the end. <laughs> it was only a short story, but it's given me a big idea. I think we should build a big castle. Will you help me? Yeah! Brilliant. All right then, Freya, Azim, Roshan, Estelle and Seren, let's make it. Now, we're going to make a big castle, aren't we? So what should our castle look like, do you think? I think it should be um, a grey-black colour. Oh, interesting. What sort of shapes do you see on a castle? Um, mm -hmm. like things that are on top, like rectangles. L like rectangles? Oh, yes! What about those, Azim? What about those? Do you think they make good bricks? Yeah. Show me them, go on, show me. Do they make good bricks? Brilliant. I think we're ready to start making, aren't we? Let's go! Right, come on! Lead the way, Freya! We're making bricks for our castle. A big castle needs big towers! 
castle's going to be on a big green hill. We're having great fun making our big castle, so why don't you have a go making a smaller one? Try making a creative and colourful castle. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. You'll need a small box, a round pot, a tube, scissors, paint and a brush, some glue, newspaper and a paper plate, some coloured paper and a black pen. Carefully cut the box and the tube like this. Bring in the round pot and cover everything in gloopy glue. Then cover it all with newspaper pieces and leave it to dry. Now stick all the containers onto a coloured paper plate. Then paint bricks onto your castle. You can even paint a drawbridge to keep everybody out. When that's dry, you can decorate the towers with paper squares like this. Why not glue window shapes on as well? And add some extra detail with a black pen. Now your fantastic castle is ready to play with. What a super small castle. But I wonder how our big castle's coming along. Ah, yes. Excellent painting, everyone. Let's keep going. Come on. This is going to be the drawbridge. We are making mine for our castle. And let's make a sunny background. Next one. Brilliant. <laughs> and next one. Nearly finished. <laughs> there. Well done, everyone. We made it. Yay! What a wonderful castle. Fit for a king or a queen. Mr. Maker, time to go! Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Makermobile back in its box. <laughs> to see you. I'm out and about in my marvellous Make-A-Mobile. And the great thing about the Make-A-Mobile is that it can go anywhere. Oh! Toki here. Mini make a message. Hello, I'm Zach. Hello, Zach. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr Maker. I'll be right with you. Oh, Zach, now, how can I help you today? Can you show me how to make a pitch with lots of colours? Lots of colours, eh? 
That reminds me of my rather snazzy spotty waistcoat. <laughs> what do you think? And here's Mr. Mako wearing the latest in amazing RT artwear. His jeans and jacket are super cool. His socks are as bright as the hot sun. But it's that waistcoat that will turn heads. It knocks spots off the competition. Of course, my spotty waistcoat. It's just given me a great idea. Let's try something. Try making an octopus picture and colour it in by sticking on sticky dots. Let's make it! But first, we'll need somewhere to make it. Wow! <laughs> and we'll also need some things from the doodle drawers. I'll be back soon. <laughs> Some colourful sticky dots. Hmm, we also need a black pen. Now, I know I put one round here somewhere. Maybe Scraps knows where it is. Oh, hello, Scraps. Now, I need your help. Can you find me a black pen, please? Brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> No, Scraps, that's a hairbrush. Black pen, please. That's more like it. Well done. Right, let's do a swap. Thank you very much. Honestly, what's he like? And we need some paper. So, Zach. This is what we're going to make today. It's a super spotty dot picture. <laughs> what do you think about that then? It's good. It's good. Brilliant. So are you ready? Yeah. Great. Are you ready? Brilliant. Let's get making. Now, the first thing we're going to do is bring in a clean sheet of paper like that because we're going to draw the outline of whatever we want our picture to be. Now, I'm going to draw a big octopus with a big round head and eight wobbly legs. <laughs> now, our octopus needs some eyes, so let's grab some big white sticky dots and using a pen, we can add in some black dots to make pupils. And our octopus needs a cheeky smile. Now, you're good at cheeky smiles, aren't you, Zach? So give me a cheeky smile to copy. <laughs> That's a very good one. OK, here we go. Brilliant! And our octopus needs to be coloured in. But we're not going to use crayons, pens or pencils as you'd expect. Oh no! We're going to use lots and lots of sticky dots. So you can help me with this, Zach. Let's move our octopus over to you. And let's colour him in with lots and lots of these dots. Let's get sticking. <laughs> That's very good, Zach. Now I'm going to move the octopus back over here and do a few more. <laughs> there, all finished. A fantastic octopus picture with lots of colours and lots of... Dots. And you can use dots to make all sorts of pictures. How about this spotty elephant with big flappy ears? Or what about a beautiful bunch of flowers with multicoloured petals? Or even this colourful cottage with white sticker window frames and a dotty brown door. Sticky dot pictures are easy to do and they're really dotty. Well, that was great fun, Zach. What do you think of our picture? It's good. We made it. And now, Zach, your home is where the art is. Come on. <laughs> what a marvellous <laughs> sticky dot picture. Well done, Zach. <laughs> Bye. <sighs> Oh, <laughs> lovely. <laughs> it's brilliant being out and about in the maker -mobile. There's always so much to see and do. <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> oh, guess who that is? <laughs> I am a sheep. Circle. I am a triangle. I am a square. I am a rectangle. I am a 
Shapes, it's time to get back in the doodle drawers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a lovely day for a drive out in the Maker Mobile, isn't it? Oh, oh. Minute Mate Time! Hey, it's Minute Mate Time! I'm on my way! I'm here. <laughs> it's Minute Mate Time, everyone. Yeah! And today we're going to get into the spirit of the old Wild West. Oh, howdy. Because we're going to make a cute cactus. Now, it's called cute because unlike a real cactus, it doesn't hurt you when you touch it. Brilliant! <laughs> now, to make one of these, you will need a small flower pot, some pieces of dried spaghetti, a pencil, and we'll also need some air-drying clay. Now, you can get that in an art and craft shop. I'll be back very soon. <laughs> I've got it here is our air drying clay. Now, do you think it's possible to make this cute cactus in just one minute? No way! Oh, well, I think I can. Now, I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Great. Let's make it in a minute. Three, two, one. Start the clock. Right, the first thing we're going to do is get a big ball of air drying clay and we're going to push it into our pot. There we go. Now we're going to get a smaller piece of clay and roll a sausage shape like that. And we're going to stick that into the pot. There we go. Good. Right, now we get a smaller piece of clay and roll a smaller sausage and bend it and push it onto the side. And there's our cactus shape. Let's get a pencil and put some holes all over it. There we go. And now we can put in some pieces of pasta. And you can put in as many of these as you like. It can be a bit fiddly, but it's lots of fun. There we go. A few more in there. I think one in the bottom there, like that. One in the top there, that'd be good. One there. There we go. And one in there like that. And ah, I did it! Yeah. Just in time. But if you've got more than a minute, you can paint your cactus green and the bottom a lovely sandy yellow colour. And if you like, you can go cactus crazy. How about this one? It's got tissue paper flowers and two sausage shapes. This one's round and it's got lots of spaghetti spikes. Or why not try this one, which has got candle holder flowers and it's made from three balls of clay. A cute cactus made in a minute. Why don't you have a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Push a ball of clay into a flower pot, roll a clay sausage shape and push this on top. Then make a small sausage shape and stick it on the other side. Make holes all over the cactus with a pencil and push in dried spaghetti pieces until your cute cactus is finished. Why don't you try and make one in a minute? 
Right, mustache. So long, Spike. So long, cowboy. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Oh, this is fun. Where should we go to next? <laughs> hello, Mr. Maker. Oh, hello. Nice to see you. What do you think we're making today? Oh, I'm not sure. Let's take a look. I am orange. have no idea what's going to happen next. <laughs> Hello! Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, well, it's great to meet you. Now, would you like to see a show? Yeah! Great! <laughs> oh, thank you. But as good as my dancing is, I've got a much better idea. In fact, I've got a big idea. I think we should make a big puppet show. So will you help me? Yeah! Brilliant! All right then, Winnie, Badra, Joshua and Charlotte, let's make it! Now, we're going to make a big puppet show, aren't we? So what should our puppets look like? A fluffy nose. A fluffy nose? A fluffy nose. So, right, pick out a fluffy nose. That one, right, a fluffy nose. And two balls for eyes. Is it looking good? Look at, yeah, yeah. Does, that, does that look good so far? <laughs> now, our puppets are going to be very funny, but they need to live somewhere. So where can we put them? What do you think we should build for our puppets? A box. A puppet box. That's a good idea, isn't it? And we can make it into a puppet theatre, can't we? For all our puppets to play in. Does that sound like a good idea? Yeah. So shall we make it? Yeah! There <laughs> you go, Winnie. One for you. One for you, Joshua. And last but not least, one for you, Charlotte. Paint away! Here we go. We're making a puppet. <laughs> Hello. Do you like my new hair? What do you think? Is it good? No. Oh. Shall we put it on the puppet, then? Yeah. All right, then. <laughs> right, put some glue on there for me, Badra. That's it, on the top. Put plenty on. That's it. And now we can give our puppet some hair. Like that. <laughs> We're having great fun making our big puppet theatre. So why don't you try making your own little puppet at home? Try making a fantastic, funny monster puppet. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. You will need a pen, stickers, a pom-pom, rolled up paper balls, a glue stick, wool, a paintbrush and paint, scissors, a pencil and a small box. Take a box and a pencil and make a hole. Now carefully cut across the middle and down both sides. Fold it over to make a mouth. Now paint the box and paint the inside of the mouth a different colour. Then glue some wool onto the top to make hair. And stick on two rolled up paper balls for eyes. Glue on a pom-pom nose. And add some white sticker teeth. If you haven't got white stickers, you could always glue down some white paper. Then add black dots to the eyes for pupils. And 
and your puppet is finished and ready to put on a puppet show. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what a perfect way to make a little puppet. And talking of puppets, how are we getting on down here? <laughs> oh, he looks great, but he needs a nose. Now let's stick one on. <laughs> great, now lift him up. Oh, he looks cute. Oh, oh, he got my finger. <laughs> this way, that's it, this way. Brilliant, well done. This is the front of our puppet theatre. <laughs> here's one side. Thanks, Winnie. <laughs> and here's the other side. Well done, Charlotte. Wow, this puppet theatre's really taking shape. If you need me, I'll be downstairs. Let's make a sunny day for our puppet show. Right, there we go. Well done, everyone. We made it! What do you think, guys? Oh, well, well done, done Mini Makers! Well done! Yay! Well done! <laughs> yeah! That was great fun, wasn't it? We've had a fantastic time putting on our puppet show. Mr Maker, time to go! Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Makermobile back in its box. Mr. Baker. Mr. Baker. Mr. Baker. Nice to see you. I've hit the road in my brilliant Makermobile and I never quite know where it's going to take me. <laughs> Whoa! Toki here. Mini Maker message. Hello, I'm Sophie. Hello, Sophie. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr Maker. I'm on my way. <laughs> Here I am. Hello, Sophie. Put it there. Now, how can I help you today? Please show me how to make art from my garden. Art from your garden? That's a nice idea. And this is a very nice garden. Now, what we should do is search everywhere, high and low, until we find something that'll help us make something. So come on then, let's have a look round, Sophie. It might take quite a while until we... Oh, a twig! Well, look at that. This tiny twig looks like a tiny tree. <laughs> and it's just given me a great idea. Let's try something. Try making your own fantastic twinkling tree with terrific twigs from a garden. Let's make it! But first, we'll need somewhere to make it. Now, Sophie, will you collect some other twigs like this from your garden? Yes. Thank you. Right, off you go. That's it. And I'll get the other things we need from the doodle drawers. Some coloured paper or card. Some glitter and coloured paint. Hmm, 
We also need a paintbrush. Now, I've got my favourite one in here somewhere. I wonder if Scratch knows where it is. Can you hear that? Scraps! Scraps, wake up! <laughs> Scraps, I'm really sorry to wake you, but I've lost my favourite paintbrush. <laughs> oh, Scraps, what would I do without you, eh? <laughs> Sleep well! So then, Sophie, how did you get on? Let's have a look. Wow, lots of terrific twigs. Well done. Now, we're nearly ready to start, but we need one more thing, and that is some air drying clay. Now, you can find this in an art and craft shop. Right, wait there, Sophie. I'll be back in five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa, I'm back, Sophie, with some air drying clay. Now, this will help us make a twinkling tree, a little bit like this super sparkly one here. So then, Sophie, are you ready? Yeah. Great. Are you ready? Brilliant. Let's get making. Now, we're going to start by picking our favourite looking twig. This one looks good. And we're going to push it into a ball of air drying clay. Now, it's a good idea to do this on some old paper or a tray. Now we need to leave this to dry. Now, that might take quite a while, but don't worry. You can use that time to do something completely different. Robot Disco! <laughs> now your air drying clay should be dry and hard. Perfect. So you can paint it in whatever colour you like. I think we'll do our one a lovely light purple. Does that sound like a good idea, Sophie? Yes. Well, I'm glad you think that because you're going to help me paint it. <laughs> Here we go. Now grab your brush and get painting. Oh, yeah, mind me fingers. Don't paint me fingers. <laughs> That's it. Well done, Sophie. You did a great job there. And whilst the paint is still wet, we're going to sprinkle glitter all over our tiny tree and then leave it to dry. Then put your dry tree on some coloured card. and then put another piece of coloured card behind it. There you have it, a fantastic, terrific, twinkling tree. And you can make some more in the same way. It's a twinkling tree at night with white branches and silver glitter. Or you can make a really big twinkling forest with lots of trees. Why don't you try making some today? So what do you think then, Sophie? <laughs> Indeed, a terrific tree. We made it. And now, Sophie, your home is where the art is. High five. <laughs> Yay. What a beautiful twinkling tree. Well done, Sophie. Goodbye. <sighs> <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> it's brilliant being out and about in the Makermobile. There's always so much to see and do. <laughs> What's that noise? Oh, we know who that is, don't we? I am a shape. I am a shape. I am a circle. I am 
a shape. I am a circle. What are the circles making today? Can you guess? Hmm, I wonder what it could be. Any ideas? It's a pig! Well done, shapes. It's time to get back in the doodle drawers. <laughs> <laughs> What a beautiful day for a relaxing drive in the Makermobile. <laughs> minute mate time! Hey, it's minute mate time! I'm on my way! <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> and today we're going to make something from old pens that don't work anymore. Yes, that's right, because these are going to become pen people. Now, to make a pen person, like this one here, you will need a glue stick, some stickers, a black pen, ah, an old pen lid, a ball of modelling clay, some feathers and a small pom-pom. Now, do you think it's possible to make this pen person in just one minute? No way! Well, I think I can. Now, I will have to be very quick, but don't worry. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! <laughs> Are you ready? Great! Let's make it in a minute! Three, two, one! Start the clock! Right, the first thing we're going to do is push our modelling clay into the lid and then we're going to push in these feathers. There's one in there, uh, one in the side here. There we go. And then one in this side here as well. There they go, that's looking good. Now I'm going to get these stickers and draw on black dots for eyes. That's it. Now let's get these stuck on. There's one there, there's one eye going on. And now there's another eye going on there. There we go. Now these triangle shaped stickers are going to be a bow toy. There's one, oh, and another side there. Now we also need some glue here, and a pom-pom in the middle, like that. And if we put it back on our pen, we get ourselves a pen person! <laughs> Whew, I made it. Now if you've got more than a minute, you can make a whole family of pen people. This one's got orange and yellow feathers with a sparkly bow tie. This one's got woolly hair and beads for eyes. And this one's got googly eyes and a pipe cleaner bow in its hair. Pen people made in a minute. Why don't you have a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Push modelling clay into an old pen top and stick in feathers. Make eyes and a bow tie with stickers. Stick on a pom-pom nose. And your pen person is finished. Why don't you try and make one in a minute? Bye, everyone. Bye! <laughs> you never know what's going to happen when you're in the Maker-mobile. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Maker. Oh, nice to see you. What do you think we're making today? Let's find out, shall we? I am grey. I'm dark blue. I'm yellow. I am black. I am red. It's a lighthouse. Well done, everyone.
everybody. See you next time. Now watch this. Hello. Are you ready for a big surprise? These mini makers have no idea what's going to happen next. Hello. Ah! <laughs> Hello. How are you? Are you real, Mr. Maker? Of course I'm real. Look, it's me. Now, my friends, do you like riding on the bus? Yes. yes! Great. So do I. Oh, <laughs> all aboard. Next stop, Makerland. <laughs> 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 right then, now I think we should make a big bus. Will you help me? Yeah! yeah! Fantastic! All right then, Baljinda, Zainab, Harlan, Faria and Tequilio, let's make it! Now everybody, we're going to make a big bus. Now what colour should our bus be? Oh, I know, I know, I think our bus should be pink. Yeah? No! No? no? What colour should it be then? Now, what else goes on a bus? What else is there on a the bus? I know. Wheels. 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 The wheels. And what can we make the wheels out of? That's good. Look. That's brilliant. Look at that. We can make a steering wheel out of this as well, couldn't we? <laughs> All right, everyone. I think we should make our bus, don't you? Yeah. Let's go. All aboard. Ding, ding. Let's paint the sign on our bus yellow. Right, we're going to make our sign. Now, what name should we put on it? Mr. Mr. Maker. Good plan. There you go. We did it. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Looks good. We are painting the lights on the box. <laughs> We're having great fun making our bus, so why don't you have a go? Try making this brilliant box bus. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. To make one, you will need an old cereal box, stickers, paint and a paintbrush, plastic lids, a glue stick, a pen and some photos of yourself. Take an old cereal box and paint it a bright colour with a black strip at the bottom like this. Then leave it to dry. Now glue your lids to the side of the box to make wheels. Make sure you do both sides. Next, take some rectangle shaped stickers and stick them onto the bus for windows. If you haven't got stickers, you can stick on rectangles of paper. Then use smaller stickers to add other details, like the number plates and the lights. Now the bus needs some passengers, so why not stick pictures of yourself or even your family and friends to the windows? Or you can always cut pictures out from an old magazine. And to finish it off, add some details with a black pen. Doesn't it look fantastic? <laughs> what a brilliant little bus. But I wonder how our big bus is coming along. <laughs> ah, yes, well done, everyone. Can I help? Let's have a look. bus needs two tyres, but where are we going to find them? Oh, these will do. <laughs> That's it, this way. That's where you put it down. Oh, don't mind me foot, you, you. I think we're finished. Well done, everyone. We made it! Yeah! All aboard and off we go. Mr. Maker!
Time to go! Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Make-A-Mobile back in its box. <laughs> Lovely to see you. This is my marvellous Make-A-Mobile. I've come out for a drive. I wonder what we're going to see today. Whoa! Toki here. Mini, make a message. Hello, I'm Jamie. Hello, Jamie. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr. Maker. I'll be right with you. Must be the place. <laughs> Hello, Jamie. Now, how can I help you today? How can I paint without a paintbrush? How can you paint without a paintbrush? That's a good question. And can it be done? Of course it can. Instead of using a paintbrush to brush paint onto paper, we could use something else to print paint onto our picture. You can use all sorts of different things for this, like your hand. High five. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what, Jamie? I think we could use something much funnier to print with. I've just had a great idea. Let's try something. Print yourself a fantastic forest picture using cabbage leaves. Yes, you heard it right. Leaves from a cabbage. Let's make it. But first, Jamie, we need somewhere to make it. <laughs> <laughs> now, check your pockets, Jamie. I don't suppose you've got a spare cabbage, have you? <laughs> oh, well, never mind. I know just the place I can go to get everything we need. I'm off to the doodle drawers. <laughs> Some paint. <laughs> Some paper. <laughs> Some paper plates and a glue stick. Whoa! And of course, we need a cabbage. And I know who can help us find one. It's time to call Scraps. Scraps, I need your help. Now, remember that cabbage I was saving for my tea? Well, can you find it for me? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm ready, Scraps. Great throw, Scraps. Thank you. <laughs> so, Jamie, this is what we're going to make today. It's a fantastic forest picture made by printing cabbage leaves. So, are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Brilliant. Let's get making. Now, the first thing we're going to do is take our cabbage, Jamie, and we're going to very carefully tear off the leaves. Well, that was quick. Well done, Jamie. Now we're going to push our leaves inside out because that will give us a better print. Well done, Jamie. That's it. Pop it on. There we go. Brilliant. Now we're going to leave our leaves for a while because it's time to get our paint ready. And you can help me with this, Jamie. <laughs> Let's put our paper plates out. Now, can you put a big squeeze of dark green paint onto there, please? And you'll need a squeeze of light green as well. 
Well done, Jamie, that's brilliant. Now, I'm just going to take a paintbrush and I'm going to very gently spread it around the plate to make a nice thin layer. Our paint is ready. So let's get a nice clean piece of paper like that. And I'm going to find one of the biggest cabbage leaves. That one looks good. Carefully push it into the paint so the whole leaf is covered. Right now, Jamie, if I pick up this leaf, there we go. Oh, it's very painty. And let's push the leaf gently down onto the paper. And when I lift it off, watch what happens. Ah, we get a fantastic print. Now, what do you think that looks like, Jamie? A tree. It does look like a tree, doesn't it? And now we can do as many tree prints as we like with the big leaves. Fantastic. Now we're going to use a smaller leaf and a lighter coloured paint to make some smaller trees. Right then, we're going to leave our leaves to dry for the moment and we're going to choose another sheet of coloured paper for our background. And we're going to take a sheet of green paper as well. Now this is the same size and this is going to be the grass at the bottom of our picture. So let's tear off a nice long strip along here. There we go, and we're going to glue it at the bottom of our picture like that. Now, can you help me here, Jamie? Thank you. And now, we can glue it on. <laughs> Next, we need to cut out our dry printed leaves, but we need to be careful because scissors are... Sharp! Then arrange your leaves onto the background to make it look like a forest. It works best if you put down the bigger, darker leaves first. Great! Now we need to stick them down. You can help with this, actually. Put a big bit of glue there for me. Thank you. <laughs> We're finished. They look fantastic. And you could try some other ideas, too. How about using different colours to make a multicoloured forest? Or you could even use gold and silver paint to make this brilliant night scene with a printed silver paper moon. Fantastic pictures made by printing with a cabbage. We made it. And now, Jamie, your home is where the art is. High five. Yay! <laughs> what a fantastic cabbage print picture. Well done, Jamie. Goodbye. <sighs> It's brilliant being out and about in the Makermobile. There's always so much to see and do. And... <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> oh, who could it be? I am a shape. I am a shape. I am a circle. I am a triangle. I am a square. I am a rectangle. Shapes, it's time to get back in the doodle drawers. <laughs> 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 
Oh, what a beautiful day for a relaxing drive in the Makermobile. <laughs> Minute mate time! Hey, it's Minute Mate time! I'm on my way! This must be the place. <laughs> it's Minute Mate time, everyone! <laughs> and here's what we're going to make today. A hairy bug! Wow, look at that. It's fantastic. Now, to make one of these, you will need an old garlic press that no one wants anymore, some scissors, a pencil, and we'll also need some air drying clay. Now, you can get that in an art and craft shop. I'll be back very soon. <laughs> Whoa, I've got it. In here is our air drying clay. There it is. Now, do you think it's possible to make this hairy bug in just one minute? No way! Oh, well, I think I can, although I will have to be very quick. Don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Great! Let's make it in a minute! Three, two, one! Start the clock! Right, let's get a lump of air-drying clay and we're going to roll and squidge it into the body shape of our creature. There we go, I think that'll be quite good. Fantastic. Now let's get another little bit of air drying clay and we're going to put it inside the garlic press, like that. And when you push it through, it all squidges out the other end. Now I'm going to use some scissors, but you have to be careful because scissors are... Yeah! That's right, let's just cut very carefully there. Now I can put this hair on top, like that. There, he's got some spiky hair like me. Now I need to get two small balls of air drying clay. And if I push those at the top there, these are going to make the two eyes. Let's use a pencil to make one hole and another hole. There are the two eyes and another hole down here for his mouth. And there you have a hairy bug. Come on. <laughs> hey, just made it. And if you've got more than a minute, you can paint your hairy bug like this one. And you can make all sorts of hairy bugs. How about this one? with a green body and orange hair. Or this one, with an orange body, blue spots, and lots of wild, wiggly hair. Hairy bugs made in just a minute. Why don't you have a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Roll a ball of clay into a body shape. Squeeze a smaller piece of clay through an old garlic press to make hair and stick it onto the body. Stick on eyes and use a pencil to make eyeballs and a mouth. And you've made a hairy bug. Why don't you try and make a hairy bug in a minute? They're very cute. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about a hairy bug. That one's more like a scary bug. I'm getting out of here, everyone. Goodbye! Bye. Oh, I love driving the Makermobile. Where should we go to next? <laughs> oh. Hello, Mr Maker. Oh, nice to see you. Can you guess what we're making today? What are they going to make? <laughs> Orange. I am purple. And dark blue. I am pink. I am black. I am red. See you next time. Now watch this. Hello. Are you ready for a big surprise?
noise. These mini makers have absolutely no idea I'm on my way or what we're going to do. <laughs> Hello. This is your best maker. You okay? Now, are you ready for some delicious art? Yeah. Well, that's great because. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should make a big arty feast. So will you help me? Yeah! Brilliant! All right then, Jack, Leah, Seaned, Kieran and Emily, let's make it! Everybody, we're going to make a fabulous feast. So what should we put in our feast? Ooh, jam sandwiches. Jam sandwiches? Do you know what my favourite food is? What? I like Brussels sprouts in custard. <laughs> What's wrong with that? It's very tasty. Do you like that? <laughs> All right then, everyone. Are we ready to start making? Yeah! <laughs> Let's make it. Lead the way, Leah. Come on. I'm squirting on lovely tomato sauce. I'm putting cherries on the cake. I'm painting the watermelon pink. This is going to be a fantastic fish. <laughs> So we're going to paint red here and we're going to paint yellow out here, OK? So what do we have to do then, Jack? We have to wait till it's dried and then we can sit down for our feast. Oh, that sounds nice. We're having great fun making our big, fantastic feast. So how about making something tasty for yourself? Try making a wonderful wobbly jelly. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. To make one, you'll need a clean, empty plastic pudding bowl, some gloopy glue, red food colouring, a brush, a coloured paper plate, some scissors, cotton wool, tissue paper balls and coloured craft foam. Take the food colouring and add a few drops to the gloopy glue and then give it a good stir. If you find this tricky, get an adult to help you. Take your plastic pudding bowl and use the painty mixture to paint inside it. Then leave it to dry. Now turn over your dry bowl and stick cotton wool and tissue paper balls all around the bottom edge. And then you can do the same on the top. It looks like cherries and cream. Now take your piece of craft foam and carefully cut out lots of little diamond shapes and stick them between your cherries and cream. And your jelly is finished. This is such a yummy idea, you can use different sized plastic pots to make all sorts of delicious jelly puddings. What a jolly good jelly. But I wonder how our big feast is coming along. <laughs> oh, yes, very nice. Where's she gone? Hello. There you are. <laughs> and now we need somewhere to have our fantastic feast. <laughs> Here we go. Well done, everyone. We made it! Yay! Wow! That amazing feast has made me really hungry. Mr Maker, time to go! Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Makermobile back in its box. <laughs> La 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 la, Mr. Baker. La 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 la, Mr.
Nice to see you. I'm out and about in my marvellous Make-A-Mobile. And the great thing about the Make-A-Mobile is that it can go anywhere. Whoa! Cocky here. Mini, make a message. Hello, I'm Danny. Hello, Danny. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr Maker. I'll be right with you. Here we are. <laughs> Hello, Danny. So, how can I help you today? Will you show me how to make something really colourful? Something really colourful, eh? That sounds a bit like... A rainbow! <laughs> but do you know what, Danny? I think we're going to need even more colours than that. I've just had a great idea. Let's try something. Try making a colourful, super stripey picture. It's super and stripey. Let's, Let's make, make it. it! But first, we'll need somewhere to make it. Ooh! <laughs> and we'll need some things from the Doodle Drawers. Wait here, I'll be back soon. <laughs> A big piece of plain paper. <laughs> now, we also need some old scraps of coloured paper. And when looking for scraps, who better to find them than scraps? <laughs> ah, scraps, there you are. <laughs> now, we need some scraps of coloured paper. Mm. You think you can help us? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Now, this may take our friend Scraps quite a while. You've got to search through all of the Google drawers to find... Well, that was quick. <laughs> well, you are the Scraps expert, I suppose. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> and we also need a glue stick. Right then, Danny, let's have some fun and make a super stripy picture like this one here. It looks fantastic. Now, are you ready? Yes. Good. Are you ready? Great. Let's get making. Now, we're going to bring in our sheets and scraps of coloured paper and we're going to cut these into long strips. Now, you can just cut these straight from the paper or, if you like to help you, you can draw a straight line using a pencil and a ruler and cut along that. So, we're going to get cutting then, Danny, but we need to be careful because scissors are... Sharp! That's right! He's done this before. Right, can you cut that one out for me, Danny? There we go, and I'll make some other strips over here. Carefully cut thick and thin strips out of lots of different colours. So now we can start sticking our strips down. So let's find a strip. This one looks good. And put on some glue. Right, here we go. I'm going to do the first one. There we go. Now we're going to keep all of our strips lying flat in the same way. And we'll start at the top and work our way all the way down to the bottom. Right, you can have a go, I think, Danny. This one looks good. Can you put plenty of glue on that for me? Yep. Good man. Right, away we go. Perfect. Thank you, Danny. Right, here we go. Let's stick this on. Now, it's a good idea if you lay some of your strips on top of each other like that. It looks really good. And don't worry if you go over the edges of the paper. Just make sure you keep going until your page is completely covered in stripes. So, we're nearly finished, Danny. But as you can see, some of the strips have gone over the edges of the paper. So what we need to do is very carefully trim these off using some scissors. Just like this. And there we have it. A super stripy picture that's really colourful. And the best thing about stripy pictures is that you can make them in all sorts of different ways. How about this one? Made with light colours. Or this one, which is made with strips of old wrapping paper. 
or you could even try sticking your strips the other way round. So what do you think then, Danny? Excellent! <laughs> Excellent indeed! We made it! And now your home is where the art is! Hooray! What a colourful, stripy picture! Well done, Danny! Bye! <laughs> <laughs> I love being out and about in the Makermobile. The sun is shining, the birds are tweeting, and... Uh, oh, what's that noise? <laughs> oh, I know who that is! I am the sheep! Where's making today? Can you guess? Any ideas yet? It's a dinosaur! Well done, shapes! It's time Aye. to get back in the doodle drawers! <laughs> I love driving the Makermobile. There are so many interesting things to see. Ah! <laughs> Minute mate time! Hey, it's Minute Mate time! I'm on my way! <laughs> We've arrived! <laughs> It's Minute Mate time, everyone! Yay! And here's what we're going to make today. A peg animal! Ow, ow, ow. Look, it's my pet peg dog. Now, to make one of these, you will need a glue stick, a pipe cleaner, three pegs, some fun fur, a mini pom-pom, and we'll also need some googly eyes. And you can find those in an art and craft shop. I'll be back very soon. <laughs> Them. Here are our googly eyes. Now, do you think it's possible to make this pig animal in just one minute? No way! Well, I think I can. I'm going to have to be very quick, though. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Great! Let's make it in a minute! Start the crawl! Right, we're going to get our pipe cleaner, bend it in half, and then give it a twist, like this, round and round. And now let's bring in our pegs. We're going to put one on that end. That's going to be the head. And then the opposite direction, we're going to put on the legs. There's one there and one there as well. Let's bend the tail. There we go. Right, now let's get some glue and put on our pom-pom. This is going to be the nose. Let's glue that on. There we go. And now let's put on our googly eyes. Right, that eye's on. Now let's try this eye. There we go. Let's glue that eye on. And that one there. There we go. Right, now if we get some of this fun fur, we can put some glue along there and then glue this on the side. And here's my pig animal. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> 
just in time. And if you've got more than a minute, you can make all sorts of peg animals. What about this woolly sheep made with cotton wool for its woolly coat? <laughs> or this. It's a pink rabbit with pink cotton wool and sticking out feet. <laughs> or you could even do a tropical peg parrot with multicoloured feathers and a peg for its beak. <laughs> peg animals made in just a minute. Why don't you have a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Take a pipe cleaner, bend it in half and give it a twist. Clip on pegs for legs and a head like this. Stick on a pom-pom nose and googly eyes. Glue fun fur on the body. And your peg animal is finished. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Right, a moustache. Are you going to come with me, Peggy? <coughs> Ooh, all right, well, suit yourself. <laughs> Bye, everyone! Bye. <laughs> I wonder where we're off to next. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Maker. Oh, nice to see you. Look what we're making today. What are they going to make? <laughs> I am red. I'm light blue. I'm about to surprise these mini-makers who are not expecting me. Hello! It's Mr Maker. Mr Maker! Mm. It's great to meet you. Now, do you like going on holiday? Yeah! Me too, but I can't decide where to go this year. Oh, thank you. <laughs> wow! This map shows the perfect place to go on holiday. And it's just given me a big idea. I think we should make a big tropical holiday island. Will you help me? Yeah! yeah! Fantastic! All right then, Morgan, Hope, Caspian, Amber and Ben, let's make it! Now, we're going to make a tropical island, aren't we? Yeah! Now, what should it look like? Uh, a palm tree and some golden sand. Golden sand and a palm tree as well. Should we paint our palm tree? Should we paint it? Paint. What yeah. colours? What colours should we use? Brown, green. Fantastic! They'll be great colours. And what could go on our palm tree? Coconuts. Coconuts. Coconuts, that's right. What can we make our coconuts out of? Brown. Brown card. Do you think we could use that? That's yeah. actually a good idea, paint isn't it? Paint it brown. We could paint it brown. Do you think that would work? Yeah. yeah. I think that would be great. Do you know what? I think we're ready to make our island, aren't we? Yeah! yeah. Brilliant! Let's make it! We're thinking of palm trees. Can you help me paint my shell? Of course I can. This is your shell, is it? Oh, it's quite big, isn't it? Let's have a look at this. Look at that! <laughs> Imagine the snail that lived inside that shell. <laughs> what are you painting, Morgan? Coconuts. Coconuts? I like coconuts. We're having great fun making our big island in the sun, so why don't you try making your own little one? Try making a mini tropical island with its own palm tree. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. To make one, you will need pipe cleaners, a pencil, a paper plate, modelling clay, 
Gloopy glue, play sand, tissue paper, coloured card, a pom-pom and a small toy. Take three pipe cleaners and wrap them around the top of a pencil. Then bend them so they look like palm tree leaves. Next, turn a paper plate upside down. Put a ball of modelling clay under your plate and push your palm tree into it like this. Now cover the top of your plate in a layer of gloopy glue. And sprinkle on some play sand. Next, take some pieces of coloured tissue paper and stick them around the edge so it looks like waves around your tropical beach. Then take a piece of coloured card and fold it slightly to make a deck chair. Now glue it down. To finish off your tropical island, why not add a plastic toy? Or even some pom-pom coconuts. Your tiny tropical island is finished and ready to play with. What a great way to make a mini island. But I wonder how our big island's coming along. Hello, I'm a cloud. Could you make me fluffy, please? That's it. I'm floating away. You might have to catch me. Can you catch me? Does it look like a fluffy cloud? Yeah! Brilliant! Then it's time to float away. And don't forget a sunny blue sky. She puts a seashell on the seashore. <laughs> well done, Morgan. There we go. Well done, everyone. We made it! Yeah! Now that's where I'd want to go on my holiday. Mr Maker, time to go! Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Makermobile back in its box. <laughs> see you. I'm out and about in my marvellous Makermobile. And the great thing about the Makermobile is that it can go anywhere. Whoa! Toki here. Mini Maker message. Hello, I'm David. Hello, David. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr Maker. I'll be right with you. David, now how can I help you today? Can you show me how to make a funny creature? OK then, David, a funny creature we will make. But what will we make it with? Let's have a look in my pocket. <laughs> Ooh, a banana? So that's where that went. <laughs> oh, no! It's a piece from an old jigsaw puzzle. That's no use, is it? Oh! Is it? Hmm, a piece of an old jigsaw puzzle. That's just given me a great idea. 
let's try something. Try putting an old piece of jigsaw to good use and make a funny creature like this fantastic fish. Let's make it! But first, we'll need somewhere to make it. <laughs> and we'll also need some things from the doodle drawers. I'll be back soon. A sheet of coloured paper and some orange paint. Hmm. We also need some coloured stickers and we'll need some help to find those. I know, let's ask Scraps. <laughs> scraps! <laughs> oh, Scraps, you're covered in spots. Are you not feeling very well? Mm -hmm. Oh, they're the coloured stickers. You heard, well done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, I'll just take a few, come on. <laughs> That's it, perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Scraps. <laughs> You'll also need a pen and a paintbrush. And a glue stick and some gloopy PVA glue. So then, David, this is what we're going to make today. It's a fantastic fishy friend made from a piece of an old jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> Brilliant. So are you ready, David? Yeah. Are you ready? Brilliant. Let's get making. Now, the first thing we're going to do is make a very special mixture that's made up of half gloopy glue and half paint. Use any colour you like, but we're going to use orange because we're making a goldfish. <laughs> now, we need to mix this painty mixture. And David, you can help me with that. Can you give that a bit of a stir with a paintbrush? Our mixture is ready. Now, you can turn your jigsaw piece into whatever you like. Our piece has got a hole to one side and a bobbly bit on the top and the bottom. Now let's paint our jigsaw piece in the special gloopy mixture and then leave it to dry. Now we've got a lovely piece of blue paper here because David, our fish, is going to be swimming in... The sea. The sea, that's right. So you can help me. Can you put some glue on the back of the jigsaw piece for me? Brilliant. Thank you very much, David. Let's stick it down. Wonderful. Now we can add some extra detail with a pen for the fish's fins. Now stick on coloured stickers. But don't worry if you haven't got these. You can always draw on spots. Right, you can help me again here, David. I'm going to slide our fish over to you. And can you help me by sticking on some stickers? Yeah. Brilliant. Right, there's the first sticker. Well done, David. Let's have a look at that. Yes, our fish is nearly finished. But wait a minute, it's missing something. What could it be, David? Eyes. I think you're right. Let's add some eyes by adding some white stickers. And also using a black pen to put some dots in the middle for pupils. Our fantastic fish is finally finished. Now, if you've got more time and some more old pieces of jigsaw puzzle, oh, you can make another crazy creature. Now, these pieces have already been covered, David, in the special gloopy painty mixture, so we can make whatever we like. I know. How about a marvellous monster with lots of colourful spots? What do you think? Yeah. Let's do it, OK. Let's put the pieces over here and start sticking on lots of coloured spots. When you're happy, you can stick it all down. Look, it's a marvellous monster with lots of colourful spots. Or if you've got lots of small jigsaw pieces that you don't want anymore, how about making a delightful dinosaur? Wow, it's a Jigosaurus. A Jigosaurus, because it's a jigsaw dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought it was funny. All right then, David, what do you think? Brilliant, Mr Maker. High five! We made it, and now your home is where the art is. Hey! <laughs> <laughs>
What an amazing dinosaur! Well done, David. Bye! <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> it's brilliant being out and about in the Makermobile. There's always so much to see and do. <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> it's the shapes! <laughs> I am a circle. I am a triangle. I am a square. I am a rectangle. in the triangles. Can you see what it is? Any ideas? It's a lobster! Well done, shapes. It's time to get back in the jungle drawers. <laughs> 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 This is a lovely day for a drive out in the Makermobile, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> minute mate time! Hey, it's Minute Mate time! I'm on my way! I'm here! <laughs> It's Minute Mate time, everyone! Yeah! And as I'm getting so good at these Minute Makes, I've decided to award myself this magnificent Maker Medal! Oh. <laughs> Look at that, it's great, isn't it? And it's even got the first letter of my name on the front. Now, to make one of these, you will need some sticky tape, a piece of tin foil, a glue stick, an old lid, a foam letter and a piece of ribbon. Now, do you think it's possible to make one of these in just one minute? No way! Ooh, well, I think I can. Now, we're going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, everyone. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! Great! Are you ready? Brilliant. Let's make it in a minute! Three, two, one! Start the clock! Right, the first thing we're going to do is get our old lid and our foam letter and stick them together by putting on a lot of glue like that. And you can press the letter on top. Now we're going to get our tin foil and very carefully scrunch it up and then open it up again. Now this gives it an old fashioned look. And I can wrap it around the lid like that, scrunch it into the back. There we go. And then if we turn it over, you can start very carefully pushing down around the foam letter and you can see that the letter underneath starts to come through. That's looking good. There it is, yeah, it's looking good. Now if I turn this over and get our ribbon, I can stick it on the back with some sticky tape. Sticky tape there, that's it, a bit there. And then a bit of sticky tape there as well. That's just about stuck. I made it! Another successful Minute Make! Yay! And if you've got more than a minute, you can make as many Maker Medals as you like. Oh, ah, this one's got a number one on it, and it's made with some very nice orange foil. Oh, this one's got a star on it and some gold foil. Oh, you can even make a smiley face medal like this one here. 
Phew, I think that's enough, even for a brilliant artist like myself. <laughs> Maker medals made in a minute. Why don't you have a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Glue a foam letter onto a plastic lid and then crinkle some foil. Then wrap it around the letter and lid. Stick a ribbon onto the back with sticky tape. And your Maker Medal is finished! Why don't you try and make one in a minute? Bye! <laughs> now, where to next? Hello, Mr Maker! Oh, nice to see you! What do you think we're making today? Oh, I'm not sure. Let's take a look. See you soon. Now get ready for something brilliant. Shh. It's time for a big surprise. Let's meet some more mini makers who don't know I'm on my way. Hello. Hello, Mr. Maker. Hello. How are you? Are you OK? Yeah. Oh, well, it's brilliant to meet you. Now, you look brave. You're not scared of anything, are you? No. Not even creepy crawlies. No! I'm not either. <laughs> oh, 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 it's just you, Sid. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, oh, goodbye. <laughs> Actually, I really like creepy crawlies and I've got a big idea. I think we should make a big spider. Will you help me? Yes! Fantastic. All right then, Edie, Liam, Charles, Naomi and Jean, let's make it. Now we're going to make a spider, aren't we? What should our spider look like? It's going to have ball ears. Ball ears? <laughs> That's a great idea. Now, how many legs does a spider have? Five, six, eight. Brilliant. Should we make a web as well? What can we make our web out of? String. String, that would be good. <laughs> should we make it? Yeah! I think we're ready. Let's make it. <laughs> This way, follow me. This is our spider's body. So let's cover it in fun fur, everyone. Come on, that's it. <laughs> what? What the? <laughs> I said cover the spider's body, not my head. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's wrap the spider. And then sit down on it. And then sit down on it? Yeah. Right, there we go. Is that a comfy spider? Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Now let's make the other parts of the spider. We're making our spider's legs. Spider's legs are furry. We're making spider's eyes. Making our big spider is great fun. So how about you try making a little one yourself? Try making your own furry little spider. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. You'll need some pipe cleaners, some glue, a brush, pom-poms and some googly eyes. First, take four pipe cleaners and put them in a star shape. Now twist them together like this. Add gloopy glue to the middle of the star shape and stick on your pom-pom body. Turn your spider over and stick another pom-pom on the other side. 
bend the spider's legs like this. And last of all, glue on googly eyes. Well done! You've made a funny furry spider! What a super way to make a small spider! But I wonder how our big spider's coming along. <laughs> oh yes, he looks great! Now our spider needs somewhere to live. <laughs> I'm making stepping stones. And don't forget, our spider needs a web. Good boy, Liam, that's it. Oh, no, I'm stuck. Help, pull, pull. No, actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> Thank you very much, Liam. Thank you. Nearly finished. There you go. Well done, everyone. We made it! Yeah! <laughs> wow, that's a monster of a spider. Mr. Maker, time to go! Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Makermobile back in its box! Nice to see you. I'm out and about in my marvellous Makermobile. And the great thing about the Makermobile is that it can go anywhere. Copy here. Mini make a message. Hello, I'm Sinead. Hello, Sinead. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr Maker. I'm on my way. <laughs> Sinead, put it there. Now, how can I help you today? Can you help me paint a picture in a fun way? A picture in a fun way, eh? Well, let's have a think. <laughs> Marbles! <laughs> They've just given me a great idea. Let's try something. If you want to have fantastic fun, try painting with a marble or a ball. It's great to do and looks brilliant. Let's, Let's make, make it. it. But first of all, we need somewhere to make it. <laughs> and as well as a marble, we'll need some other things from the doodle drawers. Right, hold on to that, Sinead. I'll be back very soon. Some squirty paint. Ah, now we also need an old tray. So let's ask Scraps for some help. <laughs> Scraps! Oh, a carrot. Thank you for that. I'll have that for my tea later. But what I actually need right now is an old tray. Can you help? <laughs> Thank you. Whoa! 
Well done! Brilliant! Thank you, Scraps. And we also need a piece of paper. So, Sinead, let's have some fun and make a marvellous marble painting like this one here. <laughs> you see, it's marvellous because we use a marble. <laughs> Are you ready, then? Yeah. Are you ready? Brilliant. Let's get painting. Oh, but before we do, we need to put our paper down on an old tray or some cardboard because this can get a little bit messy. OK, here we go. Great. Now, you can use whatever colour paint you like. But what colour paint would you like to use, Sinead? Pink, yellow, blue and purple. Excellent choices. OK, here we go. Let's line them up. Now, let's get squirting. First the purple. Now, you can squirt your lines anywhere you like, but we're going to do them across the page, just like this. The blue. Pink. And last but not least, Sinead, yellow. Now go back to your first colour and do the same all over again until you've completely covered your paper in squirty lines of paint. Now for the fun part. Get ready to drop the marble! Ooh, drum roll, please! Three, two, one, drop! Brilliant! Get ready to roll! Here we go. Now we're going to roll the marble up and down like this or around and around so it squidges through the paint and makes a lovely pattern like this. And back down again. There! Fantastic! Are you happy with your painting, Sinead? Yeah. Great! We'll leave it to dry then. That was fun, but I think we can have even more fun, don't you, Sinead? Yeah. Great! Let's make a big painting together. Now, this can get a little bit messy, so it's a good idea to put on an apron or some old clothes. Right, follow me. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> there we go. Very nice. First, we need to put down a big tray on top of some old paper. Then we need a nice big piece of new paper. We need lots of squirty paint. And we need something big and round to roll, like a football. Fantastic! OK, Sinead, let's squirt away. Right, Sinead, can you pass me some purple paint? That's it, lovely. Orange, please. Brilliant. Now, I'm going to drop the football in. Let's get down. And get ready to roll. Three, two, one, roll. Come on, come on. Oh, 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 here it comes. Well done, Sinead. <laughs> right now, I'm going to take this painty football and put it over here. Now, come on, Sinead, come and join me over here. Wow, oh, that's pretty good. What do you think? Brilliant. We made it. And now, Sinead, your home is where the art is. What a brilliant marble picture. Well done, Sinead. Bye. <sighs> <sighs> I love being out and about in the Makermobile. The sun is shining, the birds are tweeting, and... Hey! hey. Ooh, what's that noise? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know who that is. <laughs> How many rectangles can you see? One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven rectangles. Well done, shapes. It's time to get back in the doodle drawers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is a lovely day for a drive out in the Makermobile, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh. Minute mate time! Hey, it's Minute Mate time! I'm on my way! <laughs> Here we are. Time, everyone! Yay! And today we're going to make something. Hey, who's that? <laughs> Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> hey, look! It's Frank, my fun fur creature, made in a minute. And to make one of these, you will need some sticky tape, a plastic pot or bowl, some fun fur, a glue stick, a paper plate, some cotton wool. And we'll also need some googly eyes that you can get from an art and craft shop. I'll be back very soon. <laughs> there, I've got them. Here are our googly eyes. Now, do you think it's possible to make this fun fur creature in just one minute? No! Well, I think I can. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Great. Let's make it in a minute. Three, two, one. Start the clock. Right, the first thing we're going to do is turn our plate over and put our bowl and our cotton wool on the top and get a long bit of sticky tape and stick all that together. Now we're going to bring in our fun fur, like this, and wrap the whole thing up a bit like a present. There we go. Let's put it all in there. We're going to need quite a lot of sticky tape, I think. It's a bit fiddly, this. You might need an adult to help you. There we go. And another bit, I think, across there, like that. Now, if we turn this over, we can make a little pinch there for a nose. And then if we glue on our googly eyes, one there, and one there. I've just about got enough time to make a fun fur creature. I did it! <laughs> Phew, I made it. And the great thing is, you can make all sorts of fun fur creatures. How about this one? It has black and white fur with card horns and eyelashes. You can even make this one with pink fur, feathery eyes and card horns. Fun fur creatures made in a minute. Why don't you have a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Put a plastic pot onto a paper plate and stick the cotton wool on top with sticky tape. Now wrap some fun fur over the pot and tape it into place. Make a nose shape and stick on the googly eyes and your fun fur creature is finished. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Bye! Bye! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where we're off to next. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Maker. Oh, nice to see you. Can you guess what we're making today? What are they going to make? <laughs> I'm green. I'm yellow.
everyone. See you soon. Now watch this. Hello. Are you ready for a big surprise? <laughs> Let's meet some more mini makers who have no idea I'm on my way. <laughs> Hello! Hello! Hello. <laughs> it's great to meet you! Now, I've heard that you all like dinosaurs, is that right? Yes! Yeah. You do? Great! I think we should make a big dinosaur! Will you help me? Yes! OK then, Jake, Dominic, Simran Deep, Harrison and Tiana, let's make it! Come on! OK then, everyone, now what could our dinosaur look like? Sure. Sharp teeth. Sharp claws. Sharp claws. Arr, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. What else can we think of? Spiky. Spiky. Now, where would the spikes be, though? On its back. On its back. Well done. I think we're ready. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then we've got six paintbrushes, six painters. So let's get painting. Right, everyone, grab a paintbrush and let's paint our dinosaur. Now, how big? Should our dinosaur be, do you think? As big as a whale. As big as a whale? Well, that's pretty big, isn't it? <laughs> Paper plates painted yellow and red make great dinosaur spikes and toenails. Now, what sort of noises do dinosaurs make? Rawr! Woo! <laughs> Dominic, I need a toenail. Well done. Right, put plenty of glue on the back there. That's it. And then finish off that foot. Perfect. <laughs> well done. High five. Good man. That's it. Keep going round. Keep going round. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. I'm going to put the bowl over there. Make sure that the ball goes inside. Our dinosaur has got an eye. And now we need some dinosaur scales. Making our big dinosaur is great fun. So why don't you have a go making a small one of your own? Try making an amazing, brightly coloured dinosaur. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. To make one, you will need a card tube with a lid, two small boxes, some foil, some glue and a brush, tissue paper, a pen and some sticky dots. Take the lid off your tube and tape the boxes under it like this. Now squash some kitchen foil into a dinosaur head shape. Then tape it to the top of the lid. Take another piece of foil and squash this into a tail shape. And tape it to the end of the tube. Next, stick green tissue all over the body and head of the dinosaur with gloopy glue. If you haven't got green tissue, you could use white tissue and then paint it. When it's dry, put the head on the body. Next, you can add some details. Tear another colour of tissue paper into triangles and stick them along the top of the body to make spikes. Now give your dinosaur eyes. Just draw a black dot on some white stickers for pupils and stick them on. You can even add other coloured stickers for decoration. It's a mini-saurus! Fantastic! What a super way to make a small dinosaur. But I wonder how our big dinosaur's coming along. OK, there you go, Dominic. Now be careful because scissors are... Sharp! <laughs> That's right. Get cutting. Well done. Now let's make a tropical jungle for our dinosaur to live in. <laughs> We're almost finished. Brilliant! Well done, everyone! We made it! Yay! <laughs> wow, that was real 
realistic. What a great dinosaur. Mr Maker, time to go. Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Makermobile back in its box. <laughs> Nice to see you again. I've just come out for a drive. There's always so much to see and do when I'm out and about in the Makermobile. Yay! Oh, Toki here. Mini make a message. Hello, I'm Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr. Maker. I'll be right with you. <laughs> Must be the place. <laughs> Hello, Lucy. So, how can I help you today? What can we do with these old lids? Oh, well, let's have a look. There's quite a collection in here. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun. Now, well, let's have a look. Oh. There are lots of different sizes, and all the lids are circle shapes. I've just had a great idea. Let's try yourself a crazy pattern using circle shaped lids of different sizes. It's very colourful and simple to do. Let's, Let's make, make it. it! But first, we need somewhere to make it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> And we'll also need some things from the doodle drawers. I'll be back soon. <laughs> A big piece of coloured paper. <laughs> we'll also need some paper plates. I wonder if Scraps has got any. <laughs> Scraps? Mm -hmm. Oh, Scraps! Uh, we need some paper plates. Can you help? <laughs> Oh, great paper plate balancing scraps. You should be in the circus. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much. This is perfect. <laughs> and we'll also need lots of brightly coloured poster paint. So, Lucy, this is what we're going to make today. It's a circle print picture. Look at that. Very colourful. So, what do you think about that then, Lucy? Good. Good. Brilliant. So are you ready then? Yes. Great. Are you ready? Brilliant. Let's get making. Now the best thing about this idea is that you can make the pattern whatever you want it to be. So choose as many colours of paint as you like and squeeze a blob of each one out onto a different paper plate. Let's get some paper plates out. And can you do a big squirt of red paint, please? Brilliant. Well done. And now let's have purple, I think, for this one. This one. Great. And last but not least, green. Well done, Lucy. Well, our paint is ready, so we can bring in our background paper. And now we can start to print with our circle-shaped lids. So one by one, let's choose a lid. And all we do is push it into the paint, like that. <laughs> and then we can print it onto our paper. What shape is that, Lucy? Circle. A circle, that's right. It's easy, isn't it? 
Now let's choose another lid. Which one do you think we should go for next? That one. Excellent choice. Now don't forget, you can use any part of the lid to print with, even the rim. And what colour paint should we use, Lucy? Red. Red. OK, so why don't you dip that in the red paint? That's it. Wonderful. Now keep printing with as many different size lids as you like to build up your crazy pattern. Fantastic, we're all finished. What do you think then, Lucy? Great. Great. Do you know what? I think it's great as well. And all we need to do now is leave it to dry. And that was so much fun, I think we should have another go at circle printing, don't you? Yes. Brilliant. But this time, we're going to go even bigger. So we'll need a big piece of paper, lots of paint, and some big circles and lids. Let's get painting. Whoa, hold your horses, though. <laughs> this could get a little bit messy, so it's a good idea to put on some old clothes or an apron. Let's go, Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> That's much better. Let's get started. Right, which should we go for first? The yellow. <laughs> we made it! And now, Lucy, your home is where the art is. Painty high five. <laughs> what a fantastic lid picture. Well done, Lucy. Bye! <sighs> it's brilliant being out and about in the Makermobile. There's always so much to see and do. And... Hey, hey, hey. What's that noise? Oh, oh, who could it be? I am a shape! I am a circle. I am a triangle. I am a square. I am a rectangle. What are the squares making today? Can you guess? Any ideas yet? It's a pair of sunglasses. Well done, shapes. It's time to get back in the doodle drawers. <laughs> Oh, I love driving the Makermobile. There are so many interesting things to see. Yeah. <laughs> Minute May time! Hey, it's Minute May time! I'm on my way! <laughs> We've arrived! <laughs> Minute make time, everyone! <laughs> and here's what we're going to make today. A brilliant crab crab! Now, he's very useful because he can look after lots of things in his spoon claws. And unlike a real crab, he doesn't give you a nasty nip. <laughs> now, to make one of these, you will need a glue stick, some scissors, some pipe cleaners, plastic spoons, now, you'll also need some air-drying clay and some googly eyes. Now, you can find these in an art and craft shop. I'll be back very soon. I've got them. Right, here's 
our air drying clay and our googly eyes. Now, do you think it's possible to make this crab grab in just one minute? No way! Ooh, well, I think I can. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! <laughs> Are you ready? Good. Let's make it in a minute. Yeah! Start the clock! Right, the first thing we're going to do is get our pipe cleaners and very carefully cut them in half. Now, you need to be careful with scissors because they're... Stop! That's right. Now, we're cutting these pieces in half again, so we get eight pieces. There we go. Let's move those to the side for now. We're going to get our air drying clay and squidge it into a body shape and then start putting these pieces in. We're going to put three in this side. There we go. These are the legs. And we're going to put three in the other side as well. There's one in there. There we go, and one in there. Now, on these pieces, we're going to put our googly eyes. So let's get those bits ready like that, and let's get our eyes and some glue. Here we go. Right, let's put some glue on the googly eyes there. There's one. And then let's get another one here, like that. Bit of glue on there. Now, let's stick these pieces in. There's one there and one there. Now, we need to make a mouth in the front. And then if I put my spoons in, I have made a crab grab! I've done it! Yeah! <laughs> you just in time. And if you've got more than a minute, you can paint it and use it to grab whatever you like. Ah, it's a picture of my cousin Claude, the famous chef. <laughs> and it's not just crabs that are good for grabbing. Oh no, we've got some other ideas as well. It's a beautiful black and yellow buzzy bee with spoon wings, complete with a photo of William Maker the wizard. It's a green dragonfly with extra spoon wings to hold more pictures. And here's my little cousin, Maxwell Maker. Crab grabs made in a minute. Why don't you have a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Cut two pipe cleaners into four pieces each. Roll the clay into a ball. And push in six pipe cleaner legs. Stick googly eyes onto the other pipe cleaner pieces. And push them into the clay for eyes. Make a mouth. Push in two spoons on each side like this. And your crab grab is finished. Why don't you try and make it? In a minute. Did you enjoy that, Carol? Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, lovely. Right, got a dash, everyone. Bye. I wonder where we're off to next. Hello, Mr. Maker. Oh, nice to see you. Can you guess what we're making today? I don't know. Let's find out. I'm brown. I'm light blue. I am pink. I am orange. I am red. I'm yellow. I am Pete. It's a cupcake. Well done, everyone. See you next time. Now watch this. Hello. Are you ready for a big surprise? <laughs> I'm going to surprise these mini-makers who have no idea I'm on my way. Hello? Hello? <laughs> How are you? Are you OK? Yes! It's great to meet you. Now, everybody, do you like pirates? Yes! Fantastic! So do I. Ooh! Ha -har! Pirates sailed the seven seas in search of treasure! <laughs> That's right, me hearties! I, Captain Multicoloured Beard, have had a big idea! <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> hmm. I think we should make a big pirate ship! So will you help me, everybody? Yeah! <laughs> Fantastic!
Fantastic. Okay then, Max, Anya, Raul, Fizza, and Amandeep. Let's make it. We're going to make a pirate ship. And what sort of colours should we have on our ship? What do you think? Yellow. Black and brown. Blue and green. Great idea. Now, we're going to make a pirate ship, so we need to be pirates. So, what noise does a pirate make? <laughs> well done, everyone. There's some good ideas there. Let's get making. Come on. First, we need to paint our ship a woody brown colour. OK, now we're going to make the windows on our pirate ship. Now, what are they called? Portholes. The portholes, that's right. So blow up these rubber rings, please. That's it. And no giggling. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll need some chain for our anchor. OK, right, we're going to paint our sea. So what colour should we paint it, do you think? Blue. Blue. Oh, I think that's a good idea. Get painting, then. We're having great fun making our big pirate ship, so why don't you have a go at making your own small one at home? Try making this fantastic paper plate pirate ship. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. To make one, you will need some paper bowls, pencils, modelling clay, paint and a paintbrush, scissors, a glue stick, a plastic lid, a pen, and some round stickers. Take a blue paper bowl like this one. And don't worry if you can't find a blue one, because you can always paint it. Turn over the bowl and then take a piece of modelling clay. Put it underneath the bowl and make a hole with a sharp pencil. If you find this tricky, you can always get an adult to help. Now use the hole to carefully cut a slit in the bowl like this. Next, take another paper bowl and cut it in half and glue around the curved edges. Press the two halves together to make a boat shape. And then push it into the slit. Next, poke two pencils through the boat at each end. Then paint the boat a lovely woody brown colour. Now push some modelling clay onto the end of one of the pencils and stick a plastic lid on top. Then, on the other pencil, you can stick a paper flag. You can draw a pirate skull and crossbones like this, or you can draw any flag you want. Next, add some stickers for portholes. Then put three more stickers on top. And now your pirate ship is ship shape and ready to play with. Ship ahoy! <laughs> <laughs> what a perfect way to make a pirate ship. Talking of which, I wonder how our big ship's coming along. Oh, no, hang on. I'll help you. That's it. Right, a bit this way. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Don't forget the sea. Now let's put our pirate ship together, me hearties. <laughs> Nearly there. <laughs> Great. Well done, shipmates. We made it! Yay! 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 <laughs> wow. Now that's a ship fit for a pirate. Mr. Maker. Time to go! Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Makermobile back in its box.
great to see you. I'm out driving in the Makermobile, and who knows what we're going to see today? Hello, I'm Lily. Hello, Lily. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr Maker. I'll be right with you. I'm here! <laughs> Hello, Lily. Put it there. Now, how can I help you today, Lily? Can you show me how to make a picture with me in it? A picture with you in it? Good idea. Hmm, let's have a think. Ah, I could paint a picture of you. Or I could <laughs> take a photo of you to use in a picture. But what would be really good is if we could make something with you actually in it. Hmm, I've just had a great idea. Let's try something. Try making this fantastic pirate face mask and put yourself in the picture. Let's make it! But first, we need somewhere to make it. <laughs> and we'll also need some things from the doodle drawers. I'll be back soon. <laughs> a plate, a pencil and a ball of modelling clay. A large piece of card, some torn strips of paper, and a glue stick. We also need an oval shaped lid from an ice cream tub. Perhaps scraps can help. Ah, oh, hello, scraps. Now, we need an ice cream lid. Can you help? Great! Ow. Well done, Scraps. That's great. Just what we need. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, Scraps, is there any ice cream left? Mm -hmm. oh. Well, excuse you. Oh. And we also need some patterned wrapping paper. So, Lily, today we're going to make a pirate face mask that really puts you in the picture. Ahoy there, me hearties! <laughs> so, Lily, are you ready? Yes. Great! Are you ready? Brilliant. Let's get making. Now, the first thing we're going to do is bring in our large piece of card and an oval-shaped ice cream lid. Now, don't worry if you haven't got one of these lids. You can always use something else that's oval-shaped, like a plate or a bowl. Next, we need to draw around it. Now, we need to cut this shape out, but you might want to ask an adult to help you with this bit, because it's a bit tricky. We need a ball of modelling clay, and we're going to put this underneath the card. And we need a sharp pencil, and we're going to push with the sharp pencil through the cards into the clay. And we do this very carefully, and then if we take the pencil out and take the clay away, we have a hole. Now we can use this hole to help us cut out our face shape. But we need to be careful because scissors are... Sharp! Move the card to one side for a moment and we're going to bring in some patterned wrapping paper. Now this is going to make the pirate's headscarf. <laughs> that looks good, doesn't it? Now we're going to turn this over and with a paper plate, we're going to draw around this with a pencil to make a circle. Now, at the side of this circle, draw a fishtail shape and then carefully cut it all out. Then turn it back over, cut across the circle shape just below the fishtail here to make a pirate headscarf and shoulders. Now we're going to put these to one side and bring back in our card from earlier. 
let's get a handful of torn paper strips. Here they are. And we're going to scrunch these up. That's it. Do a bit of scrunching like that and give them a squeeze like that. Can you help me with that, Lily? Go on, scrunch away. That's it. Good scrunching. That's it. Right, put it on the pile. Fantastic. Well done. Now we need to stick the pirate hair on both sides of the face hole. So you can help me with this, Lily. Can you put some glue about there for me, please? That's it. Well done. Then glue on the rest of the hair. Now we can bring back in our pirate's headscarf and shoulders. And I'm going to give these to you, Lily, to glue for me. Thank you very much. That's it. Perfect. And now we can glue them in place. And we're all done. It looks fantastic. But I think there's something, or rather someone, missing in the middle here. Now, who could that be? Me. <laughs> you, that's right. So go on then, Lily. Put yourself in the picture. Who are the Hatties? Very good, Lily. And if you really enjoyed that, there are lots of other ideas you could try too. How about this clown? With folded paper hair, a paper hat and pom-pom flowers. Or how about a cowgirl? Ha. With curly brown paper hair and a paper hat. Or you could even try this queen with curly golden hair and a pink crown. So what do you think then, Lily? They're great, Mr Maker. Well, I think you're great. Well done. We made it. And now your home is where the art is. What a fantastic pirate face mask. Well done, Lily. Bye. <sighs> oh, lovely. <laughs> it's brilliant being out and about in the Makermobile. There's always so much to see and do. <laughs> What's that noise? Oh, I know who that is. many triangles can you see? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six triangles. Well done, shapes. It's time to get back in the doodle drawers. I'm out in the fresh air having a drive in the Makermobile. Do you know, there's nowhere else I'd rather be. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, it's Minute May time. I'm on my way. <laughs> I've arrived. <laughs> It's Minute Mate time! And here's what we're going to make today. A jazzy jar! Look at it, it's beautiful. Now, to make one of these, you will need an old pot or jar with a lid like this one here, some coloured beads, some gloopy PVA glue, an old washing up sponge, and it's also a good idea to do this 
with an old tray underneath as it can get a little bit messy. Now, do you think it's possible to make this jazzy jar in just one minute? Yeah! Well, I think I can. Now, I'm going to have to be very quick, though, but don't worry. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Great! Let's make it in a minute! Yeah! Start the clock! Right, the first thing we're going to do is get our sponge and put on some gloopy glue around the side of our jar. And we're going to put it all the way around the side, but not on this top edge here, because that's where the lid goes. Good. And now we're going to start putting on our beads. We just sprinkle them on top, like this. You can use whatever colour beads you like. And don't worry if they fall all over the tray, like this, because they fall on the tray, and we can use them later. Let's put some green on. Here we go, around there with the green. And then some blue as well. Whoa, sprinkly. Here we go, like that. There we go, put that there. And now I need to cover our lid with some glue as well. All around there and some around the side. That's it. And then sprinkle a few more on to the lid. Some blue and a few of those. And then if I put that on top of there, we've got a jazzy jar. <laughs> and if you've got more than a minute, you can make all sorts of jazzy jars. You could try this stripy multicolored jar. Or why not add some bigger beads to make a flowery pattern? Jazzy jars made in a minute. Why don't you have a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Cover a plastic jar with gloopy glue. Pour the beads onto the glue. And stick more glue and beads to the lid. Then leave it to dry and your jazzy jar is finished. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Bye! <laughs> Oh, this is fun. Where should we go to next? <laughs> hello, Mr. Maker. Oh, hello. Nice to see you. What do you think we're making today? Oh, I'm not sure. Let's take a look. I am brown. I am back. Well done, everyone. See you soon. Now watch this. Hello. Are you ready for a big surprise? <laughs> These mini makers have no idea what's going to happen next. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Well, it's great to meet you. <laughs> and do you know what? I've got a big idea! <laughs> oh! <laughs> roll up! Roll up! I need your help, Mini Makers, because I think we should make a massive, magnificent market stall! So will you help me? Yeah! Great! <laughs> Alright then, Alex, Aaliyah, Ben, Charlotte and Vasan, let's make it! Now everybody, we're going to make our market stall. Now, have you ever been to a market before? Yeah! And what sort of things did you see at the market? Vegetables. No, I mean fruits. Vegetables and fruits? Yeah. Now, we could put fruit and vegetables on our market stall, couldn't we? What should we put on there? Green apple, because there's green paint. That's a brilliant idea. We could, couldn't we? OK, everyone, I think we're ready to make our market stall, aren't we? Yeah! <laughs> Let's make it! Come on! Let's paint the roof of our market stall. Come on, everyone. These are going to be nice stripes, aren't they? All right, Vasant, we're going to paint this ball orange. Let's get painting then, come on. It's gloopy, isn't it? That's it. 
<laughs> Hello, Charlotte. Do you need some help? Oh, great. You're doing a good job. Very nice. We're making cauliflower. <laughs> it's great fun making our big market stall. So how about making something small to sell at a market? Try making this brightly coloured pineapple. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. To make one, you'll need some foil, an old mug, gloopy PVA glue, paint brushes and paint, coloured tissue paper, a pencil and a black pen. Start by scrunching up the foil into a big egg shape. Next, put your foil egg into a cup and then cover it with a layer of glue. Stick on pieces of tissue paper and leave it to dry. Cut up big tissue paper strips and arrange them like this. Push the tissue strips into the pineapple with a pencil. Now paint on some shapes. These look like the letter V. You can even add some detail with a black pen and your pretend pineapple is finished. Why not make some other fruit like an apple, an orange, or even a strawberry. Pretend fruit is great to play with. You can even put it on your own market stall. What a fun way to make fruit. <laughs> that looked really tasty. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Must be hungry. <laughs> right, how are we getting on, Mini Makers? We okay? That's it. Oh, careful. <laughs> That's it. Back this way. Look at all this! Well done, everybody! We, we made, made it! it! Yay! Yeah! Roll up, roll up to our brilliant market stalls! Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Makermobile back in its box. Fantastic to see you. I'm out driving in the Makermobile, and who knows what we're going to see today? Whoa! Toki here, Mini Maker Message. Hello, I'm Declan. Hello, Declan. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr. Maker. I'll be right with you. I've arrived! <laughs> Put it there, Declan. Hello. Now, how can I help you today? How do you make a monster picture? A monster picture, eh? Well, if we're going to make one of those, the first thing we need to decide is what type of monster to make. So, let's put our thinking caps on. <laughs> let's get thinking. 
Mm. I know. How about we make a monster that can fly? No. Oh, all right, let's think again then. Hmm. Oh, I know, I know. How about we make a monster that can dance? No, that's weird. Weird? Yeah. Oh, all right, well, we'll think again then. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I know, I know. How about we make a monster that can swim? Yes. Yeah, it's great. I've just had a great idea. Let's try something. Try squeezing paint and spreading it out to make a marvellous monster picture. Let's make it! But first, we need somewhere to make it. Wow! <laughs> and we'll also need some things from the doodle drawers. Some different coloured pieces of paper. We also need a black pen. Now, where have I put that? I know I put it somewhere. I know. I'll call Scraps. <laughs> ah, Scraps. Now, I'm looking for a black pen. Can you help, please? <laughs> ah, that's more like it. Thank you, Scraps. <laughs> oh, what's he like? Some paint in a squeezy bottle. Hmm. And we also need a glue stick and some small pieces of card. So, Declan, this is what we're going to make today. A picture of a magnificent monster. Right, are you ready then? Yep. Good. Are you ready? Great. Let's get making. Now, the first thing we're going to do is put down our background paper. Blue will look nice for the sea. Now, let's get some yellow paint and squirt four blobs across the paper. Next, we need to squirt some green blobs of paint next to the yellow blobs of paint. All our paint blobs are on. Now we're ready to spread out the paint with a piece of card, like this. What do you think that makes, Declan? The monster's neck. The monster's neck! He's right, correct! What about this? Here we go. I'm going to move it around like that in a circle shape. And what does that make? His head. His head! He's right! Now, it doesn't matter if the colours start to mix together. In fact, it looks really good if they do. Now, Declan, let's make the rest of our monster, and that's these curved shapes here. The curves start big and get smaller like this. So let's use a clean piece of card and make curved shapes all the way across the page. And when you've finished your curves, move them to one side just for now because we're going to draw circles onto orange and white paper with a black pen. Now, we're going to cut these out, but we need to be careful because scissors are... Sharp! That's right! Here we go. Now, our circles are all ready, and I'm actually going to put them over here in front of you, please, Declan, so you can glue them. Well done. Next, we need to stick on these white circles to make the monster's eyes. Like that, and now let's take a black pen and add dots in the middle for pupils. <laughs> and now if I use my pen to add some squiggly lines on top of the monster's head, there we go, there are our pen lines. And of course you've already glued these orange circles, thank you Declan. And now all that's left is to add some ripples in the water with a black pen. There. It's all finished! A magnificent monster! And there are lots of other monster pictures that you could try too. How about this one? This monster's got a curly, swirly body and three eyes. Or you could even try this funny purple monster with spotty tentacles. It's a monster of a way to make a picture. <laughs> now, Declan, what do you think? 
It's brilliant, Mr Maker. Well, I think you're brilliant, thank you. We made it! And now your home is where the art is. High five! What a fantastic monster picture. Well done, Declan. Bye! Oh, <sighs> <laughs> lovely. <laughs> it's brilliant being out and about in the Makermobile. There's always so much to see and do. <laughs> What's that noise? Oh! Guess who that is? I am a shape! I am a shape! I am a circle! I am a triangle! What are the circles making today? Can you guess? Any ideas yet? It's a bowl of fruit! Well done, shapes! It's time to get back in the doodle drawers! <laughs> 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 Oh, it's such a brilliant day for a lovely drive out in the Makermobile. Yeah. <laughs> minute May time! Hey, it's Minute May time! I'm on my way! <laughs> Here we are. It's Minute Maid time, everyone! <laughs> oh, <laughs> I knows this is going to be good fun because this is a funny nose. <laughs> now, to make one of these, you will need an old egg box, a glue stick, a sharp pencil, a ball of modelling clay, some elastic and a feather. Now, do you think it's possible to make this funny nose in just one minute? No! Well, I think I can. I'll have to be very quick, though. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! <laughs> Are you ready? Great! Let's make it in a minute! Three, two, one! Start the clock! Right, the first thing we're going to do is tear off a piece from our old egg box and then make a hole on either side using our ball of modelling clay and a sharp pencil. Now, you might want to ask an adult to help you with this bit because it's a bit fiddly. There we go, and put a hole in that side as well. Now, let's get our elastic and start feeding it through. Let's put it in that side. There we go. I'm going to tie it here. There we go, on that side. And then push it through the other side as well. There it goes, through, oh, it's quite fiddly this. Through it goes, and then if we tie this like that, in a knot, we're nearly done, but we need some glue. There we go, some glue on the bottom there of our nose, and I've just about got enough time to stick on our feather to complete our funny nose. <laughs> Phew, I made it. And if you've got more than a minute, you could paint it like this. <laughs> Fantastic. And there are lots of other types of noses you could try too. Oh, this one's got a wiggly wool moustache and a lump of cotton wool and glue on the end. Oh, or even this one. It's a bushy, fun fur beard. Mm. Oh, <laughs> or even this grizzly green knobbly nose with even bigger lumps and bumps. Funny noses made in a minute. 
Why don't you have a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Tear the corner off an egg box and carefully make two holes. Tie some elastic through the holes and decorate the nose. And your funny nose is finished. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Goodbye! Bye. Oh, I love driving the Makermobile. Where should we go to next? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Maker. Oh, nice to see you. Can you guess what we're making today? What are they going to make? Everyone. See you next time. Now watch this. Hello. Are you ready for a big surprise? <laughs> These mini makers have absolutely no idea what's going to happen next. Hello, everyone. It's great to meet you. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Mr. Hello. <laughs> now, would you like to go on an underwater adventure? Yes! Yeah! Me too. <laughs> I've got a big idea. I think we should make a really big underwater sea picture. Will you help me? Yeah! Fantastic. All right then, Hiral, Michelle, Carmen, Louis and Saliha, let's make it. OK then, everyone. We are going to make an underwater picture. Now, what should our picture look like, do you think? A fish. That's right. What colours could our fish be? Red. Red fish? White. Grey. I hadn't thought of a grey fish. Well done. Now, what could we make our sand out of? Cloth. Sponge. Cloth. Good idea. And sponge. Yeah, that's good. Have a go at this catch. Ready? Well done. That will make good sand. Now, what can we make our seaweed out of? Yes. Oh, yes, that would be good. And that could be the sea. Oh, this is great. I think we're ready to start making, aren't we? Yeah! Come on, then, let's go. Let's start by making a fish. I think I'll take the stripey fish. We're going to make fins for our fish. I'm making fishy lips. I'm making fishy eyes. I'm making fishy eyelids. Let's make some coral for the seabed. We're having great fun making our big underwater sea picture. So why don't you join in and make something of your own that lives under the sea? Try making a fantastic fish with a plastic bottle. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. To make it, you will need a clean plastic bottle, a brush, glue, scissors, some paper, a pen and some string. Cut your plate into four pieces. Like this. Stick them onto your fishy body with sticky tape. Make sure you do both sides. Now 
Now glue rips up tissue paper all over the body. And leave it to dry. Crumple some white tissue paper into a ball. And then draw an eye on it with a black pen. Now glue on your fish's eyes. Tie some string to the handle. And you're ready to hang up your fabulous fish. What a fantastic way to make a fish. But I wonder how our underwater sea pitcher's coming along. <laughs> right, come on everyone. Let's make some sand. That's it. And seaweed. Lovely. Lay it all out. Fantastic. And now for some sea. This is our seaweed. <laughs> Brilliant! Well done, everyone! We made it! Yeah! Wow, that's brilliant! It looks good enough to swim in. Mr. Maker! Time to go! Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Makermobile back in its box. If you like making things, visit bbc.co.uk slash cbbs.